Hi everyone, welcome hi. to um hi. <laughs> I am Antonina Mamzenko. This is Alice Chapman and Emma Collins. We are co-founders of Made for Documentary. And welcome to Made for Documentary Awards judging process broadcast. <laughs> Did I get it right? <laughs> um thank you everyone who submitted to our inaugural awards. We are really excited to look at the images. Um we are showing you the process of judging um, to offer sort of insight and in how it happens. And also hopefully it will be educational for you to see which images um, resonate with us as judges and why. And so Alice is gonna explain a little bit more about how the process works. So we should say probably that we had the first round of judges. Right? Yes. Yeah, so all the images have been looked at by our three um, guest judges, um, Amy Dangefield, Michaela Martin and Nikki Boone. So thank you so much to those judges. We really appreciate your insight and your time. We haven't yet seen um, your selections and we're so excited to, to see them. So the next stage is that the three of us will look at those um, finalists. So everybody who sees their image come up after this point, you are a finalist in the Made for Documentary Award. So congratulations. Um, the three of us are then going to go through a judging process and we're going to judge based on four criteria, image quality, um, originality, how well the image represents the theme, which is the everyday. And that's the theme within the documentary family genre. And lastly, our own instincts as um, photographers and mentors. And we might not agree because we're coming at this subjectively for that particular criteria point. So that's going to be, I think quite, we're all looking forward to that. It's quite an interesting side to it, see where our, um, yeah, where, where our own instincts take us. So at the end of the process, we are going to be awarding a first, second and third place and some runners up as well. Um, we're, we're really interested to see where this takes us. Um, there's something else that I really wanted to say about this. One of the reasons, in fact, the main reason why we set this award up is because we wanted to, um, felt that something needed to be done to push the genre forward um, and to, to stop it stagnating. So that originality concept is really important. Now, I know, obviously, people get educated in the field, um, in, in, in this genre, through other educational institutes and mentors and through us. Um, but I think it's a really important thing to say that when you're being educated, you're being taught the tools that you can then bring out in any situation. But actually, it's once you've learned those tools and those ideas that you can then start breaking them and really adding your own voice to the picture. And it's the, it's the adding your um, lived experience and your voice that sometimes makes the picture really different to anything that anyone else has ever taken or seen um and that's what pushes things forward because then someone else will see it and think oh my god yeah I want to do that too so we really don't be disappointed if you think but I'm following all the rules because sometimes you need to do something extra and and start pushing yourself further and that's what we want to see yeah and another thing maybe to note is that um don't please please don't feel discouraged if uh, your image didn't make it to the finalists or your image doesn't make it to the our top selection it's all part of the process we've all had more no's in our lives than we can care to count um the fact that you've submitted is already an educational experience for you because you thought about which images to submit how well they meet the theme and the criteria um so please don't let that discourage you from submitting in the future or don't let it get you down yeah. um, first this is step part is, of the experience and process yeah the first step is submitting because if you can't if you don't submit nothing else can happen exactly. if you submit something amazing can happen and sometimes it is just that um it might be an amazing image but actually there's a real skill in selecting for a theme um and sometimes it might not actually be um on theme enough and get rejected for that reason. Yeah. It's a really good learning process to go through choosing your own images for submission, whether it's to this award or that award, this theme. And um, so if you submitted, you've already, I think, learned something and no award um, process can work if only the winning images submits. All of these 
um, awards and processes rely on everybody entering. So we really do appreciate every single person that entered. And we, we literally can't do this without all of the entries. You're only going to see a small portion of the entries today. And we're only going to show um, the ones that have won on social media, perhaps. But um, well done to everybody who did enter. And thank you very much. And yeah, we call ourselves award winning photographers, but we are absolutely all award losing photographers as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just part of, it's part of how it all works. We win some, we lose some. So yeah, please don't, you know, be discouraged if you don't see your photograph today. So what will happen now is I'm going to share my Lightroom um, and control the screen. We will look through the images and say yes to the ones we want to put forward to the next kind of phase of this. Um, so as Alice already mentioned, if you see your image on the screen, you're a finalist, congratulations. Even if it doesn't get a further yes from us, your image has been already selected by our three guest judges. So let's go. Um, <clears throat> where's my share button? I'm gonna make this really big so I can see everything. Okay. Mm, me too. Right. Can you see it okay? Can you see the screen? Yeah, we can see the screen. screen. Okay. So I'm going to click on the first one. Um, can I hide the name, actually? I don't yeah, know. we just mentioned that we're doing this blind. We don't have the photographer's names in the file names, and we don't know who's taking the picture. We may recognize some work, of course. I don't know how to do that. It's on view, I think. Underneath the yeah, sure. Okay. That's not that. Throw in a little light room tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> view options <laughs> there you go oh, there we go yay lovely, lovely. right honestly so... we haven't used lightroom before <laughs> <laughs> we promise <laughs> right that's all this job okay so uh i am gonna mark images with a pick if it gets a yes from one of us um so feel free to say something Yes. Actually, I'll pick that one. Yes. 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 I'm going to say yes to this one. I'm curious about it. Yes. 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 Actually, I'm going to say yes to this. Yes. 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 Say yes to this. <laughs> I'm going to say yes to this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's say yes. 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 
Yes. <clears throat> Pick that up. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> yes. 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 I'll say yes to this one. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes, for me. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes, from me. <clears throat> I'm going to go back for a second, that kind of notice something in this one. Can you see this? Yes, for me. Can you just go back to let me look at that one? Yes. I said yes for this one. Yes. I, you, I didn't hear you. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 It took me a minute. Yeah, me too. Yes. 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 <laughs> Yes. So yes to that. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. It's like walking on water. I know. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. 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 No, I'll say yes. 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 Which one? This one? This kid on the kid on the thing, yeah. Kid, kid on the wall, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I like this one, but I say yes, please. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Yes.
Yes. Yes. Yes. That's it. Can I add the second one in again? Um, I think it was the second. Is that okay? Second from the very start. The second ever photo. <laughs> it stayed in my head. Um, the second one, like from the very, very start. You mean? Oh, yeah. it's the fourth. It's the fourth one. It's the kid, the portrait kid. This one. That one please. Okay. Can we just go through one more time? Sorry, because sometimes I think it's really disadvantageous to be at the beginning. Uh, yeah. Do, I mean, you, sure. do you want to see just the ones that we didn't pick? Yeah, maybe. Yes, if that's possible. That's, that's an easier, that's a better way to do it, yeah. Yeah. I would say this to my um, daughter, because we're big Strictly Come Dancing fans here. <laughs> and they always seem to grade the people who go first and second much tougher. It gets easier as you okay. go through the thing. And I think it's really disadvantageous. Do you want to go from the back to front now? From all yeah, the exactly. yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I'm going to see a picture of this one. Yes. 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 The blurry legs, yeah? Yes, blurry legs. Mm. I'll say yes to this one. Yes.
Yes. Can we just go back to the one before? This one? That's what the one before that. The one before the that. Outside. You put that in. Oh, so you oh yes. That Yes, the wardrobe. Yeah. Girl. The wardrobe yeah. one, yeah. Same. Um, you mean same one? for wardrobe girl or? Yeah, yeah, one? wardrobe girl. Okay. We'll be calling every photo by a little phrase by the end. Yes. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, it's interesting. Yes. Yes to this one? Okay, right. Hey, sometimes you just have to. Yeah, no, definitely. Sometimes. You haven't got, when you, when you first look at them, you haven't got a benchmark. So once you've got to the end, then you've got a benchmark and so sometimes, so you've seen everything, you think, actually, I do want to put some other stuff in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some images that was like, I really like the concept, but I don't think it's quite there yet. I really like that what they're trying to do, but I don't think that's... Yeah, yeah, there's some, there's some that I put in, even though there's, there's little bits that irritate me, but, but there's enough good that I want to mm. put it again. There's yeah. lots that I didn't pick that I, um, I really... I got a good feel from it or something I really responded to in it, but there were other things exactly that, that made me hesitate. And I think we should just clarify that you you heard one, or perhaps two of us saying yes, but if someone's already said yes, then we the other two don't feel the need to say it. So it doesn't mean that only one of us liked your picture. Yeah, yeah sometimes it's, we, 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 we talk over each, you know, because it's, it's, it's a gut reaction, so we might say it at the same time. But, yeah, yeah, but we only need one of us to send it through, so. Yeah. yeah, that's the rule. So well, we, you. so sorry, Alice. Say. I was just going to say thank you again to um, Amy, Michaela, and Nikki for their um, first round judging. Um, should we say we had what was the number of submissions we had? It was almost fifteen hundred, so one thousand five hundred, yeah. um, and then yeah. pulled it down to one hundred and sixty-two. So they had a tougher job, I think, than we have. Yeah. 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 So thank um, you again to them. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up with um 86 of those as our yeses mm -hmm. 86. 80, 86 so about what half about half. half yeah so we have a um we have um some this is what it's like when you call a shoot isn't it you know you, you <laughs> kind of gradually get it down more and more and more so yeah so this is wow, look at this looking good looking good so now the next stage would be to look at the images in more detail and kind of see which ones speak up to us more than the others and start moving them around and figuring out which one is the winner and which ones are first and second place and runners up um and we'll sort of be discussing images and why we think certain images 
I need to go forward, need to be ranked high, and so on. So, yeah. So what we're going to do next is we will look at all the ones, all the images that we said um, yes to, and we'll go a bit slower and look at them in turn. Um, so our initial reactions were really quick, and now we're going to slow down and, and see if all three of us maybe agree to put it like to the next level, essentially, uh, and, just, and maybe some of them we'll discuss. So we're basically all going to see how many, many of us actually say yes to an image. So they'll get a three, two or one stars. Um, and then we'll decide yeah. what goes through from there. Yeah. And as, as much as we'd love to talk about every single image, um, it just time wise would we'll be here for two days, <laughs> knowing ourselves. So we could, um, we could talk about these for two days straight, I'm sure. But um, we want to make it a digestible um, yeah. piece of educational content for you. So, so we'll see what happens. Uh, right, let me share my screen again. There we go. Right, so we'll just, I'll open each um, in turn. Or shall I start from the end, do you think? No, I, I think with this. Yes, yeah, when it advances, it it will be in the right direction. Otherwise, I think it can be a little bit confusing when we Maybe. go back. Yes, yeah. okay. So I, I, yes, this after we went through it a second time, because there's just something really nostalgic about it. I really like, I like, I like, I like some, I like the pram and the baby. I, it, some, sometimes I say yes, and I can really see that it's from my lived experience. Mm -hmm. This is from my lived experience. Mm -hmm. As an older sister, I, I have a quite a lot younger sister. And we had a pram like this for her. And there's something, and she used to have reins to hold it into the pram. And I was mortified by this pram. My mum thought it was great, but I was mortified. So I wouldn't let her come to the school gates with it. She had to stand around the corner because I thought it was really embarrassing. Um, but there's something now that's really nostalgic to me when I see prams like this. Um, it really gives me a sort of sensation inside. And that's what got me about this mm. image. As it progresses, I don't know, because I, you know, as as well, it also feels from that sort of parenthood point of view, where you, when kids are little and you can strap them in, and they just have to sit and watch whatever you're doing. And the guys, obviously, presuming the father looking at the car. Um, so yeah, there's some elements that I like about it that really feel um, familiar. Whether the composition could have been slightly stronger if you moved to the left a bit to see a little bit more of the car, maybe, and to separate the pram from the from the yeah. from the pram. Yeah, um, that's what I was thinking. I think it's not going to be as a, a, a lot of composition. Space. Yeah, there's wasted space on the left hand side. But yeah, I, I do like the tree. I like the tree and the light and the framing. Yes. That, but I I would have liked the the point of view to be to the left and back a little bit, and perhaps using the pillar on the right and the tree on the left. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and I, um, it's kind of not immediately obvious that he looks. He's looking at the car. Um, yeah, I feel like it needs a little bit more of the car. Um, but I like the fact that you're looking past him at the child. Um, so there's a lot that I like about it. With, um, and like I said at the beginning, sometimes it we all have a different point of view because of our own lived experiences and our own. Mm. We all we all experience life differently. Um, every every photographer would take a different photo of a different scene. So, and for me, this 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 gives me the feels of my childhood. Can I just pick up on the, the pram thing? So we talk, when we, we've done talks before, we've talked about the nostalgia time bomb in the genre. The more stuff you include, that wider context of the moment and the feels, um, these little details and con contextualizing the moment, they can mean so much. There's much more potential for feels to reach more people. Um, and this is, I think, one of the things that makes the genre stand out. Stuff matters. Yeah. It does. And this is a nice mix between, like, you know, again, maybe a little bit more of the car would have explained this a bit more, but the cars are modern and the pram is mm. kind of vintage. I like that contrast as well. That I think it would be that. even better if, like, we could see more of the car again. To more of the car, exactly. Like, it's modern and then the pram is... I think yeah. for me also, that, that pram is probably bright blue or, like, royal blue, and um, I that would have added nostalgia content for me if it would, had it been in colour. 
because they mm. there was pearls were all the same. I don't mean bright, but I mean like yeah, it's like a navy. Like they're like they're all the same blue. color, weren't they? Okay, so are we gonna? Why I can see why though that potentially there's a choice to make it black and white. Because say say the car was orange and the jumper was green and the um trout you know the, the coat was red and the pram was blue there may have been a choice to to limit the cut the color palette by making it black and white it may, it may not have worked okay so it's a no from me what about you too yeah it's a no from me yeah it's a no from me actually but i just wanted to talk about it because <laughs> there's something that that uh, i felt from it as we said, like the, the first pass was like a gut reaction, and now we're actually slowing down and thinking through this, right? As we go, we might we might talk about fewer as we go because perhaps we've said something already that we would have said for the later yeah. picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this one, I, I I love the context in this one. What Alice is just talking about, you know, all the color and the clothes and the heap and the pile, all of the washing baskets and and everything everywhere feels very um, like you're in the thick of it as a parent of young kids. But I heard, there's something that's bothering me about the, the parent and where it's where it's cropped because it looks like they're about to put a jumper or a headband on the child, but I can't see it's enough top. parent. It's cropped in a slightly awkward place. I don't know what you two think. It would have been potentially better um, just a few moments after this. I'm just thinking if they were trying to like pull, put it put on the thing screen. over the top, yeah, over the head. And just slightly yeah. higher, potentially, just to see the raised hands or whatever. Yeah, you could certainly have lifted this slightly because the, the bottom sort of yeah. uh, inch is, is repetitive and doesn't, you know, you've, you've got all the baskets and the clothes in if you just lose a bit from the bottom. Yeah. I really <laughs> like the idea of it. It also jumped out at me with, you know, that is so typical. Like, any parent with multiple children can relate to this, I'm sure. I'm just wondering if, because we, we're we not showing any um, histogram information, I'm wondering if we have got that available, whether it would be useful to see settings, because one of the things is image quality and technical choices are part of that. I, I can see it being useful to be able to talk about aperture and shutter speed as we go. I'm not I don't know if we're sure, able to. Um, if it's all... So I think, well, let's maybe not touch it just yet. Um, okay. I mean, I... What I really like about this is how much computational weight is given to all the laundry. Mm -hmm. um, the three laundry baskets, there's laundry piled up neatly, laundry sorted and just chucked everywhere. The colours, um, I like that. So in terms of representing the everyday in the genre, I wouldn't be surprised if most days that's what the laundry looks like. Maybe oh, yeah. once in a while it's cleared. Um, that that acknowledgement of it and contextualizing a moment between a parent and a child with all that stuff around them. I, I do agree on the crop and the moment. Also, I do know this photo quite well, so I'm gonna perhaps say less. I mean, the compositional weight right, is because more than half the image is given to the, um, the, the washing, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, but so this is the thing in, in composition choice where the more, the more portion of the photograph is given to a thing, the more you're saying it's important. And yeah. in our genre, we will not just include the face or the connection or the reaction, we'll include the stuff sometimes more than the person. And that's a deliberate choice. And I appreciate that the photographer has been incredibly intentional about doing that. I think that's something to pick up on. Yeah, I, it's cl clearly a compositional, compositional and storytelling choice, which I really like. I do question whether because the story is, for me, way more about the washing than the moment, because actually the moment's been cropped badly mm -hmm. um whether there should have been a wider aperture to get uh, sorry wider a narrower aperture so you yeah. can get more of it in focus we're gonna get that i always get that the wrong way around yeah <laughs> so uh, I, and i also question whether you actually need the people in the background there's uh, there's a couple of other things that we've put through where it doesn't have a person in it mm -hmm. because that's the everyday scene really and i'm not sure the people are adding to this mm -hmm. what they're doing is unless you know, if, if the mum or parent or whoever it is was picking something up and holding the kids so it looked like she was using the pile of washing, maybe that would connect it more. But to me, the moment is is separate from the pile of washing. Mm -hmm. and the story I see is that the kid's been taken into this room to get dressed because this is where all the kids' clothes are and the kids yeah. got nothing on that's visible. 
and that I find that funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better no, get I, dressed I in the laundry know. room. Um, but the point of getting dressed is missed because the crop's bad. Yes, yes. I would say let's move on then, unless yes. someone wants to say yes. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So Alice, you came back oh, to this one. Yeah, I, I, I was, I just put it there. I was thinking about it too. Yeah. Yeah, I get feels from this. I, yeah. I really, really do get feels. <laughs> from this. I'm just kind of a bit lost in the feel. Yeah, the feels are a morning meal, isn't it? Like before school or something. Um, Sometimes the evening. Yeah. I, I think the simplicity of the composition and that negative space above and the toning it it gives for me it gives that feels more impact um i think the negative space above adds to the mood because there's obviously uh, unhappy either sleeping or not wanting to eat mm -hmm. and go to school kind of face what i also love about this is the idea of um it's kind of shot with the idea of symmetry but mm -hmm. humans and anything organic isn't actually symm symmetrical it's a it's a um a suggestion of symmetry and i like that here you know that slightly off mm. version of symmetry it's it's attractive to me i also quite it's, like that it's anonymous like we can't really see the face we can't see the eyes and that makes it anonymous um and that could be like your kid it could be me it could be anyone yeah um i'd really like to pick up points about the symmetry because i think that that is such a amazing thing we see so much in in our genre that imperfection so we capture and we celebrate and we champion imperfection in people in family units in family life in family homes we talk about that all the time but pl being playful with imperfection in imagery in the composition is all part of it as well it's this all-consuming um um state of going with imperfection yeah. yeah, I get quite excited when I see but that. This is, uh, but what's quite interesting about this is, I, I mean, I, I have no idea what the rest of the table looks like, but because of the choice of composition, it's very much just about this child rather than everyday mess. And so I think sometimes in the genre, we can get distracted by trying to incorporate too much mess, yeah, too much of everything. And actually, this is a really good example of of just inc including what's necessary. You know, there's a, there's a couple of little splashes on the table. Mm -hmm. But it's about the child more than anything and the mood and the, like I said, either the sleepiness or the, the not wanting to do something face. Um, and so... Can we the, zoom in a little bit? The choice to exclude other things and leave that more ambiguous is, is nice. The, the toning is, I love the toning. So sometimes that less is more. Um, that little highlight on the lip emphasizes the pout, which is where the feels come mm. from, as well as the squish of the face. The highlight on the hair makes me think of the softness of kids. And then obviously like black and white clothes, the black of the spoon, the white of the bowl. It's, it's the Yeah, and it feels, it feels summery as well. The, the, the tone of the skin that mm. also gives me a feeling of summer. I don't know whether it is, but it feels like summer to me. Mm. So are we all saying in for this one? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. So three stars this one. Next. So I said yes to this. Um, it just felt such a happy, joyful image. And sometimes we can get obsessed with like capturing like the previous image, kind of a bit moody, a bit sad, a bit serious. Um but it's not, every day can be joyous as well. And I quite like this motion blur of a circular splashes of water here. Um, that's why I put it forward. What do you think? It's a bit bright to me. I'm also really confused by the motion blur because it's only in, in the center. Yeah, I don't know if it's the camera or is it like a, a special lens, like a lens? Maybe I've never used one of those. Honestly, if you look at the boy's body at the bottom, it's not blurred. That is and if true. You look at the, that is true, if actually. You look at the outside edge, nothing's moving in that circular motion either. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit confused by it. Hmm. I do think it's bright. It's 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 overexposed. Yeah, and also the so the child's left 
left hand because of the perspective is is bigger than their face um and obviously the face is where the feel is a hand is is emoting but because of the aperture choice it's not as readable but because the hand is brighter we i i went to that first so the, the the brightest bits are these white spots of water which is the story and that's a good thing to look at but i do find myself drawn to the less readable less important portion of the image because of because of the technicals um and it's because of the lack of detail it's, it feels a little claw like i'm not i can hardly see it's a hand actually it's, like, it's almost claw like i don't know because the, you've got the blob of the white um highlight of the water yeah. on top of the thing yeah so i i don't this had less impact for me all right let's just, it, let's just stop sharing because there was something okay so that um, that photograph had less impact for me because um the readability i didn't think was as quick or clear and sometimes when we respond to an image emotionally with the feels that readability becomes more important because it's about how quickly you get that emotional reaction to something so i can try and so just um things. we're just revisiting the idea of um seeing the technical i don't think we can see all of them so i can see only the eyes um, can you can you um, minimize basic and tone curve etc so perhaps lenses is lens going to be at the bottom yeah. um, no but the uh, aperture would be here yeah yeah, yeah. oh you want to see the, the setting right at the bottom which shows the lens lens it's just because we were talking about that that sometimes there might be a um particular lens which is just curious yeah mm, no there's no. nothing okay okay Okay, so it's a no from you two then, is it? Yeah. So I'll just give it one star because I still like it, even though it's confusing and unclear. Right. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. It's the sort of mirroring of a parent's behaviour and really nicely captured, just the right amount of detail, nice colour. I love the plasters on the dolls as well. Yeah, that's really all about the plasters. So much plaster. And there's another doll with them. Um... Yeah, a little baby who can't really see. <laughs> Might have a plaster on its eyes and its head. Yeah, they're on the knees. They're obviously going to doll hospital here. <laughs> yeah. The colour um, is lovely as well. What's the word? Sorry, just had a technical difficulty. Um, let's share again. Okay. Okay, so the bottom left yellow thing. Now, I can't, it's probably a cuddly toy, but I can't tell what it is. It's taking up a lot of space. Of chunk. Mm -hmm. space yeah. I think as well, just something, talking about how much space that is taking. I mean, colour wise, it, it fits in the colour palette, so it's not as distracting as it could be. But actually, if you look at the important part of the picture, which is the dolls and the hand, and how close it is to the top of the frame. And how much space at the bottom isn't actually being used? I think that the crop could be slightly a bit of a crop. Also, or, a little bit or, on the right. or, or lifted up a bit. There's a little bit too much on the right and a bit too much on the bottom. Huh. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So we're passing that then. Yeah, I think that goes in for me. It's in. Mm -hmm. It's in for me. Okay. Well, that's, so yeah. Let's do that. What just happened? There we go. The light is just on the So this one I took me a couple <laughs> seconds to see everything that's in the frame because we have a cityscape, we have this child, and then we have a grown up. Yeah. But that's is that the photographer? I don't it can't be because it's the back of them. It's not. Yeah, it's not the photographer. I think the photographer is perhaps the person that you can just see coming in on the left. It's like an yeah, that's the camera. Should we talk about that? The the moments when the photographer is in the photograph. Yeah, we. Um, there's <laughs> lots of famous photographer examples where they've deliberately done that. You know, if you Maya, it's 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 a whether or not it's intentional. If this is a client image. That you're selling to a client you 
ideally you wouldn't include that but for personal work there's reasons why you would want to deliberately put a bit of a visual bit of yourself in the picture so i think this, i don't think this doesn't feel like there's an intentional bit of someone being included here though i think it needs to be more intentional than that like it actually because it's it's for me it's hard to read whether it is or isn't a person i don't really i can just see it as a blob yeah. of something it's i don't really blob. see it um, there's another picture later where it's a parent taking a picture or a, or a photographer taking, I'm assuming because of the connection of the person mm -hmm. right, yeah. with somebody on the inside. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's more successful because it's intentional. I would want this, I would bring this in a bit on the left, teeny bit on the top because we can see. So this is distracting. This right angle of something, which I don't think we need. I do like this bottom um, fabric little frame. I like the table. I think this is graphic and I like these shapes, but I think we don't necessarily need all of them. Yeah, there's, there's bits here. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but yeah, you can. Like, yes, we can. This bit here. And that then removes the bit that looks like the photographer taking the photo. Yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. It's actually, there's not much happening on that left, left side. It's not adding anything. Mm. I feel it slightly needs to be straightened a bit as well to me. Like it's slightly tilting to the right for me. Yeah, potentially. Yes. A bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I really like that horizontal line near the top and I think thinking about cropping it that would go then nearer the top and I actually think probably it's a kind of photo it was mine I might spend like a minute playing with crops um just tiny little adjustments yeah, yeah right. I wonder if that line might not be as um might not look as good after cropping sure. I do appreciate very much the visual layering yeah here. I do yeah. Mm. I think there's a talent to, to look, I, I, look at. So I think there's a talent to look at something in real life and see the photograph in front of you, flattening mm -hmm. all those different things you can see in front of your eyes. I think the photographer has done that really well. I think yeah, it's this left hand side just is too distracting for me. Like the table mm -hmm. doesn't need like all of the the bit that I want to see is in the yeah. It's just the city, the boy, yeah. and the grown yeah. up. Yeah, and that's the that's important. The books, the cushions, the the grown up, the boy, the city mm. behind. Mm. They, they just need some adjustments. Yeah. Can we appreciate the separation with the knee and the skyscraper and the glasses and the head and the door? Yeah. The boy's yeah. head. I think there's that little that kind of bit right in the middle is just brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Shall it's we give it. it some stars then? Or no? I'm not. You're not. Alice? No, I think I'm going to say no. There's just too much that would hold back. For me. I still really like this. But there's a little bit too much that I, mm -hmm. I wish was different. And I want to just call it the aperture is probably it. We can't see it at the moment, but I think. It's F8. Eight, yeah, choice. there you go. Great choice. Yeah. F8 is... is probably the main technical reason why that's as successful as it is yeah yeah because you're still getting detail right through to the um the, yep. the skyscrapers in the background yeah and i know that's one of the biggest challenges people coming to the genre face like how i'm not going past it 2.8 try it try eight see what happens yeah so this one made us all chuckle a little bit can i, see the settings on this? Can I see the settings this one yeah okay so, too. It looks very smooth. It looks like there's been too much smoothing on it for me. I don't know. Do you know yeah, it's like noise reduction? I, that's why I wanted to see the ISO, but it's not very high. But um, I, I feel like I feel like it's very. I think there's there's a lack of texture on the body. Hmm. No, I know what you mean. It could be the light, but it could be also, yeah. But I think it's the with the F two because it's so blurry essentially. Mm. everywhere apart from this sliver here mm. so this one made me laugh straight away mm. um but it doesn't stay with me no, no it's it's a it's a it's a laugh out loud funny moment but I'm not sure there's anything else there that's going to keep me no. and, i think this bottom left hand corner is really annoying me as well i think there's another bra looks like on the table and I think it would have been better a wider 
yeah i did see the settings? in color potentially because they're probably all different color bras as well it yeah. looks like she looks like she's wearing two or three bras and she looks like she's throwing three that's what i'm saying like they're all different i mean this this it looks like there's room to push your eyes up so you could get some more aperture but i feel like it's cropped i couldn't even tell that was a partly because it's in black and white partly mm. cropped. i couldn't tell that it was a bra until you said that Mm. I thought it might be an open underwear drawer, but it looks like a kitchen. So the story isn't there enough for me, but I did really appreciate the the humour in it. And I think it's a great, it's a great um, scene to photograph for sure. Yeah. And it's probably a great moment to choose within the scene because we get expression and I like I think the movement is good. The movement highlights the, you know, what we can see visually. Um, but sometimes things just don't develop in terms of the moment and what's happening. Um, yeah. sometimes you just don't get that great shot from it yeah. right so we're moving on can I just say something else as well? oh, I don't know if, but I feel like that's like a lens cap or something on the table and that's really annoying me you must make sure that you don't have camera tools in the picture but it, it, if it's a lens cap. even if it's yeah. not yeah. it's a blob that's black on white and right in the corner so yeah. it's really distracting mm. Yeah, things and that are on the edge. A fractional move to the right yeah. or closer. I don't know, something would have moved that out of the frame. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to use F2, then anything on the same, so that's that, whatever it is, is on the same focal plane as the subject. So it's that thing is going to stand out because you've got her, she's blurring at the front and the back. The back when it's completely blurred and the darkness as well. So that is really standing out. It's really stunning because it's that apart from her, it's the brightest part of the picture. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So I, I think I said yes to this because I wanted to look at it a bit more mm. uh, to understand what's going on because it looks like a pillow fight, but it doesn't look like it's in the house. There's like a theatre stage pillow fight. I, I liked this when I first saw it. Um, Can I we just like... see the settings at, for the moment as soon as we see every picture? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the unusual perspective, sort of it's shot right from above and very flat, and I really enjoyed that. But now looking a bit, at it a little bit longer, I think there's this, this girl that is we see the face of, or this person. Um, they're the two camera aware for me, and I think they're that's, what, out, that's what's bothering me. They're acting out for the camera. Um, I also don't understand why there's so little else in the frame I feel like it's really empty and clean but like there perhaps should be more in there like if they're having a fight or something well that's what I, that's what confused me which is why yeah. I wanted to look at it so it, it's not a house as Alice said it's probably either a theater or maybe like a museum when they, they do like activities for kids maybe like a museum space or something um but the cleanliness of it did the juxtaposition of a clean space with a pillow fight. <laughs> mm. Can it's we zoom really... in a little bit just to see the faces? Because if that's an issue, it'd be good to see that more clearly. Because it does look like they're looking at the camera to me. They're acting like the they're really a face the camera. camera. Yeah. I wonder if it was maybe like a mezzanine in a house. I'm not getting a lot of everyday theme. Yeah. So this um, is something we can talk about as we see more pictures, but everyday scenes, everyday something that's visually re reflecting the everyday, but then there's everyday behaviour. So this does so pillow fights between siblings, whether or not they are, pillow fights between siblings and, and play fighting is very much an everyday aspect of family life. But the <laughs> visuals, although I appreciate I really appreciate the graphic of the stark nature of the visuals, I'm I don't feel every day about it. I, yeah, I don't feel every day, and I do feel like it's a. It, there's something about it that feels a little bit too staged. I don't, and it may it may not be, but that's that's what I'm feeling. Yeah. Also, the choice of hundredth of a second is slow. Um, there's not motion. There's not deliberate. It's not one of those shots which we we do see a lot in the genre where you deliberately use a slow shutter speed to capture motion to to show the feel, the energy, the you know the visual physical energy of this sort of behaviour. It it doesn't. Feel like a um yeah the strongest technical choice mm. okay. yeah i mean yeah it's it, there's a danger because obviously it's an it's an active scene uh, mm. to have 
for it, there's a danger that you're going to get some unwanted motion blur rather than intentional. You'd go down to 50th at the fastest for intentional motion blur, probably. Right. So we're moving on. I'm yeah. just conscious that, yeah, we need to. Okay. I, I really liked this one. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, I feel like it's the, another company. I keep saying this. I feel like it's too far over to the right this time and there's the, the frame needs to move to the right more. Did you mean it's too far to the... Oh, it's, it's too far to the people are too... Yeah. The subjects are too yeah. far to the right. The frame is too far to... Just... Yeah, the, ba the balance isn't there. It's too heavy on that side. So we don't need that chair. That chair is almost as big as the... Especially because it's in the foreground. Um, yeah, and it's lighter. I'm just trying to find... So these things just visually distract us. We've got this great little scene and I, it's giving me the feels but my eye is going to other bits that aren't important in the slightest so we kind because of, say that of the composition like so that. the cups and things on the table are good can you see my I like that but I don't need the entirety of those cups so if, if you didn't have anything on the right available to you to include cropping in and losing that little losing like a centimeter or so off the bottom is going to be fine yeah, again, a little bit straighter as well would, I feel mm. like, slightly like sloping. Slightly that, sloping. That radiant, has this been, sometimes we use transform in Lightroom as a, as an editing tool to straighten things and get it wrong. I don't know if that radiator is like yeah. that in real life or if transform's gone a bit wonky. Yeah. Because the table's on that skew as well. Both are possibilities, but yeah, it does look weird that the, because um, if you look at the top of the windows, you can see the top of the first pane, but mm. not of the second. So it's like it, it's yeah. it's a funny skew happening. I really love the color palette and the the slight mm. anonymity of it. That the fact that the woman and the dog are both looking out at something. Mm. Um, mm. So there's a lot I really like. You know, I love the way that the curtain is bunched up over the lady's shoulders. I think is she mm. on the phone? Even I don't know. Oh, but again. Maybe she's like maybe the adult the, the adults the adults looking at the dogs and kids the people are both on the phone yeah oh but it's not immediately clear oh, oh so f five is is pretty good choice I like that oh, especially it's is. dark it's dark so you, the... and I just want to I guess say that if you're if you're going if you're lowering your shutter to something like an eight year because you're thinking, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying this photographer thought that, but if a photographer's thinking, I'm already at ISO 1600, oh, that's really high, I better lower my shutter, raise your ISO, it's fine. Yeah. In this genre, it's go higher, 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 and get that shutter speed where it needs to be. This, the shutter speed has not, has not gone wrong at all in this, but um, if anyone had moved. So this is, I mean, in a way, it's, it's kind of slightly difficult to judge that because, depending on the camera that's taken on 1600 might be really high for this particular camera yes yes so we're used to shooting all three of us on mirrorless where you can really push your iso up to extremes you can't necessarily do that but mm -hmm. this is a quite a still scene so being a, if you can hand hold 80 yeah then this is the sort of scene where potentially you can do that yeah, I was just gonna say they, they're not looking like they're gonna jump anytime yeah. soon. So yeah. <laughs> this is fine. It's... And I know some people are like extremely steady handed. Like I would not be able to do that. No, I um but some people like shoot at really slow shutter and it's like amazingly sharp. Mm. This is not any this does not look like it's on the edge of too much grain to me in the slightest. Yeah. No, no. So, so are we putting it forward more or no? Oh. I think for me it's a no because they're just I the even though I like the idea of it. I really like it, but I just think the framing too many things. Yeah, that's not I agree. The, the framing and the edges are not there for me, but I really appreciate it. Right. Okay. I really liked this one. Yes, I really liked this one. It's not particularly sharp on the subject, but I still really there's something a feeling that I get from this one that I like the the saturation and the contrast so contrast affects saturation as well and I think that it's giving quite a retro feel the same as the, I think the clothes and the lollipop are as well so I'm thinking I'm having that nostalgic response to it 
The only thing I would say is that is is that grass that's been really toned to a funny colour. Feels like it's been toned to me because is that is it grass? Because it's almost it's grass. Good. It's grass and a some sort of hedge or something here. Yeah, I think it's grass. It's, um, it's a bit too inky blue for me. It's kind of just very yeah. It's sort of green, dark green, verging towards. Blue. It's like it's been changed. Yeah. To something. It's the the um, HLS yeah. sliders potentially. Um, what's distracting me is this blob of a person. Up yeah, there. the whole top edge for yeah. me. What's I piece? love her. I love that she's wearing a red hot chili peppers t-shirt. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, across the top you can see people's legs and things, and, yeah. and I don't need that. Um, and they're very bright because it's obviously like a bright day. Um, yeah, there's a woman's boobs. There's some over here. <laughs> some. And then you've got the yeah. feet, white feet trainers on the on the right side. Could have been shot slightly more down. And I think you could have done because the child's face is so up, and that would have eliminated the top mm. of the scene. Yeah, I really appreciate the timing. Yeah, it's that the frown between the eyebrows. Mm -hmm. that scrunch of the eyes and um, she's got her mouth she maybe he and um, the kid has got their mouth wide open but the lollipop is still like three times the size of it they're holding <laughs> it delicately the other hands out quite daintily i love 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 the mood and the kidness of this i don't actually mind the bits that you both picked out and said you didn't mm -hmm. like um I don't mind that I'm glad I can't see the whole of anybody because I think if I could see the whole of anybody it would be distracting exactly. see bits of people. it just gives me the street photography feel that that's what I, I was just thinking I like. I, like. I like that we can see that's on the street yeah yeah at the bench with the people sitting there that, yeah, doesn't, yeah, yeah. that doesn't bother me um I think there's a slight so sometimes it, it, it may be personal taste but sometimes there's a just tipping over of contrast and saturation for me which makes the image it just it I see that so this isn't necessarily doing this but I see it so much in photography um I see the edit before I see the photograph yes it's distracting and I am, I am I yeah. am seeing the edit and yes. I'm seeing the edit rather than not seeing it I'm not seeing it too 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 much but it's absolutely there and it's to do with contrast and saturation and I hadn't noticed the greens but now I totally see the greens no I I hadn't noticed the greens on the first mm. show because oh. we were going quickly but this is the main issue for me with this prop uh, with this photo is the edit uh, where yeah. it's slightly it's verging on too much contrast like I feel it's been boosted. I know it's a hot sunny day, but it, it yeah. feels very contrasty. And the um, colour of the green feels, it almost looks like blue tarmac. So mm. I, I don't know if this is a preset or not. And mm. I kind of get like on a bit piece. of a soapbox about presets sometimes. So if you're, if you're making a photograph in high contrast, maybe it's midday, you know, this might be lunch, a lollipop. It's a midday out and about. Um, and it's summer and there's lots of colors everywhere there's lots of greens you've got colored clothes on you're going to get a very natural high contrast in the raw photographs so if you do nothing to it you're going to have a very contrasty strong color picture especially if you shoot for highlights because then you're going to bring out the darkness and the other colors so if you if you do your and every it's probably you shouldn't use the word every day to a bit of anything but if, if you do your kind of regular edit on a picture like that you might be boosting things too much if you use a preset on a photo like that you might be boosting things too much so i'm not saying this is a preset but it's yeah. i i just don't know how i don't know how um deliberate the touches of editing are in it mm. and it's taste it is taste it, it, it's totally valid to have a high contrast desaturated look if if that's your thing but we talk about real there's nothing better than real life in this genre we don't want the edit to look unreal and sometimes if it's too contrasty it can look unreal mm. 
Okay. But it does give me that 70s vibe, though, having said that. Which Definitely I think has a 70s wanted. vibe to it. Um, Are we putting it forward? I don't think I am because of the colour of the glass. Alice? I'm going to say yes, but I've already done all the fighting for it. I think I've got in me. So <laughs> I'll I'll give it a star. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was really happy. Can I just um, yeah. pause a sec? I forgot to type the P. <laughs> we have a code P for lots of things like the doorbell pinging, uh, needing a P, <laughs> fire pinging. So, but Alice couldn't work out how to write it. So that's why we said P earlier. I needed to switch pause. my dryer because it makes a noise. Pause. <laughs> Doesn't stop. Yeah, so P is for pause. <laughs> for pause, um, P. <laughs> everything we would need to pause for begins with a P. So that's yeah. all. The post, the pings, the P's, the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Uh, I really like this picture. Um, the mood of it, because we see a lot of sort of crazy kids screaming in the car seats and that sort of stuff. I haven't seen one like this before, I don't think. I like how calm they are. Um, and it's sort of framed by the seat on one side and yeah. the toning is beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. like white. And the freckles on the nose, oh, yeah. so yummy. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, I like that sort of, um, that thing about siblings, actually, I think is represented here, where you have a different sense of personal space with siblings. Mm. They're like with puppies when they're all feeding from their mum and they're just clambering over each other. When I observe siblings and my or my own kids, they they're kind of like that. Even even when sometimes they hate each other, they they're in each other's personal space in a completely different way to anyone else. Mm. And that here, yeah. the she's leaning on her older brother that's what my assumption is that that's what I, I mean, mean the faces are very similar so it's it's mm. very obvious yeah, that, 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 that comfort and the fact that he's just letting her because he's awake mm -hmm. feels really yeah it's nice and that it seems well, <laughs> it's just in this weird place as well because yeah. i think she's leaning on him yeah um, i feel like he might be on his phone yeah, yeah. quite happily just in his own space and in his own like um, you know, mental space yeah they're, they're doing totally different things but they're connected yeah and I also quite like what his cap says yeah, I was just, just enjoy like the that. way and then there's you know contrast to their facial expressions <laughs> they're not enjoying the way necessarily they're so like sleeping in the journey is the exact yeah, opposite yeah. so they're on the way to enjoy Do the words in it I it, it has also has this timeless feel to it, um, which I really like. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a star. Who else is gonna give it a star? I was hesitant. Uh, I I do think the one point four works. It does work. I I quite like the 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 framing. So we we're seeing a little bit of like a private moment. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's overdone sometimes and looking through doorways I think I'm it kind of it doesn't do it for me but this is I think so that, that sometimes when you're using that thing, thing it's done as a trick rather than you know it's gimmicky rather than exactly yeah whereas I there. whereas this I mean already in a car you've got limited space that's 35 like it's tight, you know, for a car. It's tight. so you're going to have things in the frame, in the foreground, but I think it doesn't feel performative or forced. Oh, it, it, it feels, feels more like, like that's because of the space and it's been used well. And actually, like you said, the, the one point four makes it less distracting. Yeah. Way. yeah, yeah. I see a parent's point of view here, mm -hmm. and I appreciate that point of view. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, it's, I'll say yes. You star, Emma. Um. I'll say yes for now. I'm not sure it's a going to be a favorite of mine, but Do we just need. Yeah, we just need to yeah. Um, yeah. make a decision for now. It's it's a little bit like culling, isn't it? When you sort of 
put, put some things in and then you look at the whole thing and you go mm -hmm. actually maybe not like it's it's a multi-stage process mm -hmm. this is another example of how symmetry is imperfect i think where it's using the idea of the symmetry with the sort of central composition but everything's not quite the same on either side you know her arm positions and the bushes and things aren't quite mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, a, it's yeah. a lovely childhood scene um it's very much like a relatable everyday um type of behavior captured in a moment I, I really respond to this photograph i i like the little i like the context of it the finding her path through this it's not overgrown is it? but it's you know there's a little path through quite a lot of yeah. plants and little flowers and the, i love the toning in it um the color palette the is lovely the color, yeah the color palette and the toning is really beautiful and it's 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 such a, a childlike or child I don't know it's a childhood scene it? this is how little children play mm -hmm. really creatively in slight in a slightly bonkers way I think this yeah, is, I, it looks like a a dressing gown belt and it's tied into her hair and wrapped strangling the toy um and she's holding on to her hair to keep it in um, whilst she's leaving her fringe out of the way leaving, yeah yeah which is where really, there's some really lovely just in the baggy pants as well I love and also walking around yeah. the garden pants and vests is really cute too yeah like the feminine colors of her with this like slightly murderous behavior towards a pink fluffy bunny <laughs> and what I overall I love about this is it's a visually like aesthetically pleasing yeah. um palette and symmetry and composition there's a lot which is ticking a lot of boxes yes I, I like looking at this thing but the thing I'm looking at is weird kid behavior give me weird kid behavior any day and I will lap it up yeah so the, just like weird kid behavior is your moment isn't it and then but it's also a really beautiful composition uh -huh. and, and so then it starts to come together even more it's a really really lovely photo this yeah. so visuals yeah. technicals feel um and then we we get so the weirdness is we we look for different things and we express things differently with our own creative voice and i think sometimes weirdness is we use that i use that word a lot but it means lots of different things but it's it's essentially um a way of seeing or seeing people seeing behavior and going yeah actually this is this is something that i respond to this is normal <laughs> it's normalizing quirk um individuality championing that recognizing that we, we play outside of the boundaries of how we're supposed to play with things mm -hmm. um and i think yeah. what each of us individually will like spot is part of what this voice is like because i might find something else weird and zoning on that mm. um and I think that's what makes us all different. Also, our kids are different. Like some some kids do really weird things, and others don't so much. And then you kind of have to pick little smaller details, and like your child's behavior if they don't do crazy stuff. I think there's also like there's two layers of weird because there's there's being able to observe those un, like those unique individual unusual things about different people, which it's not weird it's just that everybody's different and so those are funny on an, a micro scale it's funny because it's very personal but there's also a way of seeing a photo and photographing in a weird and unusual way there's different layers of weird and that also mm -hmm. I find I also find that very attractive because that's when a photographer is really using their vision you appreciate the wavelength that photographers are. You appreciate the choice they made to. So if I if if a kid did this in front of me, I would grab my camera so fast. <laughs> um, and this is a moment I would hope to get. There's the niggle I'm having is the what I think is desaturated green. Now I I pull my greens down a little bit if there's a lot of green because I don't want it to distract. But sometimes it can be distracting in. If it's pulled down a little too much uh, the blue is quite bright and the yellow is quite bright but it feels like mm. the green is down a little it's mm. it's tasting but it's that what we said um earlier on about seeing the edit the more i look at it the more i'm seeing the edit mm -hmm. yeah it's slightly fluffy 
Yeah. It's like that matte, it's a slightly matte, which makes it look a bit fluffy. But um, it's still green to me, whereas the picture before was blue. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right. This is a yes. Yes yeah. for you, Emma? Yes, yes. Okay, I really like this one. Yes, oh. I like this one. Top left. It's a nice phone right. photo. <laughs> I love, love, love this, but I've just seen the top left little thing, which is annoying. A little, little triangle, yeah. Oh, it's, 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 so mine. it's a phone. It's a phone picture. It. Yeah. iPhone twelve. Oh, wow. Amazing. So crystal clear on the I eye. Know. You can see love the phone in their pupils. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm so like... with the phone photo, which is allowed, totally allowed. We just the the technical choices are different because you just. It's about all about composition, really. Um, um, and also the ratio, I think that's why the ratios are slightly yes. different, yes. Um, which is not a problem. I think I'm drawn to pictures that are slightly anonymous um, like this. And here we can, and also anything with freckles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love that. Um, so here, like the eyes go straight to the eye and the freckles and this fantastic freckles all over the face. Uh, I love how you've got the stripes slightly regular and leading, like leading your eye towards the yeah, eye. And then you've got the spottiness of the freckles. I like that mm. contrast of the, the sort of spots and stripes. The texture in this is beautiful. Yeah. I love the different textures. We, we sometimes hear conversations or there are conversations about eye contact. Like, is it still eye contact? Is it still documentary if, it, if there's eye contact? Absolutely. Um, this is a great it example. just depends like we talk a lot like in the previous picture we talked about how the child seems to be doing it for the camera um and that's not always good, in a in a previous one the one with the two pillar the pillow yeah up. not not the previous one like one of the ones we looked at before mm. um, here even though there's eye contact um it doesn't distract me from the sort of quite regular nature of it and the composition and the fact that it's clearly the child is playing hide and seek or whatever they're playing just stuffing themselves in boxes as kids do that's a very everyday real life that's thing. a very everyday thing yeah mm. uh, it's a yes for me yeah i like this one alice yeah that i'm bothered by the stuff but yes you're bothered yeah. by the triangle now you said it, I can see it. It, it does it's really tiny, well. small, small, tiny crop. It's such a tiny crop to get that off. Yeah, it wouldn't have affected the writing composition so at all. So because it's a tiny crop, it's not necessarily the triangle that's bothering me. It's the lack of confidence I then feel in the intention of the photographer to present exactly what they meant. You know, it. it why yeah, I know because that? it's such a tiny little correction. Mm. And then it does it does start to question the intention for me, especially mm. because it's a phone picture as well. Mm. Then the settings are chosen for them, so it's a snap. It's all about composite with phone photography. Yeah. It's all about composition. Yeah. It's a snap that's really well observed and really well chosen time to take one. But then there's that little teeny weeny thing that's. Yeah. Um, I still I still like I still like it though. And we should probably talk a little bit about cropping. So we always like we as much as possible, we do want to stay true to the scene and not crop into it too much. So you can't take a picture and then crop like the 20% of it. Mm -hmm. But if it's a tiny edge or something really tiny on the on the in the corner on the edge of the picture, there's nothing wrong with just correcting that a little bit. Because sometimes it is in the moment, like you don't have the time. Mm -hmm. like micro adjusted because the moment is happening it's, it's, straight, it's, always, it's always better to give yourself a little bit extra space so that you can yeah or like if you're like me and you can't get horizon stra straight and never get things straight <laughs> i'm crooked yeah. this way so i have to correct it afterwards and i do transform so i do give myself a little bit i transform if i'm shooting in say a kitchen with lots of lines or with yeah. a bookcase or something or doorways so Stepping back a little bit to give yourself that wiggle room straight. Yeah. So the, the worst, the worst so... thing you can, you can do is then find that you that you've cropped some oh, toes or something or a, yeah. a finger. So you're better giving yourself a little little bit of breathing room rather than 
thinking you can't do I can't I can't change that I've lost the toes there's a misconception that you can't crop you can crop to finesse your edit but what you shouldn't do is crop to achieve an entirely different photograph to the one you were seeing while you were shooting because that's that's different that's also it's it very very clear that you've done that as well yeah, yeah it didn't work but here's another photograph I managed to salvage out of the one that didn't work that or you just didn't you didn't see you didn't see the content and the edges properly and the more you force yourself to go okay I got that wrong I got that wrong I got, I got that wrong because the pain of knowing that then you the more chance you're going to have of sooner rather than later getting it right in camera and as soon as you get it right in camera everything just falls into place so coming back to this I'm giving it all three yeses from us yes yes okay Oh, there's another doll picture. I was thinking about that one. Um, well, I prefer the other doll picture. Over the other this. I, um, this isn't as this. This that the moment's not as strong here. They've just. I mean, it's cute because there's two girls sitting in pram. They've both got a doll on their knee, but there isn't that tenderness in the other one where the the child had actually been was had a, had a maternal hand on the doll, and the fact that the doll had plasters and things on. So the story was stronger for the, for me in the other picture so i think okay. what's interesting here is that the picture is about dolls on the surface of it but i think what's maybe the photographer thought was because it's obviously twins yeah Mirror to they're behavior. both picking their noses the nose. that's where the picture is actually so, so it's not high enough up to crop to is not. yeah because the the left hand uh, the left child the hand is almost out of the frame um, there's so, so much mirroring in here but we're not yeah. seeing we're not, the, seeing, we're not seeing it fully. maybe if it was a fuller frame with their faces included then it's about the dolls and the fact that the yeah. thing, and the fact that the, and there's like multiple elements and i do appreciate that the bot that the right hand side doll the foot is included just about mm. so I, I see the photographer was perhaps thinking i'm going to watch my edges i'm not going to chop yeah. the foot yeah, yeah definitely yeah but in doing that the um if if that was the thought process the yeah you don't okay so also we don't need the eyes of the kids necessarily because the the story is the movement and we have technically i can see on the left hand side hand just got it in mm. but if you're going to cut off from above the lower eyelid it doesn't look intentional especially because we have on you know, the under eye area mm. um it just it makes me want to see more and not in a not in a good way not in a oh i wonder what the story is it's just like, I think that's that's kind of what I'm getting at that because of all the action going on here like I actually want to see the rest of their faces whereas <laughs> if it was more like holding the door moment like in the previous picture that we saw with the door that's when you crop into the middle of their body yeah because the moment there was about the hand yeah so maybe so waiting until they touch actually it. touch the dolls yeah whereas this is all about the mirroring and the pairing yeah. you know, the, you know the, the the sort of not not symmetry symmetry again so, um but actually the weight of the picture is so high up because you've got three hands doing something that are in the top fifth of the picture yeah actually in the bottom fifth there's there's not that much there's the foot hanging mm. but i i feel like you could have lost that foot completely and brought it up and got the eyes and the weighting of the picture would have been different then it could have been a nice portrait one as well yeah Right. Well, so well, stepping, back, stepping back you might get some stuff that you don't want because you've got like obviously the man stand yeah, on the man, and yeah. you've got some flowery stuff in the top right so maybe there was some choices made there but if you just rather than stepping back just slightly moved up but kept the background out that that might have made a difference yeah okay moving on yeah um, So we all laughed at this. One. This is another funny ha ha. It's funny, isn't it? Because yeah. you you have immediate reactions to funny ha ha things. Yeah. Then when you look beyond that, yeah, is I, that picture a good picture? I like the graphic shapes and the toning. I'm I'm I really appreciate the sort of light and dark and the shape. I do, like, and I like the corner, corner of the, the fabric coming in on the on the left. There's yeah, some nice, the frog. yeah. But if you're gonna, if the picture's gonna, um work on a, a level of form i want the form to be perfect and this is exactly the sort of picture i would use transform for in lightroom yes, because i want to return yeah. it to the real life shapes 
because the form it, it's negating that impact of the form because the yeah, form you've is, got the sloping uh, line yeah both sides and that's distracting that beautiful black and white graphic nature of it yeah. and, and and it would be there's so many different little frames that are framing the children as well it would be so effective and yeah. you know and then you've got the steamy messiness of human in the middle of all these graphic shapes yes and it's a 50 mil lens so correcting lens curvature on a 50 mil lens isn't that much correction to do at all yeah. if this was 24 the lines would be all over the place but I'm actually thinking, I was thinking about the lens just now, because I don't know if the photographer only has that lens, um, but it's not like that's why they're standing slightly outside of the bathroom, because they can't get any closer yeah. with a 50 to do what they're trying to do. Had they had uh, like a 35 or a 24, they could have been in the room there with the children and removed this uh, foreground doorway that doesn't need to be there completely just by taking one step in and being I in the room. I do I quite like, like the black. I quite like the balance of the black on that side and the black of the room going out on the other side, though. So diagonal, right yeah. left backwards as well, with the shape echoing the diagonal line on the floor. She got the lovely parallel with the rug and the line, the the lines yeah. of the tiles and the kids standing in the middle. So I I quite like that that door frame on the right adds to that. Mm -hmm. so for me, it, for me, it doesn't. For me, like I I want I would have wanted it to be like here somewhere. Even though I don't need the top of the shower, like for me, it's this much more simplified. But I see where you're getting at. Like there's, there's different ways. I mean, this this is yeah. a sort of graphic using lines as frames. I think again, you could go in closer. You could literally just take a picture of glass with the bum with the bum on it as well. You know, okay. so there's lots of ways of taking this picture. But I do appreciate this choice as well. Mm. Yeah. I quite like the, it looks like there's around kind of like this height and uh, markings on the inside of the shower. The kids probably, you know, yeah, I think that. Mm. Um, it feels real. It feels every day. It's funny. Mm. I like the stance, the left leg of the kid at the front. I really like that. Yeah, yeah I like the toes turned in. But, and also if this doesn't look like they've done, they've been, they're messing around in the shower for the camera. They're messing around as siblings and the cam. Mm. The, Parent you've liked a little bit more separation between this child and this child yeah there's the box on the shoulder maybe. yeah but again that's i think with this lens and the door frame it's not like with this equipment i don't think you could do that unless you wait a little bit but then the moment could have been gone um, yeah yeah um but um any yeses no okay moving on I put this one in because I just love the shapes. And the yeah, it was really like it's really what's, nice. what's happening here kind of picture. Um, so the, the the readability of where your eye goes, your eye just like you know scoops around this one. Just beautiful with the rocks and the, then the, you know the organic shape of the rocks and the water. Yeah, yeah. and also the the fact that oh, this child is wearing like a, a, a floaty vest and a. Jacket. Jacket float, I don't know what it's called. Um and that's a nice diff you know, you've got the difference of an adult and a child with the vest and they're going they're in different directions, but they're also doing the same thing. Um I don't know whether the child is mimicking that the dad or the dad decided to join the child. There's something nice about the fact that they're going in different directions. It's lovely. It is slightly different things. The dad or maybe it's just a, a random person as well. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah the adult is kind of doing this and the child is doing this so it's not yeah, exactly I feel similar. like the, the child is less relaxed you know when you're not quite yeah. sure how to float it, the child doesn't want it water in the ears I think that's what's yeah, happening yeah and and like the, there's a tension in their feet whereas the, the parent or the adult is completely relaxed mm -hmm. you know that feeling when you're learning to float on your back and you kind of tip your bottom in a bit and you just can't quite float and you kind of sink the more you wiggle the more you sink mm -hmm. He's in an awkward, he, she is in an awkward position. Mm. Obviously, it's not very deep water, but there's some movement like going around the feet. And like you said, don't want it, look, looks like they don't want water in their ears. They're, they're clearly uncomfortable they're, in the water. There's so. a less, less relaxed feel than the adult who's completely chilled. Yeah. But it's a beautiful picture. I really, really enjoy it. And I, so this is F13, which is a really yeah. great choice. I love the texture in the rock that we can see the water. 
in the bar is, well, yes. you they've got in and out that way all the um, texturally it's it is just beautiful yummy and then and the, the composition is... and and the light are really lovely as well i don't feel like i've seen a photograph like this no i'm sure i've seen not you know like different types of beach water photography but the shape can i just it? say i would like this for, for it to be my every day <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool if it's there every day yeah um which it you know who, who are we to say that may be the family that lives right there mm. um, I, love the, I love the choice of them um, not having any more information than the mm. rocks because it could be a river it could be a beach a pool uh, you know it's really cool not yeah I'm highly sure it's just it's, it's just beautifully incorporating what you need i think it's it's original and it's it's technically very strong and it's original yeah um so and we're all responding to it yeah like emotionally so mm -hmm. where's mm -hmm. that one through shall we yep. so i said i said yes to this one like on a gut reaction because i thought it was ridiculous what this child is doing mm -hmm. um that said on the second glance um it's not quite there yeah I feel like the light it's is funny so exposed overexposed yeah. because because it's backlit yeah. um so it's so bright behind them and yet it's not that I can't read what's going on in the front very clearly yeah because it's shadowed um and the knee cropped off at the bottom yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. yeah. you know this is this, something this was this was the bit I was there. attracted to yeah mm -hmm. a very simple frame and you could could have um, been this. Yeah. yeah either step back to get the knee in or go right in to get because yeah, the interesting bit is the sand coming out of the hair isn't it yeah, yeah. And, th and then it would have been just nice blue of the sea and the sky just behind the head if you've done that yeah um, a closer photograph of that with so as well as that compositional change i would like to see um more emotion in the kit i mean obviously you don't want to have your mouth open if you're doing that but mm. i feel a bit it feels a bit flat to me emotionally as well as compositionally even though I appreciate that activity is photo worthy yeah it's quite possible that this kid was doing this for, for a while just looking at mm. the state of them mm. um, <laughs> yeah there, there potentially could have been opportunities that said it's a it's a 50 so it's fairly possible to kind of be a distance away with your camera from the sand being thrown and, and just watch your lens if you're shooting something like this no that's what i'm saying with the 50 yeah, you could be just you know just like yeah, get too close. i feel like i would i would have liked to have had a bit more texture from the sand like f3 mm, um, especially, especially if you're going closer that would start fading and blurring quickly i think you know it's clearly a bright day the iso is really low i, I would push that up a bit yeah yeah get underneath yeah, get really, what yeah, you're really at. get the texture of that sand in the hair mm. and the grains falling could have even been like a picture of the face up to the nose or something yeah yeah really much much closer i think yeah that's the interesting bit the, and, and the body the rest of the body isn't it's not the moment that they're putting sand on their head with their hands. Yeah. Maybe that's what it needed as well. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that would be too obvious. Yeah. Okay. Next. So I really like this one. Yeah, I really mm. like this too. And just what, what we were talking about with the lines with the shower one, I appreciate. I appreciate the um. I'm double checking it. I appreciate the lines here. Mm. Looking good. Yeah. I, know, I mean, this is. This for me works. So this is like a bit of like a framing. So there's this mm. side the curtain and then this side the wall kind of frame. There's a big picture in the middle of the towel block. And I'm like, yeah, I'm intrigued by the the view and the child looking out at the view and that, that compressed feel. Yeah, and it's raining, so there's like we can see droplets on the on the window. I think why this is I'm having this emotional response is sometimes you, with a composition like this you get the feel of obviously like a little kid in a big world it gives yeah. you the kid's perspective that sense of wonder sense of scale there's massive massive apartment blocks. yeah I, I really like the contrast between the tiny kid and the big big building that's completely going out of the frame 
yeah um, and that's the anonym, anonymity of the child yeah and the play the way they're sort of just playing or eating on that ledge what i find interesting is there's a this is a thermometer isn't it so kind of tells me that maybe they're unwell and they're stuck inside as well I think the lighting feels very intimate. I don't yeah. know if it's a bit yeah. lovely yeah. color palette. Pretty city, maybe. Yeah, I like all those. I mean, the oranges and the. I mean, any time you have like oranges and blues, because that, yeah. spectrum, that just aesthetically just hits you as something that works. Well, that's quite great. interesting because there's slightly warmer light. I think, and I don't think the light is on in the apartment. Yeah, like there's a look. little bit of the yellow from from this box and mm. on the dress, and then there's kind of cool lights outside and the, and the blues of the building um or maybe the light is on here i think there's yeah maybe a lamp on the little lamp, lamp yeah the yeah i enjoy this all three yeses yeah. I was yeah. Through. yeah okay i i suggest this one i think i like hair in the <laughs> i think i have a thing but um kate's hair i i do like the the relatable feel of this action. I do like the I like sure. the I like the angle they've taken this and the way that the arms weave like organically through the frame from the top left to the bottom right. And the turn of the head of the kid. Uh, but I do it, that makes it really re relatable as well because it's it's any kid. But I just wish it was on a higher f stop. Yes, yeah. uh, f two is. It's so low. I, I'm I'm only getting a teeny weeny bit of the sharpness on that hand. It's just this, just whole, this. But for F two, that is that focus is nailed. It has that. nailed the focus. It's yeah. literally on that droplet. Can you see? But I'm not. This is. I don't like this picture because of the drop. It could have. I would like it without the drop. The drip. Yes. I would. So nailed. It's, I wonder yeah. if the photographer thinks. Oh, this is about the drip. There's three drips. Look how I've nailed the focus. Look, this is just in motion. Yes, that's all brilliant. But what I like about it is I know how it feels to squeeze your kid's hair like that and for them to turn. And, you know, I, I get, I, I would be happy with much more aperture because there's more it, in it that I love. It's both things. It's the feeling of having your hair done like that when you're a child and the feeling of doing it as a parent. Mm. But I really want to see the texture because, because actually that girl's hair is kind of the photo and the mm -hmm. other plait is out of the other braid is out mm -hmm. of focus and that feels wrong yeah absolutely i definitely want to see all of it that bit needs to be in focus as mm -hmm. well as and also because it's a fish it compresses it even more and it sort yeah. of removes that pain of focus even more yeah you know, when, when you're going close to something because they're quite close here to get just the arms and the Mm. the head then you'll you're blurring the background anyway just because you're closer to the subject yeah. and you forget that that if you're close to something just the science of photography means the background's going to be even more blurry so yeah. if you have a blurred background you don't need it at f2 to make a blurred background if you're close if you and step the, forward stop yeah. down basically yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah little thing to remember yeah, yeah. next step yeah. in stop down Step in, step, stop up. What? Step <laughs> in, step Don't up, stop people. down. Oh, it's like the hokey cokey, in, out, shake it all about. Um, right, so moving moving on, yes? Yeah, painfully moving on because I love that. As this I, makes me laugh, the nonchalance yeah. of yeah. Spider-Man holding the it's remnants cereal. of like, cornflakes. <laughs> yeah. And there's food on the stool as well. Yeah. Um... I really I like the way his nose feels like it's slightly being pressed up yeah. by the, the, -Man. the mask is clearly like skewed it's not in the right place it's uncomfortable yeah they climbed clearly or something and all the stuff on the fridge as well like just tells me this is um that is very much an everyday scene for many many families like kids and dress up climbing on things um it has a more of a portrait feel this one it's got lovely, like if, you, if we're talking about straight lines and things this is really nicely composed to have the edge of the stove and the yeah it's very very nice it was also you can um, line down the middle oh. on the right hand side you've got yeah. this cream and green color palette on the left you've got the spider-man color palette yeah yeah um, and also so you've got the busyness of the pattern on the uh curtain and then the busyness of the 
stuff oh, on the fridge. So love the texture of the cabinets fun. as well. All the, the old cabinets also. Yeah. It's a yes for me. Yes. Yes. Okay. I love this. Oh, yeah. Beautiful portrait. Yeah, this is a feels one, isn't it? That's a feels one, yeah. I do wonder if this was overexposed and saved in post, the, the trees. It, because it's really, really hard technically to expose yeah. with something like this, because if it's it is, so dry, yeah. um, you have to make a choice. Uh, I do think the choice that was made here is, I think they've the right pulled it off. Yeah. I think you had, the, it is the right choice because the exposure of the, it's basically is a portrait. You have to mm. prioritise the, the... Um, so you have to prioritise yeah. the face and it's beautifully exposed, the face, because it's not too it's not too much but I do think the highs could come down at top that's what time. I kind of mean because it's so bright it could have been beautiful colour though I love this is again that orange and blue it's lovely and I like that there's a some reflection. some rep repetition of the leaves in the in yeah. the mirror in the mirrored so I love how it overlays the face as well. mm -hmm. it's kind of half the face is, is the leaves and I say is a very good choice yeah, it's such an entrancing look as well. It's really sort of Mona Lisa, enigmatic, yeah, unreadable expression. It's really very beautiful. So this is a sort of photograph that you take either of your kid or you do commercially for a client's kid. But someone who doesn't know who this kid is doesn't think, oh, those trees are so much my area, you know, they make me think of home. I don't know or care about any of the individual elements in this picture, but I would have this on my wall because there's something that's, beautiful about it and I respond to it emotionally that's mm -hmm. and I love the the half half composition that's you know it's almost like a diptych the diagonal diptych mm, yeah. it's very beautiful in okay should we right. shove this yeah we will shove this one. Shove <laughs> elegantly <laughs> move on it's, it's I love that one of the things I love about this one is like where you get completely different things and this this is like a completely different photo to the one before but yeah. equally lovely in its own way you know this is the story or is it rather the other one was a, a beautiful portrait mm. including context that this is a really lovely moment and nicely composed to include the right parts of the body yeah. again it's very anonymous like it's every mother of a newborn yeah. child yeah. pretty much yeah so one thing I love in photographs is where this isn't this isn't the the Easter egg version, which is where there's something funny, you know, that you don't spot. But what I love about this is it it takes you just a tiny little beat to realise that the food she's eating is chocolate sprinkles on um on like a muffin or a roll. Um and having been through that experience as a mum, yes, to feed me chocolate sprinkles yeah. is <laughs> what I'm breastfeeding. But... Yeah. Yeah. And, and balancing balance the balance plate on top of the baby. baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, your baby's covered in crumbs, like toast yeah. crumbs when you finish. So extremely um, well done at nailing the everyday within the documentary genre, because this is the reality of newborn life, for sure. But also, like, you know, the tenderness of the hand that's covering the baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just going and back. The two, the two the hands. hands. Yeah, the both hands are important they're both doing it's that multitasking feeling of of a parent but also just what we were talking about with the two girls in the pram where there was a slight discomfort and where the the frame was cutting through the bottom of their eyes this is lower than that so it's mm. it's not got any of the eye in at all and it feels a comfortable place for it to cut through yeah. and it's really making you look at what the hands are doing and the story of motherhood when you it's got that balance of caring for your newborn and self-care like yeah. self-nurture and feeding however you feed you know feeding your kid with one hand feeding yourself with the other hand I'm not sure it's self-nurture and self-care it's oh my god I've got two minutes to finish to eat something well, eating chocolate. now <laughs> I'm eating chocolate on a whatever it is that ticks the self-care box for me it's like <laughs> yes fuck it I'm having chocolate okay. for lunch. that was the first yeah well, so I'm pretty sure it's uh all yes from all of us yeah yes I was just gonna say this is yes for me Okay. So we've got another window reflection. Yeah. So I like the idea of it. And I'm I love seeing all the people in images. Yeah, um, I do. Yes. Uh, the lines of what, 
I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Yeah, it's it needs a slight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like the idea of it, but I don't think it's been executed in the best. I way. think that the other picture, which I don't think did we put it through? I don't think we put it through. No, we didn't. On one side, and I think that had more to it than this one. Yeah, yeah. I think that this one would have been better. And this, this is three two. I mean, this is a beautiful portrait. It's lovely. <laughs> It's a really lovely portrait. This is very distracting for me. This, this line, post is window. distracting. Yeah. And the fact that you've got that corner in the bottom is a bit distracting. Yeah. So it's yeah. a straighten. I do like it, but I don't think I'm going to say yes. I'm not going to say yes. I agree. Okay. So this is a, 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 bit like, a bit like the other photos, the, the, pair, the exhaustion of babyhood. Yeah. I think the other one kind of does it better even though it's slightly different exactly. I think here because of the where the light and shadow are and also because it's black and white it's losing a little bit of clarity as to what's happening I can't I don't know what the thing is yeah white thing between uh, I think the story was more layered in the other one as well and, and actually a better photograph so for that reason I wouldn't put this one through I know what as that much is. as I like the I mean, it might be that our kids are a bit older and everyone now has got those when you have a baby but I can't read no. I do love the feeling of exhaustion and you can see the see why and you're that sort of submitting submitting to the exhaustion but I yeah the light's not not yeah, great I think a lot of it is in the dark here and it's just not and I know it's like um a reality of many houses but it's just so much harder to read this image mm. i appreciate you can see the watch because it, it's either like quarter to three in the morning or the afternoon and it's probably the afternoon what is that oh is it a sound machine maybe maybe is it's it... not like a rocking thing i don't know it's maybe. making sounds i don't know i don't know never mind we'll google that later <laughs> okay next one yeah that's not in not in for me okay so the woodrow girl <laughs> this feels quite a lot like spider-man boy though it does <laughs> but this is the kids every day stand around like slightly gormlessly like yeah. halfway through doing something and um, i think the spider-man stop... boy is more interesting though yeah for me it's more of a, a commentary on what what, and also the, the sort child. of the cleverness of the composition with like different sides of the frame in the Spider Man versus this, which is very central and it's and the flat thing. I don't that the the strengths in that other picture are not are not hurting this picture for me okay. because I'm seeing this as a different one. She's standing <laughs> in the wardrobe, <laughs> um, making that important decision about what to wear for the day. Looking like she might have changed her mind or doesn't give a shit after all. <laughs> um, I I like central compositions. I really like this. Okay. Is that a yes for you? It is a yes. Emma? Um, there's something niggling me about her expression and her body. Like, I feel like she's been told to stay there. So I, there's there's things I do like about it. I do like the color palette. I like the composition. You know, the edges are really nicely included. You know, the light switch and the measuring thing. Um, tonally, it's lovely. I, 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 I maybe I'll say yes for now. Okay. I like this one. I really like the composition mm. as well, and the angle and the light, and the dad break while sort of parenting whilst having a rest and the you know the thing the objects in the picture feel like they would be there slight mm -hmm. I, wish, I wish there was a slightly less on this right where that little foot of the chairs coming in on yeah. this side. oh yeah. yeah it could have yeah. been cropped quite easily a little yeah. bit more top and a little bit on the side but I still really, I really like this. And again, it's got it's got that lovely color, the color of mm. like warmth, yeah. warm at the top, cool at the bottom. Um, yes, for you, from you, Emma. Yes, I would say yes to this. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're saying yes to quite a lot. I think. As well, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, 
once we've talked about them, when we move them around, we can do it quickly without having to. Yeah, I think the ones I just go back to that one as well. I really like the shapes in that with all the squares and the diagonals and things. I think it's really nice. Do you think mm -hmm. he's been told to say that? Because mm. I'm, I don't know whether it's just because you said that about the previous one that, and it's that's already in my head still. But I, that's what I've been sitting here thinking about. Because mm -hmm. he do what he's told, obviously. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe she told him to stay there. That's that's the possibility. <laughs> I, I think if you were a dad doing that, you would just be doing that anyway. You wouldn't have to tell them to stay because they'd be taking um, the opportunity. What if the smile is a little? Yeah, the, the facial expression. We, right. we have to trust that, though, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Same with the other picture. Because that's that's like the rules. So I put this one through because this really reminds me. <laughs> The kids were little and we used to stand and watch the trains and I, I like the the composition how they've framed it so they've got the angle go you know the diagonal half half picture line going from one corner to the other and then those trains coming in a frame but do you feel when when that line when the, that that diagonal line is so much a feature of the image that it needs because I, I feel it needs to be perfect this is one of those times when I'm not embracing the imperfect because it's obviously such so I agree it's not quite right on the top I also think it could be further back so that you get slightly more of the dad yeah because there's a lot of the, the stuff the green above the train isn't well I mean it kind of it does balance it balances the other textures but but if if you're going to put the bottom left line directly into the middle please put the top right the top line in the middle as well up. if you can That's... and it's just a slight a slight adjustment in like angle of the camera that's all and you could have at the same time incorporated slightly more of the dad i think mm -hmm. oh let's let's acknowledge that trains go pretty fast yeah right? that's true so it's not so like you haven't got a lot of time yeah. i mean if if you know the that's trains you, you line that up one's exactly. at the station though this one's the station clearly is it or is it yeah, just the platform oh, it's, a bridge. it's a bridge over a platform yeah, there's like a yellow oh, line. I see. The oh, I see. Yes, the train's at the platform. That's what you mean. Yeah. I think it might be more interesting actually if it was moving and it was intentional motion blur of the train and the child looking. I think there's not enough grabbing me in this in terms no, of. It's not for, it's not for me. Yeah. It's okay. So it's, it's I appreciate the clever composition. I do appreciate yeah. it. And I appreciate the the moment as well that's that is something to do. i mean we live near a train and we did this endlessly <laughs> in different right. day out. so i really like i really like this picture you like the color again the color the warm color palette yeah. here and the I light the, the both the expression on both the the people especially the one in the front with the hand oh it just it's really lovely that and gap between the fingers. Both of them, the hand position of both of them. They're kind of mirroring a little bit, aren't they? With a little bit of mirroring with the hand movement. Yeah. And I love the it. Like it looks... Speed of light in the eye. They almost look like paintings in the mirror. Like a, It's almost like a frame of a picture. And this person has like a bit of a, almost like a halo around them because of the light. I like it. Yeah, I really like this one. I would put this through. Yeah. Yes, Alice. It's through anyway. If there's two, I'm not feeling it. As I just, the, I appreciate the things you've said, but it's not grabbing me. Okay. Well, it's a yes for me, so it's two. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, I okay, can we talk about this one? <laughs> so so there's so much I liked about this, which is why I went back to put it in because I love the the grey and the green and, and the. The being carried over the shoulder like that, but I just can't bear that, that line going through the head. I know. I I had exactly the same thing. Like I I, I love everything about it, but the line is going a right. little bit higher up with yeah. the camera. I had to bring it in because it's. So, I wanted to say I really like this. Mm, yeah, I really really like this. No, like it's like a sack of potatoes the way they're yeah. And it's in it, motion. It's it's lovely in so many ways. And there's that look at that beautiful clean space of wall where the head could yeah. be. 
the black of the shoes and the black of the hair and the black of the line at the top of the wall when you walk your head goes up and down a little bit this is the perfect timing in terms of the feet position and the baby position it's perfect but the head is not the head is imperfect and again it's imperfect in a bad way because it's a horizontal line in black right through the forehead and it's the first thing you see it's absolutely the first thing you see yeah which is I also so wonder perfect. with the composition slightly because there's so many nice graphic elements, as you say, the wide of the buildings, the trees, the uh, olive trees. Great, but but I almost like want to see design. more of those yeah. elements. So I like the you know the, the green, all this, the greens and the grey bark and the grey sky mm -hmm. and the white on the, the sort of greyish white walls. It's just there's so many lovely things. But I do wonder if I like I would maybe wanted to see more of that tree, for example, a slightly different composition of that. To incorporate maybe the tree in between the first maybe. two, maybe. Um, I don't know what type. But yeah. Yeah, the, the ones at the back, those three. Yeah. It would be quite nice to see the third one as well as as mm. sort of composition. It would be nice to see mm. it the point of it. But I, the, but the the thing mainly that makes this fall down is that line mm. going. So should we say that this is a very regrettable no? Yeah. It's a no that I wanted to say. I really like it, so that they <laughs> that I like it. Right. <laughs> Next one. I really like the layering in this and all the activity that's happening um, with the children and the parents. Mm. Um, I like the pictures on the wall of the children as well. It's like another element. I like that they're wonky. Can we, yeah. can we shout out ISO 12,800? This is oh. how you do it if your camera, if you've got this um, yeah, modern camera it's one of the newer canons isn't it because it's an rf lens yes that's right yeah mm. and f7.1 by by moving to a, a high iso it's meant that they can use a 7.1 um aperture which is why you've got so much detail in the people but you know they're, they're focused on the back but the, the, yep, which means absolutely quite a focus and actually I, I love that the hand that's sort of poking the dad in the eye yeah, I do wonder if they could have maybe done it a little bit lower in there, so because it's still bright enough, it could have been slightly less grainy potentially. If they, I would have just put the shutter speed up a little bit or, or something. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because it, it feels a little bright to me. Yeah. It's a bit bright in the dad's face, isn't it? And you've got. We talk a lot about like embracing. If it's dark, it's dark. Like let's not pretend that it's actually bright yeah. if it's not. Um. I appreciate that it needed that in order to show the layers and all the activity you couldn't just um make it dark but there's clearly some sort of light i think maybe it's the attic there's a bit of light mm. the roof. i like i you like how that? the shape of the bodies makes some sort of like almost like a little pyramid yeah from the bottom corners up to the dad's head at the top it's, it's a nice that's spin. a very good composition it feels like yeah, it, a family scene doesn't it? you know this is this is real this is very, yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely ticking the everyday box technically it's really good it's compositionally it's really good i just wish you because you've got great readability of the back lay which is where the focus is it is just a little bit for me it's a little bit right but i'm gonna, still going to say yes to it for now yeah yes, yes. Yeah. okay oh this is oh, gorgeous colors yeah. again the blue and the oranges <laughs> yeah i don't and that's obviously so we're looking at the picture at the top there's a reflection on the picture. Yeah. So we've got a sun rise, sunset. What? I can't tell actually exactly what's reflection. Well, maybe the ambiguity is not bad. Hmm. Um, I do find I'm looking at that a bit more than the kids. I, I mean, it's beautiful reflection there, the, the landscape and the uh, curtains, and then there's a landscape in the picture. Mm. So and you the can photographer see... is kind of merging with that, so I don't mind it so much. I I don't love the expression of the boy in this. Mm. I find the whole thing dreamy, and he looks. Oh, sat on my footprint, um, and he um, I I like his expression. I like the kind of dreamy. I think that's what teenagers look like. <laughs> Maybe slightly self-conscious. I think um, heads tilting. I don't know. I mean, I, the, the stuff I like about it, the, the colour palette and the tone is lovely. Yeah. 
don't love I mean really it's an environmental portrait and I don't love it as a portrait mm. then I think there's a bit of self-consciousness to his expression potentially um I'm not sure what his hand's doing as well as he pulling mm. his shirt and... mm -hmm. his shirt I think mm. is it no from you Emma I think it's a no from me Alice Oh, it's yes from me. Um, I think it's yes from you for now. So let's see. Right. So this is, I thought, was a successful busy scene. The way they've separated all the people. And there's quite a lot going on. You know, the dad blowing up the thing in the background is really amusing. You've got the bridge. You've got the girl who's holding court and people watching mm. Should we acknowledge that if we just compare for a minute the, the, the photograph beforehand, that's a very simple scene with one subject that's not moving and the other elements in the scene are inanimate. Whereas this is a scene where you've got um, six people and lots of stuff. It, it it's moves. much, much, much yeah. harder to compose a scene with more complex, with more human complexity in. It's much harder. So we, when we critique things, if, if we're harsher on something where there's a lot more going on, um, it might not feel fair, but we do appreciate. Yeah, it's a lot harder to do. There's someone out of frame as well holding that bag. Yeah, and with the f two point eight, that that bothers me. Why would you? Okay, right. why would you shoot on f two point eight when you're trying to incorporate so many people? It's outside. Whatever yeah. camera you've got, you, you can, can go up, that up. Yeah, way 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 higher than. Three, but that's a mirrorless right. okay. technically that's a mistake for me because it I, mean, I, I can't actually quite see the only reason why everything's reasonably shot is because it's further away yeah they're not close um, to the... it's it's 28 so 28 mil as well it's going to sharpen everything yeah um so you haven't so there's no attempt to so that you, you technically have a layer because the dad's in the, the Okay, yeah. just we're gonna say mum, dad, kid, you know, son. We're gonna get that wrong. We're gonna make assumptions. So just forgive us. <laughs> dad is in the background, and um, but this is still a flat layer to me. So yeah, it, it is. It, could, it yeah. could have been a more complexly layered photograph. Yeah. But even if you're not gonna try for that, you you can push it past two point eight because you're showing you're showing some visual depth. So the intention, the technical in the technical the technicals don't match the composition. Yeah. Is the, this, this, the intention of this photograph is obviously to show lots of people. They've given each person their space. They've got quite a good moment, you know, with at least four of the people are doing something um, with expression or action. But the choice of the aperture doesn't match trying to capture all the detail in all of those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I appreciate the moment of the kid doing the um the crowd and the dad mid you know effort with ball, but when sometimes you see a photograph and there's something in it we respond to it, it might be the activity, it might be the scene, mm -hmm. but we talk about oh we it could be could be could be the what ifs, and it's because we we can see there was something else achievable. Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of things like there's a lot of space at the top, but the the foot has almost cropped off. And mm. there's another person standing here. So there's there could have been another opportunity or another angle on this that would have made it better. Mm -hmm. it's so I, I, think, I think my favourite bit of the photo is actually the dad. And it's he's more peripheral to what's happening. Mm. I think that a different, slightly different choice of photo would have accentuated him more. But he looks hilarious. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, crazy. Right, it's a no for me. Yeah, I'm happy to move on. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is a really interesting one, isn't it? Look at yes. this, F10, 20. So the, the choice of the 20th. That was, that was, second. that tells me it was intentional. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I put it through because it just felt like something. Mm. Yes. There's it has the feels really interesting about it that mm -hmm. is unexpected but feels like it's representing 
what it's like to be a parent of young kids. I mean, are they twins? Like they, the they... blur of parenthood. We talk about it. Yeah, exactly. blur of parenthood. So it's focused on the environmental context, not on the I mean, it's F10, but it's it's focused behind the people. Oh. Um and then the shift speed means they're obviously they're walking across. Um so they're they're quite they're so abstract. But yeah. it's interesting. It's an interesting, interesting, refreshing, original way to show the armful, the armfulness of the young kid days. Yeah. The only thing I that's see. slightly bothering me, and I see what they've done here. So they cropped it just above this little. Yes, the writing, the writing on yeah. the, the writing on here though is ugh, just bothering me. I think because to I pull think... it in. Part because it's a, a 20th of a second, it's not it, it's not quite they're obviously focused on the background, it's not quite sharp on the background, and that slightly bothers me. I think because the whole picture is a mood, it's a yeah. photograph of a, a, a mood rather than a photograph of something happening. And that so I'm forgiving it a bit more than I would mm. perhaps. It's I just keep my eye keeps going to this writing in particular. Um, I really love the mood and I love that they, you know, what they chose to do with the scene. Just flag in that. That's a niggle. Um, but it's a still a yes for me. How about all of you? Yeah, okay, so it's a niggle we can get past. <laughs> well, you can get Alice? past. It's two, it'll go through. I'm I, on I, you I'm are on like you're reserving your judgment. I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. This made me laugh. But it's one of those ones for me which doesn't sustain much past that. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. On the second pass, it looks like it's a hospital bed. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I now feel bad because yeah. I said maybe no, no, no. It but it's it. fair enough. I mean, it also I I looked at the eye mask with the eye, and that that's funny. But it's clearly like maybe a warm, maybe just cuddly, or maybe it's like a warming thing. She had her blood drawn, mm. um, or something, or maybe it was a. What is it called? Um, something to do with needles, anyway. Mm. Um, yeah, it doesn't go much beyond that for me. It doesn't though. go beyond that, yeah. Well, I, I would have... appreciate this, the, that they spotted this, that she's sleeping, but the eye is open on the mask. Yeah. What I would add is that the position, obviously, that it works as a little quirk thing, the position of the eyes in the right place, but I also think the expression of the eye on the face works. And that's that's an extra thing that's achieved because we do see these where there's a toy or something in front of the face and there's an eye in the right place. And that's totally a thing that you see in our genre. And you get it right and it works, box tipped. But this this does, I think this does that very well, but it just doesn't do more for me to move it on. Maybe it was a bit wider, would have maybe worked. I don't know. Um, let's see. Okay, Emma, move on. Uh, yeah, not for me. Okay, right. So you, like, you went back to this one, didn't you? I went back to this one because I clearly have a thing for car photos. <laughs> um, I really liked, I noticed this figure here on the blanket rug thing at the back of the seat. And that almost is the same position as this girl. Um... I, there's just something about it it's I really like her expression actually. I like I her expression she's looking at the camera but it's a very relaxed comfortable um open face mm. um and the composition is lovely too and there's a little bit like she has this long um hair here in a, in a ponytail and this the driver here has this little thing as well mm -hmm. Um, but I think that was the rug that kind of made me go, oh, huh, there's like three people in the picture. There's like a triangle of them. Um, there's, there's a, they suggest the like symmetry in there, but obviously it's not symmetrical at all, but it doesn't, it's not doing anything for me in terms of, you know, the playfulness with symmetry. Which is very simple, very calm photo. I, know I bring it in from the top right. Yeah. Right. I, I like her face and expression, but I'm not, I'm not responding to it like you are in as much. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to fight for it. I really, I just wanted to say I really appreciate it. Um, 
I'm happy to let it go because I think they are the other one we have in the car. Uh, the two siblings. I prefer that one over this. And we talk about this just because it's easy to compare similar scenes and kind of select which one you prefer. Um, but I just wanted to say I like it. Um, happy to move on. Right, this one. Okay, so I added this in. Yes, I, I hovered over this the first time because the, the bright kites are just really, really pleasing to me. And I love yeah. the way that they're all teeny weeny little things, but they're balanced by the little girl in bottom left. Which I, I love can we see the um, info? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I, I love that she is kind of in the wrong place. She's yeah. in the bottom left, oh, yeah. like facing the wrong, facing She's away. In the wrong direction. Her, the wrong direction. Also, the wrong direction for the, the frame. Now, this is what we mean by being playful with imperfection. You're supposed to, you know, supposed to, in the rules of photography, face the subject towards the rest of the photograph. And I love that she, I'll just look this way. And I, I really, really respond to that. But by doing, by putting her there and having her facing out of the frame, it's emphasizing the fact that she's not looking at the thing that she should be looking at. Yeah. Which is a good choice. I really like that. And, and, and all of the little kites are all within the frame. I, I actually really like this. It's... I love that she's at the front of a path. So she, I imagine she's just like wandered away from the designated activity. And um, she's got a lovely childlike position with her feet turning inwards. And I love yeah. that. I love the way that the light, that strong summer light, is really emphasizing the shape of her arms in that S shape. Yep. So I do like, I really like this. I would put this through. I like the composition. I, the only thing that's bothering me is it's very, very saturated. I think maybe yes. the has yes. up the Again. saturation, and that's actually distracting me. Like we talked about, like you see the editing over the photo, and I'm seeing the editing over the photo. I think it's almost that it just needs the contrast reducing because yeah um it's that, too that would take the saturation contrast if you push a contrast up it makes the colors more saturated it crunches yeah. the colors yeah. together and sometimes i i use the word crunchy about about an edit it feels a bit of a crunchy edit it's like high contrast high saturation and there's taste and taste is valid but this is why i didn't i didn't say yes the first time i saw it because I didn't think that the toning was exactly same same here, but I do still I still really appreciate it. I'm glad we went back and put it in. Yeah, yeah. because it's funny the position is really clever. Yeah. The other thing yeah. is, I think oh, yeah. there's lots of spots. Yeah, I so I'm all wondering if it's our own monitors because no, it's it's not. Your monitor. And also, yeah. there's a big one over here. Okay, Both. We can't see the settings, but maybe it's on. It must be on quite. Uh, yeah, because these are these are either birds or, but they look to me like they're uh, dirt on the spot. On the if sensor. we just look at that red and black um, kite for a minute, I think that really emphasizes what we're trying to say about contrast and color, because there's there's so little definition around between the. That the, the it um, looks like it's crunched in. Use the 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 change in tone because it becomes flatter it just goes to uh, if it was in black and white it would go to black and white rather than shades of gray mm. and so by increasing the contrast you're losing those sh different tones um i do like how they've managed to compose a picture that's quite playful with lots think... of teeny, teeny little things yeah, yeah yeah no it's really clever for yeah. that I but also just on sensor spots we we talk a lot in documentary photography about not retouching anything Sensor spots are an exception. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. clean. I mean, the I mean, sensor. No, it's all, this, all the spots. must have been shot at a reasonably narrow. Yeah, I mean, obviously, because we can see the kites and her. It's very yeah, nice. the, the, shapes, the shapes of the kites are yeah. crystal clear, you know, the, the sharks and things right down to in the background. So, but you just have to be aware yeah. of dirty sensors, especially with them um, mirrorless cameras. I think what I also appreciate about this is if you're perhaps there for a certain amount of time, I can imagine all the photographs you thought of taking or that lots of photographers would take. I find this original. So originality is one of the four things we're judging photographs mm -hmm. on. I think this is a very original photograph for the activity in the place. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. But the editing is letting it down for me. And yes. Um, so I'm gonna say no. Yeah. It's in for me. That then becomes an image quality thing. So, yeah. so I, it's then... in for me, but I'm we have yeah. what, what we said about the editing yeah it is still in for me but um, still in yeah. for you okay 
Right. I think I might have well, said yes to this. Um, yeah. I just really enjoyed, and I'm not attached to this, but I really enjoyed, you know, seeing this composition with the nails and the, clearly she just finished painting them and all I the look, and The nonchalant, like, yeah. yeah, but also she's drying them, obviously, because she's just done that. I think the composition is quite... Yeah, composition is not quite there. It already became more interesting when you zoomed in then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that there. There's... That's much more because there, there's so a we don't need all that leg here, basically. Particularly with that triangle of skin at the bottom and the diagonal yeah. line at the bottom um trouser leg emphasizes that it's being cropped at a weird place on the leg and it just needs to come up from there. Because yeah. the color and the light is beautiful. The color of yeah, this really is. is beautiful yeah. and the hair and the texture of it. Mm. So it needed to be much, much tighter. Yeah. Right. So moving on. Yeah. I went back to put this in yeah. because I kind of like the idea of the the child and the cat being, both being on the lead. And mm. that taking a cat out for a walk it makes me laugh anyway. And I like the triangle that's created between the three of them. And then mm -hmm. I, I just like the tone of this. I know you've yeah. got quite a beautiful fast. shadow here of this little girl. Oh. Yes, the shadow is very good. Lovely. And Perhaps the... having the cat shadow as well, because cat shadows... Can yes, I would love... Like, that's the thing that bothers me most about this, is how close the cat is to the bottom and you've lost the shadow. Yeah. I do really like it. I love the yellow and the pink dresses and the position of the little girl. And the idea of taking a child and the cat out for a walk on the lead is... That tickles me. Yeah. I mean, I, it, I'm easy to please with cat photos. <laughs> um, and I try and have to kind of compensate for that, I suppose. Um, I would put this through the moment the strong. I the, the, act, the, the scene is strong, but it's a moment within the scene. Strong. I like the, the movement in the kids, I like the movement in the cats. I really I like the way the fingers the number holding the fingers, yeah, with the phone yeah. and the, the relaxed, the relaxed yeah. easy yeah. nature of the stance yeah. of the, the mom. Um, and the, the colours are lovely, is, again, it's really just paired down to those warm colours. I think the cat gets a bit lost. I, I think oh, yeah, it could have been lifted very slightly in, yeah. in, in the corner. Um, but also, if you'd have included the shadow, it wouldn't have got lost. As much yeah, so either. compositionally, it wouldn't have got that lost. Really, yeah, that really is frustrating, but I still really like this. Yeah. Were there two yeses? Yes. Yeah. This, okay. for me, I, I like. But again, it's really contrasty. <laughs> And that foot is slightly too close to the top. Yeah. I think the composition is not quite there. Yeah. I think the idea is there. I think I see what they're trying to do. It, yeah, it does take you round the frame in a circle, but... It does, but it's just not... Because I can see the back there with the fountains and other people. That really is distracting me as well. But compared to the you other one... Just shot, like, slightly down a little bit or something. Mm. Like with a lolly girl at the beginning, yeah. we talked about the same thing, like bits of legs and things in the edge. But with this one, I don't feel I want that because I've I'm I've got enough going There's on. Enough going on here. Relationship. There's four subjects in terms of their form. They're, they're kind of related to each other. Um. Yeah. So that is detract dis distracting and detracting. Also, but technically, the way this photo is taken, either. We have, can't see the data, but either because of the aperture or because it's just focusing on something further away, because it's the girl who's cartwheeling that's sharp, means that the legs in the background are sharp rather than blurry. Mm. They're more of a distraction because of that. The girl on the left, the face, you know, the facial expression is mm -hmm. it seems yeah. a bit like mid, mid something, like mid expression to me. Whereas the the expression bottom right is great. Yeah, I like the bottom. I really right. like that. I like the tension in the kid at the, the back. Yeah. I don't need the face because I'm getting I'm getting mood from the tension in the body. Yeah, I love the body shape. It's just it's too close yeah. to the yeah. I think this is really well seen, but not shot as I like the um the way it takes you round in a circle with the different yes. people and the, and the blankets and things, but um the layering is I I'm, I appreciate it was shot um in layers. Yeah. It's enough for me. Excellent as well. Yep. So that's another one. Athletic girl. 
that is some splits isn't it it is I, I really appreciate the angle of this um getting really low and shooting up mm. um the timing with the ball movement it's like a bug oh i love it don't you love it when you get i it? love it no i like i like that I that is not it. sensor dust <laughs> yeah yeah does the bottom of the frame bother you that is the only thing that I'm thinking, because maybe it would have been better without any buildings or any reference, but or maybe just a slightly more reference. That's what I, for me, it's, it's, it's not enough or too much. Yeah, it's it's um yeah. I'd like a little bit more and a little bit straighter because mm. it's, it's fading to the, the left. It's it's tipping off. And maybe if the ball had have been not over the cloud. I mean, I'm not bothered. It's a teeniest little thing. It's fine where it is, but. If we're nitpicking, I think it's the the buildings for me because we kind of want to, because of the composition being so clever and kind of highlighting that she's so athletic and she's jumping, to see how high she actually is, even though it's obviously exaggerated through the composition. I would have liked to see more of the building, I think, mm -hmm. and maybe it would mean like being a bit further away and shooting up to improve mm -hmm. that. Mm. I'm going to skip that one. What about you? Yeah, I'm, it's not a no for me. No for you? It's not Alice? a no for you. Or it, it is a no for me. <laughs> Alice? I still like it. Okay, I'll give it one star. <laughs> okay. I really like this picture. It took me a while. What I like about it is it took me a while to understand it, and I like pictures like that mm -hmm. because it makes me stop. Mm. Long yeah and maybe we were talking about some pictures where you have that instant ha ha and sometimes then it doesn't actually go any further when you look at it more this is the opposite mm -hmm. i really like how the shadows are used to conceal stuff so it makes it more confusing yeah they kind of the face of an actual human is concealed by shadows as well yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah and it really does look like the dogs look that's really well observed yeah so uh, really good in. contrast and stuff yes in for me in yep oh, three okay what about this one <laughs> this is lovely can we see the settings again yeah some of them just don't have them yeah um, obviously the met metadata has been scrapped is this in focus this is like it's like not. Focus for me it's not in focus no it's, it's focused on the shoulder more than the face, but I don't know whether... I don't think it's focused on... It is more on the shoulder, but nothing is really in focus. I think there's motion blur. That's why I was wondering what the shutter... Yeah. Um, it I think... almost doesn't matter for me in this instance. Yeah, I can see that's more what that I, feeling. I was asking because I actually still love it, even though yeah. it doesn't feel like it's quite sharp. Yeah, it's kind of right. dreaming about the feeling of being, you know, by the sea. It goes with his expression because his expression yeah. is quite dreamy. Kind of similar to that image of a family that we talked about earlier. Um, except, you know, with the writing behind them. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's that. nothing here really that distracts from that feeling. And even the clouds are kind of like fluffy and stuff. Can we zoom in a little bit on the face? Mm -hmm. I really like the um I don't know whether it's a freckle or mole, I thought it was like a drop, Is it a drop, a drop of water. To drop with my yeah, yeah, okay, no freckles. freckles. Yeah, I do love freckles. the focus is definitely towards the back of his head, though. If you look at the hair and the, yeah. and the other one, the yeah, I, I don't, I'm struggling with it because even though the I really like the mood and I like the feel a lot, I think in terms of image quality, technically, yeah. I don't think what I'm seeing is intentionally, I don't think they intended. I don't feel like it's focus. motion blur, I feel like it's definitely not motion blur. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's missed focus and I don't feel that we should put a missed focus photo yeah. through, even though we still can I so personally I'm responding really positively to the mood and the feel, but that is holding me back from Yeah, I, I think it's such a beautiful expression and it's really that the toning is lovely, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's a mistake rather than an intention because motion blur you can um explain as an intention, whereas this that that the focus is towards the back of his head or even yeah like the hair at the back of his head which but what i would say to the photographer and to anyone who makes a photo like this of your own family 
keep it and put it on the wall. You put this on the wall, you're not going to see the focus issue. And even if you do, it's fine. Um, it, it's there's no, there's nothing wrong with having a technically imperfect photograph of your own family like, on the wall. It's yeah. because the feel is more important. <clears throat> It is a beautiful, beautiful expression and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like the composition, the humour in the composition, the choice of crop, the colour tones. Um, I like that she's kind of ignoring the fact her presumed younger sibling has <laughs> got on her head. Yeah, I think um, it's like the photographer sort of zoomed in, not literally but figuratively zoomed in it's 41 minutes actually yeah they they did zoom in into that <laughs> yeah, but so. like selected the the bit of the frame where the interesting thing is happening we don't need to see what she's doing to see that she may be reading or doing homework or whatever or on her phone we don't need to see that we just know that she's busy with something else yeah. i'm wondering if i want a little bit more from her what mm. I feel like I want to be like fractionally further away from it as well. The only the, what's bothering me is like the the cut off point here. At the That's knee. what I mean. I want to be fractionally further away to get a little bit more of that knee at the top. Um, because that that bit's really disturbing me. Um, but I do like the vagueness of what's happening, mm. and because she, she this feels like an older sibling who's completely ignoring. An annoying younger sibling and you don't need to know this is a, like um in contrast to the cat one where we can fill in the details and it in an interesting way it, it's making me want to know a bit more rather than trying to piece it together mm. so are we saying yes to this one or we'll going next i kind of want to pull back and see a reading a book or something okay yeah i feel like i want a little bit more like uh, yeah the knee oh, okay. is like really bothering me okay i think this is a really clever um example of using motion blur to show differences in people age and behavior mm -hmm. individuality within a group something that i i always really respond to and it's I like how yeah to shoot this this type of picture. I know it, she's really got the placement of all of the different mm. people really perfectly. The separation is just I mean the kid at the front to be just within the um yeah the, it, it, what's the, the, word? the metal frame the metal frame yeah frame, and then the kid on the left who's obviously moving around if you look at the the feet of the kid on the left that kid mm. is moving um and obviously the thing is spinning it's. It's really, really well done. I would, I would like more of the head of the yeah. person yeah. on the right. That's exactly, what... because it's just I like the eye contact between because yeah. it connects, it connects the older age group, the fact that they're looking each each other. Yeah. Um, so you have these two separate stories then of the older kids having a moment, mm. the younger kids playing, and I really love that contrast of um, ages. But it's just again, it's cutting. Um, but I appreciate how difficult this is to shoot mm. yeah so one of the oh. things you do when you, you take a shot like this is you hold your camera so steady and you so you do have that concentration of the frame because you're not moving the frame you're not still I'll try this or try that you're you're holding it really still so I think with this type of shot even though it's very difficult it it's perhaps it, it's easier to see the edges um so yeah it's frustrating there's not a bit more but I, mm. I still really love it I like it, but I wouldn't. I it. It. Um, and I, I just think it's great. The contrast, the, the placing of people is great. And the contrast of motion, like she's got the motion in the younger kids. She's got the connection, mm. eye contact with the older kids. So it's really, the story is strong. Mm -hmm. I think it's not enough for me to, to say yes at this point, though. I'm going to say yes because I think there's so much that's been done brilliantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think because it can also like you know it's so much harder to do photos when there's more people. We've had a few, and I think this one's more successful. Okay. Yes, yeah, I would agree with that. Yes, it's there. Well, it's another car image. <laughs> <laughs> so again, this is like the the funny one, isn't it? We kind of have this initial reaction. 
actually like once you sit with it there's not much more to look at well i start my eyes starting to look at seats and the, yeah. the person on the left yeah exactly so yeah and the hand, the hand at the front which is a shame actually because i love this as an idea because mm. i think that when you're in the car with your family it's often a place of friction um mm. But it's too much of the car. Yeah, you 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 could take you could make the um you could take some of the car out and you'd still know it was a car. Mm -hmm. That would solve the problem of it being the person on the left and the hand mm -hmm. being in an awkward place. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost funny if it was like half the shot was covered with her hand in a way. <coughs> yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say yes to this. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's the talk. I think we talked about it earlier, didn't we? Um, about the photographer being visible. Mm. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, I love, love this. So you were talking about how if it's a personal photograph, then it's there's value to that. Mm. And there's a whole concept that we've talked about in the community of the invisible mother. <laughs> which is is something that resonates yeah or the invisible parent of course but in terms of the actual picture itself it's really nicely observed I love the I mean this is a mother and a daughter presumably and they've both got their personal tech with them you know the mum with her camera and her passion and the the teenage daughter with her phone and her passion and that thing you know when teenagers are completely absorbed in mm. in screens that it's like they forget that other things are happening in the real world and and I, I feel like this she has no idea that she's been photographed which is really nice I love the way that the blue spottiness on the window sort of frames and joins to the spots on the mum's shirt and makes this pyramid as well it looks like she's in a cloud yeah, it does. Start. Yeah, and I love it's talking about being because... Go ahead, that was solid. So I was just going to say, talking about her being absorbed in tech, I like that we can see an open book abandoned on the bed and she's got a phone in her hand. I think for me, actually, the colour is distracting me, the blues. I think I, I would probably prefer it in black and white um, to really focus on that reflection of the mum and the daughter inside. Um, Okay. Yeah, I'm curious to see it in black and white. Sure. Um, so how do we feel about the crop at the top? Crop at the top. I don't it bit... mind it. I think it's enough of the mom, parent, mother. Um, any higher and wouldn't have worked because it would be too high. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's a bit too high. Maybe a bit lower. Mm. I quite like that we can see the hair. I like that you can see the hair. Mm -hmm. We talk about it. not cropping at the neck, the ankles and the wrists, don't we? Um, but yeah, the hair is, I, I appreciate it. Gives the, yeah, it gives it a bit more connection, I think. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's the right, um, because she's not the main person, it's the, the, ref, the her reflection is helping mm -hmm. to see the thing behind the glass. Mm -hmm. um, that therefore isn't, bothering me like it might if it was a key person I think if you brought it down much further you'd lose that sort of pyramid shape and it would take it too close to her hands and things so I think it's actually the right place for me okay this picture okay so are you saying yes for, for it for now I'll, I'll say yes to this yes one. okay this moment is, is a cracking moment <laughs> yeah, I really like this because again, I mean, I, I know we keep saying color palette, but the color palette's really lovely. Mm, yeah. Um, and it's such a yeah. I mean, the the moment's cracking, and and I love I love catching children doing things with not with toys or with anything when they're mm. not being used in a way they shouldn't be used. Um, and this is a, this is a, a a loved activity by children around the world. That inherent playfulness that's in childhood that you don't need designated toy for or activity mm. for. Also, that where the light is falling, mm. it's 
great, isn't it? Really gorgeous light. Yeah, really pink and child. I like the light on the cushions and the yeah. texture of the cushion. Yeah. And um, you can see the, um, you know, when you move like velvet and you've got the fingerprints and stuff that are shown on the velvet because they've obviously moved them from the seats or bed or something. Yeah. You can see those fingerprints of where they've been moved around, which is really mm. lovely as well. I like the, so this is um 320th. I, I like the motion in the hands, the slight motion in the hands. Yeah. And, but I like that it's also frozen. So I can see the hair um in motion. I, the longer I look at it, the more frustrated I am that I can see some of the face, but not all of the face. I don't need the expression. Had the head completely been covered by the dress flying up, that would have been perhaps even stronger. Or yes. the dress is down yes. and I can see the face. But seeing her, seeing a bit of the face doesn't give me that, abs it's not abstract enough for me no to no longer want to see the face. And then there's the sort of the lines and the, you know, the straightness. So the more I look at it, the more I'm niggling. Mm, yeah. yeah, I'm also niggling about this, it's a bit fussy on the right side because of the staircase and stuff. So it, it's pulling me to the right side of the picture. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So there's nothing to balance it on the left side. Because the texture of the, you know, the pattern on the wallpaper mm -hmm. isn't, isn't weighty enough. Mm -hmm. um, so we would imagine this happens several times. You don't make that effort to take the cushions there and do this once. So... I'm kind of think, thinking about that as all the technical choices and the framing and the, the shooting through the moment. Is this the best frame? I'm wondering if, um, so it makes me wonder what the other frames look like. Yeah, I'm almost thinking like with the wallpaper being so strong, like all I'm seeing is wallpaper uh, on the left hand side. If for me, a better choice might be to really slow down on the shutter and let the girl be the blur and mm. have the grounding in the green velvet and the beautiful pattern of wallpaper with the blur of a child. Mm. I think yeah. also you could potentially shoot, so hallways are quite narrow, so I think yeah. you could shoot the vertical for something like this, and that yeah, would yeah, yeah. Help, help to eliminate the fuss on mm. the, the right yeah. and frame the, the girl so beautifully lit by the light that she mm. would become sort of framed by the darkness at the top of the stairs. Um, I still really appreciate the shot, shot though. You know, it's it's got just the right amount of motion in it to give that feeling of, I know, you know, you can feel what she's feeling. Mm. Well, she's a, that's a really good jump as well. You can imagine the flip. And the yeah. <laughs> Love myself. <laughs> I wonder if there's a cushion at the end of this and like, there's a picture to be had shooting from the top of the stairs. Mm of her ramming into the wall with a cushion. <laughs> right. Yeah. Any yeses? No. No. Okay. So I thought I like this one because this is like, you know, tweens and teens. That is literally their life. Um, and also kind of lying in a weird position. Um, while looking at the phone and the lovely colour palette there as well. I'm drawn to that. Um, that said, again, the longer I look at it, the more I'm not sure about her expression. I'm not sure about her expression. I like her hands. I like the hands. Mm -hmm. I like the body position a lot. I, I wish I like the hair. was so close to the edge on the right. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I want to step back very slightly. Um, this is definitely an everyday scene. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay, so it's 1.8, and I yeah. think that is maybe where it's falling apart a little. Very narrow depth of field. Yeah, very narrow. Um, so I think the body position is so nice. I would like to maybe see it a little bit more. A little bit more, yeah, just to kind of ground me. You could potentially change the position of the angle of the camera as well to get more of a diagonal of her body somehow mm. flat right. mm. I think I appreciate in terms of the genre that it's a moment when where somebody might think nothing's happening we mm. see a lot of pictures like this if you can get a meaningful or emotive shot of like nothing happening that's that's very much what we try and do in the genre but I, I think the look of it isn't 
matching that mm. okay. and it's not staying with me yeah so moving on i heard the shot with the other girl through the window looking at her phone it's kind mm. of the same sort of yeah. idea yeah more to that shot there was other layers to it yeah so this one drew okay. me in but again like the longer i look at it the more i see lots of niggles like the the horizon not being straight yeah i, I really can't see anything shot. but the horizon yeah. yeah same i love the shot but the horizon that is too it's one, no reason it's not it's not <laughs> i don't feel like it's an intentional i don't understand why it's why it's not being straightened like in post yeah. so, i mean yeah. i take photos that are wonky we all do yeah, yeah. Just have to correct them, but, but you straighten them in post because I, lo I love the you know the whole swing on the sea and the blur. I love, so. I, love, I love the submerged swing as well. I can't yeah. understand yeah. the, that, blurry, the like blurry that? figure that's going on the swing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really appreciate that it's, it's f16 at a 30th and yeah. 23. I think that I think the well, that was intentional, right. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think the settings are so in terms of image quality, technical image quality. This is nailing it, and the toning is beautiful. There's so Me much about this. it's lovely. So much detail in the cloudy sky. It's lovely. Yeah. So for somebody who's obviously a very technically competent, um, you know, technically experienced photographer, I'm not, I'm not understanding the choice to not straighten this. Because mm -hmm. so, then the girl needs to be. That's an easy thing. If the girl would then be at an angle, if the horizon was straight, mm. just um, yeah, let's move on. That's that yeah. is not for me. Oh, yeah. the teeth. The, the, for me, I, I love I love a lost tooth picture, mm -hmm. but the eye is being split right through the middle, and I just can't see past that. You keep looking at the eye, don't you? Oh, yeah. And it's right through the brightest part of the eye as well. I just mm. think it needs to be closer in and really on the teeth. Yeah. Next? Yeah. Yes for me, though. Oh, yes for you, Alice. That was yeah, yes for the tooth, because I like the tooth, um, <laughs> even despite the eye. I really like this. This is I one of those pictures that you just, I instinctive. So one of the criteria is our instincts as photographers and mentors, instinctively just yes, please, to this photograph. I love this picture. I just love the colours of it. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And uh, there's enough there to make it mysterious, but... Um, and it just evokes this feeling of a hazy summer yeah. evening. Yeah. Everyone's just relaxing and... Yeah, so it's nostalgic, relatable. Yeah. Makes you start piecing together a story. And look at that colour palette. The oh, clothing, col the colours in the clothing of the kid on the right. Mm. Yeah. And the 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 red of the flower and the green on the wall. Yeah, the green, the, the greeny orange bit of the wall at the bottom, and the and the colour of the door. Mm. It's just lovely. Yeah. It's just perfectly balanced. Yeah, it's very well um, said. It. There's like the rose bush is almost the same size as the back of the boy. Mm -hmm. and in the middle, we have those figures. It's like I, yeah. I mean, I would put this on my wall. It's so anonymous. It could be on yeah. anyone's wall. Do we need to know what's happening? No, we don't because no. it's not confusing. It's that. That's the difference when we say because the feeling. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, you know how feeling is not an action. Yeah, it's in for me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I love the toning here. Yeah, I love this mm. one as well. I love that triangle of the three boys, and they're all in a sort of similar position with their arms out in that their own personal sort of triangles as well. And mm. I, yeah, the toning's gorgeous. It's very kind not, of, it's not monochrome in the way that it's black and white, but it, it it's almost like just two colors essentially <laughs> greens and mm. yellows. Um, yeah, I, mean, I like it. Yeah, I really like it. Perhaps the, the oldest boy's expression isn't so good, but I still really no. like this. Well, let's let's say yes to it. Yeah, I think I'm yeah. not responding to it that strongly in terms no. of moment. Yeah, the, I'm the, responding the, to the color and the feeling again. Yeah, I like the feel the shape. 
and the and the the play is more about composition for me than moment. This one, mm. yeah. There's a good moment on the first, the front boy, and and then the the weakest moment is the oldest boy. But yeah. I love the grouping of the kids together. Is is a ladder in the middle? Yeah, yeah. And I kind and of really I, nice. I kind of wish to... that the the left hand side platform thing wasn't there. Then I think I would respond to it compositionally. Yeah, yeah. Strongly. Or maybe well, then the ladder needs to be slightly to the right. To right. Back, back yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. Because there's nothing happening in that. I appreciate oh, it's, it's a strong good. photograph. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. As yeah, much it's so interesting how we have. Yeah, you yeah, have I really a like reaction, it. and then when you look longer for it, at it, mm -hmm. you kind of go actually. What, what, what I am really liking, actually, the more I look, is I'm liking the, the how close to the surface the hands are. This in or out. This is like semi submersion and the water. The texture. Yeah, I, I that. love that in I between. Really like that the in-betweenness of all of the body and you can still see mm -hmm. like even the arm that's really quite deep on the furthest back but also like the you know the splashes and the detail in the water mm -hmm. um a, a night there's texture in that water but only around the kids it's it's much more textural mm -hmm. because they're playing and you've got the splashes and then it fades as, as you move away from them mm -hmm. um I, I really like it I mean, it's an in for me okay Alice I'm going to say no, but I, I appreciate it. It's just not. Um... Mm, okay, I'm going to give it two. Right, what about this one? Okay, so I, I really like this in terms of form, graphic, shapes, toning, contrast. And I like as well, again, that the photographer's in the picture, but in a good way. Mm hmm they've intentionally put themselves in with their feet and their shadow mm -hmm. but then and also their body is framing the bottom child which yeah. I really and that took me a while to see because it's in the it's in the shadows um so we talked about intention you know is it intentional or not this is so beautifully intentionally composed the, the yeah it really is yeah image. and the way that the toe the tension in the toes is really nice but the way that the toes are have got their own space mm -hmm. uh, white floaty thing but I also like that the toes of the mum have been really carefully separated from it but I love the hand of the girl at the bottom on yes. the white yeah. float thing whatever it is um, the moment of the dad and the kid is very yeah. strong the kid about to fall in but we can see yeah yeah, yeah. and their body shape is really lovely the you know the the, yeah. the, 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 sep the dad's legs are separated and his arms are wide mm. You can actually feel the force of him pushing. Yeah. <laughs> and the tone and like, the water on the the water on the white thing. What is it? Was gonna say, I love the water that's pooling around their body. Yeah, and also the tone of the water, the black water, like looking yeah, yeah, yeah. white. We do have texture. I think maybe some of the blacks are crushed, but yeah, I think the top left black is probably over. But the top right black, I I really you like. Still see texture. The, the texture. That top water. Right, top left still has got. Oh, actually, yeah. Water. If you put your screen up to the brightest, you can see it. Hmm. Yeah. I really appreciate like the the care and the composition here. Um, I'm just not connecting with this picture as much. Okay. I love this picture. No, yes, I do. <laughs> so yes from you, Emma, yes, and yes from Alex. Yep. Yeah. I really like this one. Um, I don't think we've seen anything of like the sleeping. Mm. Um, it's hard to do because not often you have a a light still on when the children are sleeping. She clearly fell asleep as she was reading. Mm. That reminds me of me when I was little. Mm. Yeah, my daughter. Out. My daughter does this every night, and it yeah. it is nicely shot with the artificial light. I think you've got to be. When it's something like this, where you've got all the time in the world, it's got to be perfect. Yeah. And it just goes to show as well, talking about um, the documentary approach and shooting in all lights, in all hours, in all rooms. This ISO is only at a thousand because you, you have this beautiful light and it's only shot for the highlights. So yeah. you, don't, you don't need a very modern camera to get a, be a technically beautiful shot like this. The actually, still, I mean, she's not like 
moving, right? So you can go as low on the shutter speed as you want. Yeah, yeah. Is it eight, eight, steady eight, hand. Eight, six, eight, 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 eight. Yeah. It's not very low. Oh, fine, yeah. Uh, for me, the, the, the piece de la resistance of this is the hand that's on the book as well. I really yeah. love that. Mm. I think that's almost like the sharpest point. I can't yeah. quite mm. love that. And the shadow of the two fingers going onto the next page. Yeah. Mm. Oh, really really lovely. Lovely. And the, 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 the fact that the rest of the room is sort of falling into darkness as well, mm. as it should yeah. We've got these tiny pops of red as well, like on her on her duvet cover and on her wrist. Yeah. And little rosy cheeks. So, and I, I kind of like there's a teddy bear there, but obviously it's a yeah. yeah. big kid's book to read. Yeah. Lots of text. Yeah. That independence that you leave your, like you're saying, you leave your kid reading themselves to sleep rather yeah. than you sit there with a picture book at, you know, half past six reading your little one a bedtime story yeah no it's really lovely it's very gentle this is definitely um That's yes yes for me Am I? yeah yeah, yeah. another one with strong graphic elements I, I always respond well to pictures like that I like them the movement in sort of all directions through this, this, this strong sort of set, like stillness in the centre, the ball that's still and the kid still waiting for it, but it's very dynamic shape of the dad and the yeah, flag. That's in a great up. shape. And I love that parentness, that story of parenthood where you're, you're playing football with your older Not child. To carry the little whilst one. Whilst carrying the little one, which is really fun. Um, I like the flag shapes across the floor and how the, the dad is stepping across them. Mm. and also yeah. you've got, then got the 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 patio stone lines and shapes as well just um, wish, it's wish interesting that there's like a tree or a bush in this kind of bunch here and then the repeating lines all over. yeah i like that i like that detail and i wish that there was more space at the top of his head yeah he's, at, he's actually quite nicely framed by those flags if it, if you had another couple of inches uh, another mm. inch above him mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I really like, like his position in that, and I like his the body shape and the yeah. arm, the the sense of energy and tension. Also, he's about so we talk about action and moments, don't we? Like he's not kicking the ball; he's about to kick the ball, and it's much stronger because he's not done it yet. Mm. Imagine so, it's like he's doing it with a well, bare foot as well. I mean, his um, foot position is just so perfect. You've got the heel on the first foot and the toes; he's hardly on the floor. <laughs> yeah. it's a really lovely moment there and I, I love the sort of um the nod to summertime in their clothes and like he's got he's got bare feet and a bracelet on his ankle bracelet and the sliders on the kid at the back it feels very summery and yeah. the kid at the back's body position the tension in, in yeah, that yeah, 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 as well yeah. just like so focused on that ball and yeah totally. they're not camera aware they're they're they are wanting to save this goal yeah <laughs> Even so though there's no goal. <laughs> the light treatment. Yeah, there's no goal. <laughs> the light treatment, I think, is is really the contrast, the light's really good. So light competition moment, tick, tick, tick. Yeah. The only the only bit that I don't like is that top bit where his hair is. I, I, I can also give that in this picture, I think. I like the picture enough. Yeah, but he is he is in it. It's just, just very, very close. Right. I, I am drawn to that moment at the top, but I still love so many other details. I really like this. I love this one. I really love it. That's a, such a weird way to practice violin. But... It's brilliant. Yeah. I love that the sheet music is out there. Mm. Yeah. The kid just can't but, yeah, see it. Maybe not... they know it already. Um, also, like... Well, I mean, is she playing the music or is she just making awful noises on the violin? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that Maybe that's <laughs> <laughs> One thing is that with sometimes with music, um, but I remember I saw someone play piano on stage from quite a distance, and I I could almost see like the air being filled with I don't know something visual, and I really like the butterflies in the picture. Yes, I was literally it, all that's the noise. Thing. It feels like the notes are floating yeah. out. The, yeah, it's above, above the sheet music as well. It feels like you can see a representation of a noise. Um, I love the choice of including the butterflies in the bed and the music and the the covers on both the beds and how they wrap around the girl mm. and actually make you look into that corner where the the hands and the violin scroll are mm. and it 
makes that the focus and her body is a gorgeous position as well mm. I also love her foot tucked under the car, the blanket yeah. on the other bed yeah this is beautiful in, okay in for me all of it yes. yeah. <laughs> this is the um this is the walking on water thing. Yeah. <laughs> so what's interesting about this for me is that it, that's the thing you notice that's like a funny weird thing but actually that's the only thing for me I mean I, I appreciate the sort of the, it's like fog and the, and the you know beautiful scenery and the people standing but it's kind of the other people aren't doing anything. They I mean, they're to... watching. They're watching this person doing this as we are, but it's not. Yeah, it's just their backs, and that's the bulk of a quarter. It's just people's backs looking. Maybe the picture was around here instead. I don't know. Maybe yeah. But the it's weirdness of the, the body position in relation to water. Fog and the black and white is a lovely. Yeah. Um. It's nice, but or maybe it was like you know a horizontal, but like this. I don't know. I'm um, not gonna. Say I won't. Really no, not for me. I like this. There, uh, I appreciate that all the chair legs are, the white chair legs are in. Um, I like the light on her face. I just wish that her head wasn't merging with those things in the background. I think it, a slightly tilted angle would have brought her into a cleaner space. I also the white thing on the on the right hand side is a bit too bright or too much in the frame as well. Yeah, I immediately drawn to this portrait. This is a beautiful portrait. Um, yeah. The light is in the perfect place to light on the face. I don't know if it was set up or it doesn't matter because it's a portrait. Um, but you're right, the stuff on the on the right, the white counter. So, yeah, the white stuff doesn't belong with. No, the with all the lovely rustic -y, yeah. textury um, feel of the rest of it. So that falls for me on that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not having it. <clears throat> okay. At least I, I appreciate those things about it, but yeah. Yeah, they think exactly the same. Sometimes with a picture, you you kind of wait to see if something hits you. So mm -hmm. it hits you straight away if it's funny or emotional. Other times you think I'm just going to give it a minute, and if it doesn't happen, it just doesn't happen. This is a great shot. I really love it. Um, I love the repetition of this the story of the cake going throughout the picture and um everyone having their own sort of moment with it and the boy I love the boy this is a bit we kind of touched on this with the bouncing on the stairs photo where there wasn't quite enough of the face you yeah. know that was too much of the face with this one I feel like there's the foot's in exactly the right position hiding yeah the top part of the face and making it a bit weird and his expression in his mouth is lovely and it's just between his foot and his his jacket um i love this composition the girls yeah. are putting cake in their mouths and we see his mouth yes and, and the cake in front just brings that story through i feel like it's potentially an older person in the front and the behavior with the cake is more refined they're not yeah. scoffed looks like bigger hands you can also see with the boy that he's already eaten his cake because he's got his his hands scrunched around the covered in crumbs as well. Yeah, and his crumbs all over his legs. Yeah, mm. well, it looks like crumbs to me anyway. That's what I'm reading it as. Yeah, yeah. And the edges are beautiful. You know, really, it's just a lovely angle as well. Where you've got this sort mm. of weaving diagonal from the corner through to the top, mm -hmm. the, the, the bottom left to the top right. And look at the color. I mean, the color tones of the sock, the boys' socks and trousers, and the adults. Yeah, cups. I love the way the girls are eating cake as yeah. well. Same. Obviously, they've eaten it a lot slower than him, but they're mm -hmm. still going for it. Still <laughs> still it. Yeah. yeah, I'm um, not like I'm appreciating everything about this picture, but again, I'm not connecting with it on the same level as some of the others. It's an in for me. Mm. Yeah, this is a yes for me. Yeah, yes for me. 
Okay, swing. I think I need to see this more clearly. I think I'm going to just turn my brightness. Uh, I think it's too dark for me. It's too contrasty. I appreciate the the competition and separation and how challenging that is. If you've got yeah. three kids swinging all into a, the same space, you're putting yourself and your camera right in the middle. Um, and to get I a love, shot where you've got this lovely separation and outstretched arm, outstretched legs and feet, I I really appreciate it. I'm just it's I'm not quite feeling it as much as I think I could be. I think it's very, very um well captured. Yeah. In terms of the position of the, it's all about the legs and very clever how it's observed. very carefully connected, but not overlapping. You know, they they especially the 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 smaller one on the the right, the feet are literally joining the other two people mm. together, and then their legs join. Um, and you've got a lovely a couple of lovely elbows as well. I think it's just a bit the the contrast needs to come down a bit, just so I can see a little bit more of the detail. It's crushed. Mm. Um, Look, it's, we talked about like a crunchy, or I talked about a crunchy feel earlier. It feels a little bit like that to me. And I wonder if maybe we need a bit less of everybody. So that. I, think, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, kind of a more, one more episode. Like, and maybe I don't, maybe we, maybe it needs to be a little bit, it's hard to do this on Zoom, but tilted to the right a bit more so we don't get the. Do we need the hand? I feel like you should be, they should be slightly lower down and slightly looking up a bit more. Because yeah. I. I feel like I want a little bit more of the top person, but mm. I want to lose the face of the right person. Mm. And if you were looking up more, I think that you would then see less space. Because when it, it again, if it becomes about shape and relate the relation of shape and form and connection yeah. of shape and form within the image, you really have to be focused on the shape and that's and where you are is really important so we've got three different treatments of how much we see other people yeah and i'm not mm, i'm made i think it's, it's taken from a so taken a, from another swing it's, it's taken from a very straight viewpoint i feel like it's an adult standing up and i wish they'd either crouched and tilted to get the bodies more on angles um and looked up to a to take the face of that, because it's all about the limbs, really. Mm. Not the limbs are doing the talking of the play. Um, it's not quite there for me. I appreciate it's tricky though, because it's a moving feast. I also wonder, and it, I don't know how dangerous that would be, is <clears throat> because of the tree in the on the right. That's where we lose that. <clears throat> sorry. We lose that top figure because it's in the mm. trees, it's merging with the trees. Um, if it was shot like maybe lying down straight up and waiting yeah. for the legs to come in the center, that would be clear sky then and it would be much, much clearer. Because I really, really like this idea of like such a weird swing as well. They all swing in them into the middle. Mm. They're just capturing all the feet. And um, as you said, that the this figure connecting the two others with their feet, their legs like that. It's just not quite there i really like it though but i don't think it's quite there i really like the idea i think it's an almost yeah. there yeah okay next one yeah yeah uh, another feeling another feeling this is i mean 35th mil fa 20th this is how to set your camera for this <laughs> type of feel yeah this is a, i, I know what it looks like i yeah. love things Some. like um, this sort of hug and love shown in a frenzy, because especially between siblings, because it is quite phonetic and it can change from love to hate quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So I do love this treatment of shooting it with this speed. I also love that you can still read the expressions on their faces yeah. very, very well. Um, it's not just a global yeah. And this little fist that's perfectly in the frame, so it's almost like about to push the little sibling. squish. Yeah, um, yeah, I really like it. I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to say yes. Got a, lot, a lot of emotion because of the motion. Mm. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Right. This 
And so I, I liked this straight away because it made me smile. The idea of wearing um, large, possibly even adult goggles in the bath, the juxtaposition of the doll with wet hair and the little doll, the colour palette. It's funny, it's, it's got that quirk and weirdness. Um, so I had a strong first impression. I'm I'm now niggling over composition. I'm and over, there's lots yeah. about it that aren't kind of coming with me. I also think it shot at a really low aperture for a 50 mil mm -hmm. before. I would love to be able to see the dolls at an equal clarity and focus as the child because it's about the three three mm. huge figures. Mm -hmm. um, the cropping on the top would be yeah, yeah, I think that, that's awkward. the main thing for me. Just bring it in a bit. I like that we can see the edge of the back on the right, but we don't need to see that if it comes in to maybe just like not too far above the elbow on the left arm. Yeah, yeah, because it's kind of chopped off. Where yeah. it, and that's why I keep keep looking. Yeah. That's distracting from the faces because the, the, the child's face is very much like the doll's head, similar kind of hair. So it could have worked, but it doesn't. You know, not quite like there's so many images and we're nitpicking they're great images but like there's little things that just don't make it stand out enough or don't make it like that much stronger than the others and light in bathrooms can be really tricky there's also quite a lot of highlight nice highlight on the water it could have come down you yeah. could have like gone to two or eight and it would have still been exposed nicely and we, we talked about iso already if your camera can take it, don't be afraid to to go to the aperture that you'd like to use if you were if you had more light and push the ISO up. Mm. Right. So we're moving on. Yeah. Okay. So I think I said yes to this one yeah. um, mm -hmm. because I thought that's an interesting take on the everyday. Um, obviously, for some children, that's their everyday being in the hospital. Yeah. Um, sort of appreciating how it's sort of shot slightly up to isolate against, you know, there's probably lots of machines and people. Um, but it's actually quite observed in terms of the colours because there's lots of yeah, yellow, yeah. Of the yellow, red, mm. and blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking that. And, yeah. the, and the face is framed in the sort of the it's clear the glass of the, of the window. And our, you know, hospitals are tricky places to shoot in for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I do like the yellow, blue, red. Yeah. Thing absolutely angles as well because it's shot into the sort of top corner you get really nice angles yeah 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 still i think it, it, it's not quite there for me but quite i want to, to look at it one more time yeah same yeah. for me yeah more feeling <laughs> i wish i could see the settings <laughs> i know um it's interesting though because a lot of the awards judging is comparing against other things as you know we look at the picture but also we we see other pictures and some execute an idea better than the others mm -hmm. for me the picture we just seen with the close-up of the two heads kind of similar concept i think um but that one i prefer to this one yeah i was same. just thinking the same thing that it makes me think back to that one mm -hmm. Um, and I feel like I've seen this seen idea this. before. Whereas the yeah, other one, kids on bicycles, right? Like we've all done it. Yeah, I think this is a. Her expressions are lovely, and it's mm. a very nice sibling, I presume. Yeah. You know, they're quite in each other's space, and they, you know, you can see the little one is loving her big sister, and I, I, I appreciate that. I think it's a very well done version of something that yeah we we do see quite a lot of. No, it's it's really well done image. It's just that for me the other one is better, but and it's kind of similar idea basically. Okay, so moving on. I really like this one. I like <laughs> that you don't fun. see the kid to start with. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. Then realize so, the kid is naked. I <laughs> sometimes I think I I said this earlier. Sometimes we get, um. As documentary photographers, we get obsessed with adding so much detail and um, context into a photo that not like sometimes we 
don't need, but I really like in this one that all of that's included because it's helping to um, camouflage him more. Mm -hmm. And he's just part of all the everyday paraphernalia. I mentioned e the Easter egg concept earlier. And I, this for me is, is just about that, that mm. it takes a minute and then you get this little surprise. And maybe it's maybe you do see him pretty quickly. I didn't realise actually when we were looking through before that he's actually naked as well. Which is yeah, that's the second thing. So I was like, what, what, naked. What, why What's going on basically? Yeah. Why is he asleep but naked on the piano? I love that. And it's what, it's half past 25 to 10? It's quite late, yeah, you know, for a little um, while. Is it cooler down there? Is it a little nugget of shade and cool in the house in summer? Mm. Um, I like it. The only thing it's niggling me is the non-straight. Is one. that straight on the on the right on hand the side corner? Of yeah, on the corner. Yeah. Um, and that's like. <laughs> I yeah. do that particularly. You see it on. Is this? Have we got the? No, we don't. Particularly on that side because it's got the wall in it you, mm -hmm. and the door yeah. beyond it, you really see that angle. Yeah. And I, probably. I would imagine I'm pretty sure you could straighten this with the tool in Lightroom and it would actually come out okay. Because even if you look at that wall by the piano, that's still on an angle there as well. And obviously, the, the lamp, lamp, the lamp is at the angle, but I think it's it is actually it's wonky. Angle. I think the that's wonky, but yeah. um, I think there's there's occasionally a misconception that you can't straighten because you're you're not supposed to like mess you know with the edit, but hundred percent you can. If you the other way to do it is when you're shooting, and this probably is like that, but you can shoot for um vertically in the middle. The more near the middle you are vertically, the less you're going to mess the lines up anyway I think this probably is in the middle vertically yeah 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 you shoot you, as soon as you get a 24 and there are lines it please just um straight I mean the, the, just the sort straight. of the lines on this on the edges of the frame are always I think going to be wonky if you're wide but as long as the central lines are more or less straight then it's easier to digest and accept that um, so there's, there's cropping through through a sign with words up the top left. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. the inclusion of the you know the pitch edges and the door frame on the right. Um maybe if it was a like just a little bit higher, so we're not cutting through anything at all, that would be good. But yeah, the, yeah, the whole of the clock. I'd yeah. love to see the whole the whole of the circle yeah. of the clock face because that's adding an element of context, which I like um it's, it's just it's funny i i i enjoy still it. say yes to it now yes. yeah i i would i think i would still say yes to it. i also like that like, the picture that's tucked behind the other picture in the top yeah, yeah. It, feels like, it, it feels lived in and yeah. there's know. lots of things to look at and find here i think that's, and that we talk a lot you know some images are you keep looking at them because maybe there's a feeling that you mm. sort of just want to keep absorbing but others there's so many things to notice and your eye keeps and that that's what you want you want people not just glance and move on you want people to keep looking at the picture i like that there's a pumpkin magazine i've never seen a pumpkin yes. <laughs> yeah okay i like the cushion that's a camera as well oh yeah that's true yeah okay next one so is this a case of funny and now not much more i like the feet the, yeah. like you you mentioned with the the football dad, the the yes. feet off the ground. Yes, he's got the same position, the yeah. heel and the toe. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's such a child thing to do to kind of put put the pants up and the bum is showing. I mean, I love I love the way that the because it's wet swimming yeah. fabric mm -hmm. and it does that rolling thing and you just can never get it moved. And I also love the suntan back and the white bottom. Yeah. Yes, the really texture, of the, the line, here is beautiful. Yeah, the lines of the um the sand, the sort of feeling of moving through diagonally. But whether it's strong enough for me to stay, um, I don't I'm know. not sure it's quite strong enough. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really do appreciate like... it, but I don't think. It's... Yeah, it's it. yeah. Okay. Strong. So what I like about this is that the way the hair replicates the spider plants. Yeah, oh. that, that is the thing. Even... So there's three, there's three scruffy 
hairstyles or yeah, I, really like. I think it's too bright though for, the, the yeah. edit is too bright well, have we got um, meter data for this um, like... no, I just that's what I just checked no it's I think what we can see is the only is, is all we have yeah basically yeah yeah I think but this I... expression is also um I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to feel I really not, appreciate I don't think I'm supposed to feel. sorry I, I really appreciate they noticed this these three things that look look the same that aren't the same but then it's turned into a portrait whereas actually I'd rather have a, an abstract yeah. connection of the hair and the plants are you convinced that this the intention behind this photograph was to show the juxtaposition of the two plants and the hair no yeah. I'm not I'm not which, and I, I can notice actually, it straight away I'm actually thinking that's what they saw because that's what I saw immediately okay I, I do I I, I I think that's what they saw. I hope that's what they saw, but yeah. I don't think it's executed to show that. I think it's it's taken as a portrait rather than showing yes. that juxtaposition yeah. of, um, or similarity rather of, of two different things. I do think sometimes what we see, so when we think about our why as photographers, what we're drawn to shoot, I do think there's a subconscious, a whole level of subconscious stuff going on. Mm. Where it takes us years sometimes to look back at our archive and go, actually, I really like this, this and this. I've always been drawn to this thing. And we don't always know how to understand that or see that or articulate that. And so we don't always know how to be intentional about that with the next photograph we take. I really do think there's subconscious intention, if that's a thing, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. sometimes Everybody you take a picture and you don't something. quite know why you're taking a picture. And yeah. only later you go, oh, that's why. And that's why we say shoot with your guts, let go with your instincts. If you take ones that you think are a bit weird, you think, oh, shall I give this to the client? Shall I put this on Instagram? If it's if it's speaking to you in some like gut level way, at, that's exactly the photograph. You should yeah, because take. the gut is so much quicker than your brain. Basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Shall we move your on? Brain, your brain starts asking questions, doesn't it? Whether your yeah. gut just goes with an impulse. And yeah. this, I just think that. I hope they've recognised the similarity of the hair and the plants, but I don't think it's executed to show it's it's, it's reverted back to type of take a portrait. Mm -hmm. mm. But actually, the story is the hair and plants, and it's not yeah. taken like that. So okay. for me, therefore, it's a no, but I, I appreciate that they probably noticed that yeah. similarity. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's move on. I like the movement in the curtains on this and the different body parts that are showing little toe of the bigger toes I love those little toes and, the enormous and the nappy middle. yeah heavy nappy um and the swoosh of the curtains mm. I quite like the vertical lines of the cot compared to the swooshy lines of yeah the curtains. yeah I do not like the um lower right furniture mm. Um, yeah, I was thinking I think maybe should have been vertical. Actually, yeah, I was going to say because of that, I would have taken this as a vertical and taken more of the upright of the curtains to accentuate yeah. their size being small. Exactly. So the big head looks. Yeah, because it looks so, it, here. It's such a lovely, um, strong shape that the curtains are making, and it would have really accentuated that if you'd have got more of the curtain, that elongation of the the frame, and mm -hmm. the smallness of the. The kids playing in the in the, the fabric, and I can imagine how dark it would be at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've got this lovely light on the right hand side showing as the cot, but if you sort of take that away, how nice it would be to just have this very because yeah, um, it's obviously a, it's obviously not a a room light; it's a side light on the left. Yeah. So yeah. The curtains towards the top of the room would recede into darkness, and it would re really be a lovely graphic photograph. Yeah. I think sometimes it almost feels a little bit mean, but we see a picture where that we really appreciate what the photographer saw and how well seen a scene was. Um, and we want something more from it because they gave us so much, but we like, we get greedy. Mm. <laughs> and it's just how it's every time that happens, it makes you better at taking the next one. Yeah. This one as well, like I'm obviously it's a reasonably dark situation because you're in a bedtime room, I'm guessing, you know. Um, but you've got I don't know what the settings are because we can't see, but there's a bit of movement in that curtain with the big boy mm. um, at the bottom corner, which is really lovely as well. Just mm. softens that shape. It's, it's mm. really lovely, but 
wrong direction. Yeah, wrong, that's wrong, wrong intention. And again, they probably did this for a while. Anticip you know, anticipation when you're shooting documentary that you've got a few goes at getting this right. Yeah. I really like this. You so definitely much. like this. Me the too. mood and the, the context. But the very central, strong, like, composition. It's very yeah. intentional how it's done. But it That's works really thing. well because she's got such a symmetrical body position. Exactly. So it really yeah. works with being in the centre. Mm. And it's... Yeah. Uh, again anonymous in a way like it like again I can remember myself practicing piano that probably be me as a teenager um I just know. I I'm trying to put I, are they practicing or not because there's no sheet music or anything anywhere or is well, it just well I don't know maybe maybe she was just playing um or maybe she just sat down because I don't know little brother with his fire track or, or are they playing hide and seek I don't know or maybe but it doesn't matter yeah I still like it <laughs> Still we've got that tilt again to the edges with the lights on the yeah but this one is less noticeable it's here. less noticeable because it's, it's yeah sort of in the center. i do think it could potentially just be straight in the slide thing okay I'm, say, I'm very ocd about things like that i it's not bothering me because they're equally like tilted i think because the the box on the left yeah it's kind of working to balance that mm -hmm. and also I wonder if this started out as an environmental portrait either even like sit here you know yeah. all the piano player let's get a nice sort of view here yeah. and what happens sometimes is you go to shoot a portrait and you get these incredible moments that happen during the taking of a portrait and it becomes something else mm. and maybe maybe it did start off like that um yeah. Yeah, I like it. so yes from all of us yes yeah yeah So this is nice, but I think I've seen two other photos that are better. That something yeah. better. So that moment with the movement between the two siblings earlier, I like. And, and the girl in the bed with the book. The girl in the bed did the bed thing better. So for me, this is a no. Yeah, same. And I, I also just want to say that expression on the top. The, board, the, top, the, left, the left child, yeah. Well, in fact, the two left children. I like the... I like the expression on the smallest one. Not the middle one. I think that's a bit. I don't know. Or they. I don't know the left one. Both of those two. The the, the close lips and the slightly vacant look on the left one is disturbing me. But I do look at the youngest one because it's the brightest part of the photo, and I like the hand. Yeah. I I really like this still, and I I, I was going to say I really like the hand. And I like the curl around the face. Mm. Um, I like the shape of it. And the sort of the overall like swoosh of it. I like the expression yeah, of the appreciate that, the angle that the photographer's taken this at to make this circular shape going round, mm -hmm. sort mm. of mix of triangle and circle mm. it takes you round and round. Yeah. Um, but I prefer the other two pictures over this one for me. Yes, for you, Alice though. There are it's a yes, but I'm also gonna say that I there are there are more pictures I've seen that I like better than this. And I'm, if I've seen something that's similar, there are dissimilar pictures I like more as well. And I guess I'm trying not to, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you, this is very much every day. We might see a lot of, mm. you know, pictures in beds, in bed covers, in pyjamas still. Okay. And it's okay to have more than one. Yeah, I'm going to start it and then we'll see. This is, I want the settings for this. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like there was like a misty bathroom, but I, I don't think it was. Is, is it an edit or is it that it's misty? I think it's like an steamy, edit. Steamy. Um, steamy. I don't think it, it's steamy because the shower is not running, so it wouldn't be steamy, right? Do you think maybe it was orange and there's been colour correction? Potentially. I think it's an edit. And the, the, the flattening of the curve. The flattening of the curve to make it that. I do like it though. I like I like the composition of it, and I like the slightly. Um, you feel kind of feel to it. So a sort of Hitchcock esque feel to it. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in the bath. Um, I think it's like distracting me though. The, sorry, the edits distracting. The edits me. distracting me. 
the edit is distracting because there's, there's the contrast could be we talk we've talked a lot about several photos that are too contrasty this feels it's like it slightly needs a bit more contrast it it needs a little bit more oomph i think yeah. but i i wonder I, whether it's shot at a really high iso or something because it's quite this very grainy tail is quite fluffy which isn't a problem i mean you know you have to use that and we keep saying you have to use that sometimes but i think then it might need a little bit more oomph added in mm. post um i i think also yeah in, so visually that means a little bit more texture a bit more definition a bit more contrast the curtain i think if that had a bit more texture to it it would be less of a blob it is um, quite i really want to see the straight out the camera colors because i do think maybe it was orange -er. actually if it was orange that would have been fine yeah exactly like we talk because a lot think... about how we don't want to pretend that it looked like different we obviously yeah. it's going to be yellow ugly light in the bathroom yeah, and it could be not have any daylight in this room. Yeah, from, that's what it is. There, then. May not, there may not be a window if I it may be dark outside. So it's just and, and they're usually really horrible overhead lights. But that yeah. doesn't that's nothing wrong with that because that's just what that room looked like. I think this has been cool. It, it feels like it's been cooled down. I don't see I'm looking at the real life colours of the moment. But one thing I really love that I can see the bottles with the brand names on. Yeah. And I think that's a little nostalgia time bomb. And I think this is really valuable that you have this stuff, the clutter, the bubble. I really, really appreciate. I do appreciate how all of the things around the top and the shape of the bath and actually the curtain, although there's not much texture in the curtain, all sort of frames this little body. Mm. And that's conversely to the whole bright spot thing, because that's the darkest place it's where you look at in this picture. Um, but it's so fluffy and like la lacking bite. Yeah, I I wouldn't say it, yes to this because just I'm distracted. Yeah. Okay. I do like it. Bite <laughs> again. And another good choice of using shutter a slow shutter speed. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. But. I don't know if you see it on Zoom, but there's so much um, sensor dust. So much. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Spots, spots like all over the place. On the I, white. I meant to clean my screen. <laughs> yeah, me too. I've got such a dirty screen. I've just got spots. No, it's there. definitely, it's definitely. Yeah, um, to move it. I can, see, I can yeah. see a couple though. You said it, yeah. So that's very, very easily fixed. Yeah. It's the white wall. No it's no excuse that. not to fix it. I mean, obviously, get your sensor cleaned. Yeah. You should get your sensors cleaned every now and again, but it's easy to with mirrorless. Up. It's particularly bad. Oh, we all know it, and it's also particularly easy though to to clean once you've done it once and followed some like yeah. YouTube video. It's very easy. Only scary the first time. <laughs> I basically do it every time I go on a shoot now. You do it yourself every time. Yeah, yeah. it's really easy. Yeah. Really easy. It's Just scary to touch the sensor yeah. with the thing first, but then it's fine. Mm. Yeah, and it makes such a difference. Mm. And you don't have to edit all the spots. Yeah. <laughs> right. I really like the, the the face on the right. Yeah, I, the, there's really lovely stuff on this. It's so lovely. Separation. It's it's really you know showcasing the relationship between the siblings. I assume. Uh -huh. yeah. But, yeah. It's really like every day. Yeah. But I'm not, not that you do this every day, but this is extremely relatable. And it's that play offensive. fighting, play fighting idea. It's not you yeah. wouldn't do it. You wouldn't lie on the sofa and kick each other every day, but you might be tussling over something or yeah. kicking each other on the carpet, whatever you know, or playing in the garden. It's like the everyday relationship, I think. Yeah, and I love that it might actually be like literally painful. You could hurt each other, but it's still funny. <laughs> but you know. They, they, you learn with your kids to let them do let them kick each other sometimes <laughs> they actually are having fun the sharpness on those little toes is nice as well at the top mm. and i like the curve it's... of that lower the lower of the three high feet yeah but yeah. i'm just basically on the based on honestly i can't stand sensor dust i'm sorry <laughs> like you sensor dust on, on, there, it, it, on white yeah wood and on sky is really diff it's it's really distracting. Right, I'm 
Are we so saying anyone saying yes to this? Just to the point that cloning out bits of things like um a bit of clutter or someone's foot got in shot cloning out things that you don't want in the frame or in the frame is a no-no in a documentary approach but cloning out sensor dust is fine just yeah. in case anyone's thinking i thought we weren't supposed to yeah. you know that's that's different because it's it you don't see the sensor dust as you shoot it it's about seeing the photograph as you shoot it mm. And sensor dust is about looking after your, your equipment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I honestly urge you to, to get a little spatula thing and some liquid and just do it because it's so easy. Or meet up with Emma and flood your eyelashes and she'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. What about this? I kind of want the settings here. It doesn't feel yeah. sharp or. It's very, very grainy on my screen here. Yeah. Um, it's very yeah. grainy and bright. I think it's probably very like top like 16,000 or something mm. and it's really grainy and as Emma as you say like it actually doesn't need to be probably that grainy look at the light the because there's light. light there is um, light. there's a I window obviously on the on the left and I think it would be really lovely if you were using that light because it would throw some of it like oh, in the, in other the bodies dark. into light and other bits into darkness and it would be really moody and beautiful because I love this room the room yeah, and the you know the children all the naked children yeah and the brushing brushing the hair. hair and the way the body shapes of the other three kids and what they're doing it's, there's some really lovely elements to it but it's these settings are mm. the whole picture is brighter than it needs to be absolutely I, I really appreciate the scene yeah. um, the potential for layering here is is mm. strong but I also appreciate that it's shot just to show it straight on I would have imagined how you know I'm now thinking what would it look like if it was dead straight on mm. um so there's yeah, like it's not grabbing me I'm, I'm again I'm seeing it and thinking oh, I want different photographs of this obviously yeah because I love the scene and I love that they've yeah. seen that there's a scene going on but it's not the right photograph and the settings aren't right. But yes. either you, okay, as Alice, you said, sort of dead centre, so it's all symmetrical because there's two beds. Well, not quite symmetrical, but we like that sort of slightly imperfect sy symmetricity, if that will work. <laughs> um, I made it up. Or you should, like, you should in the corner. You, it, this is kind of half-half. It's not the window there. Um, or you yeah, kind of that, 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 Yeah. Mm. I do understand why it was tricky though, because you've got one, well, both kids really close to the wall, mm. um, which, and the feet going really close to the window there, which is slightly bugging me. Um, so well, they probably were doing it for a while as well. Like that's another yeah, one. Yeah. It's, you know, you could wait. I want to say it's like come in to like, I mean, I, I do love their little feet tucked up there, but you could almost lose some of the feet on that side if you mm. wanted to come into the ang on an angle more um, mm. and see this moment between the, the adult and child. Mm. I think as well, sometimes, I don't know if this is a personal shot, a client shot, um, sometimes the, you see this hesitation in the photographer to get in there, especially when it's such an intimate scene. Um, and I, I talk so much about um, that consultation you do if it is a client shoot before you actually meet meet the person getting that consent that building that trust so that you don't hesitate in the moment you can just get in there sometimes the best shots are that taken from that point of view of immersion in the moment this feels like it's hesitating yeah don't be scared to go in really close you're there to do a job yeah, or well, if it's a personal shot, then get in there. Do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Show me one. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Emotional reaction is very quick to this because that little mood is so beautifully yeah. um captured. We can see the whole body. Yeah, and the, the face. body language is strong as well as you don't even need to see the face. Because yeah. the body language is so strong. And they're Clutch. all alone, all alone in this and big, the scale, big world. Yeah. The sense of scale is wonderful. Like you, yeah. know, you might think, well, do we need all there's a lot of there's a lot of wall underneath that kid. I like how it shows how small the kid is in the world and the effort it might have taken for that kid to get up. I'm now thinking how I, 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 mean, I, mean, 
I yeah. feel he's been put on there in the naughty step almost. <laughs> you know, but he's like he's beautifully framed. You know, the light round his hair and or he she body mm-hmm. because he, he's um, layered onto the tree in the background. It's really mm-hmm. beautiful. Yeah, it's I very love- very simple. Very yeah. very simple. Simple and emotive and strongly composed. Yeah, and, and there's just the right well. amount. That, yeah, the balance of the house on the right and the left. Mm-hmm. But I think that's the point. Like that's because it's showing the emotion of a tiny human in a big, big world. Yeah. That's why it's so effective. Yeah. So yes, yes, for me too. Yeah. Love her expression. I the boy behind is slightly distracting for me. I love the color and the expression of the parent. But visually, I find this very original. Yeah, same. It's standing out, isn't it? It yeah. looks flash. Really it looks like it's flash, isn't it? Flash, yeah. It looks really artful as well. Like it could be in a museum, or you know, it's it. Her I don't. I actually quite like her expression juxtaposed to his expression because hers mm-hmm. is kind of exasperated, tired, I like the missive to the moment. Yeah, the... and he is more. They are more kind of active. Stiff. Or active or you know there's a different emotion but it's like juxtaposes against mm. one against the other and that kind of works for me basically. yeah I, I think um, it's beautiful yeah I really enjoy it um, I'm I'm wanting it to be higher up a little bit the I don't need to her... me at the bottom there yeah yeah, yeah that I don't need her right I need right the arm at the bottom arm. yeah yeah it wasn't I thought it wasn't straight but now I think it is straight I think it is, you, yeah. get a, you get a slightly curved horizon sometimes and it can play with your eyes a little bit but we have that vertical mm. post thing i just i i just want it uh, up a bit. i think a little tiny bit more of her head at the top and getting getting rid of or even if you if the arm was just if it was slightly cropped in i don't I think, think you can crop there's space to crop it in a bit i yeah. think you can crop in and lose that bit of skin and then the the head wouldn't wouldn't feel sure. as tight um, mm. I like the highlight on her mouth. Yeah, and on her earring, like behind her earring, I think as well as. Because sure. there's there is space to crop it. Oh, there is, and that that makes the head less distracting. Yeah, I love this. Episode. I prefer that. Yeah, there's so... nothing wrong with doing that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's what we were talking about earlier. Where you give yourself a little bit of space. Because mm. sometimes you do need to make little corrections afterwards, like with your horizon and stuff. Mm. And so you've but given you crop, space. So if take you it. it to a portrait because you think, actually, I don't think, not, I'm not saying it doesn't, but just as an example, if you think maybe the background doesn't work or changing you have the notice something afterwards, that's, that's when it's way over the line of it's a different photograph to the one you were seeing while you were shooting. Um, I still want to say yes to this just because it's very different, and I, I, I I'm it's a yes for me because I really love it. Alice, I'm I'm going to say no personally, but I do appreciate it. Oh God, I can tell it that too. Like... I like the little face. <laughs> it's like <laughs> such a grown up little face on that baby. Mm. Making me laugh. I think it's again, it's one of those like it's in the immediately, haha, it's funny, and I think like again. I think it's important to also highlight, I don't think we've talked about it yet, that there is, you know, there are pictures that are great for the client, for your own family album. Mm. And then there's a next level of a picture where it's great for your portfolio if you're a working photographer. And then yet another level is the pictures that, you know, win awards and get included in exhibitions and all that stuff. There's like three three levels of greatness, basically. And that top level of greatness, that's about the, the potential for a wide range of people to respond to it who don't care don't know don't care the, about the people in the picture but you relate to something in it and you that's what something. we're talking about with elevating the genre which is one of the reasons I mean, there's some really lovely things in this like the, the details on the on the little person the expression the little finger the toes and the back foot are all really it's slightly baggy pants or vest are really cute and the expression between the man on the sofa the way that each profile of the two adults is is really clear and in its space, but I don't. There's not enough from the 
woman yeah. on the you, you glance at it and you're like, yeah, that's cute. Um, it's a lovely baby. But then you move on. Like, you don't stay with it. I like her hands as well. The, the woman on the right hands. And I, I really appreciate how in profile the two adults yeah. look related. I, mm. I love, that's one of the things I love in photographs, that you can see yeah. people from the same family unit. And that's, that's all. Yeah, that's I great. really, they look like, well. they look like mother and son, don't they? It's really yeah. We yeah. haven't spoken about representation of family like visually much actually, but I think that's a way of representing family, showing likeness. Oh, yeah, for sure. And they're beautiful. They, you know, the her face is really beautifully carved out in that black mm -hmm. shadow, and his against the white wall. But she, in particular, isn't active enough, or mm -hmm. she's just pa she's passively watching. Mm -hmm. It's not giving enough for me. Yeah. You know okay. what? I've been looking at this like two minutes and it's still making me smile. Do you want to say yes to it then? I'm gonna say yes because it's it's okay. the, it's not just an initial impact, it is still making me laugh. Mm. I do wonder if the picture is actually because she's not very active here, if the picture yeah. is actually just between the I assume dad. I think that would be stronger. So mm. I like the I like the facial um, no, I do like that, but yeah, yeah it just not, something didn't quite come together okay <laughs> oh my god this right. is so cool i love this what is, how have, have one family got so many skulls and antlers they killed them all that day <laughs> <laughs> original, original. The color. i want to see the settings so i keep saying one of these settings it's fine not to include them in metadata it's absolutely fine yeah we're just like nice that's for us to be able to talk about them um, we're just being, we're nosy and we want to know yeah i appreciate the technical choices that are evident although maybe it's a teeny little bit is it there a teeny bit of motion blur perhaps at the back I mean, it's a really dark room and it, i think it's been brightened um in post mm -hmm. which is it's interesting probably. because if 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 that's a it is a portrait like this is a portrait there this, yes this, yeah <laughs> Then you can choose when to take a picture. So if you try to do a portrait, why don't you choose something with good light or with interesting light? It feels like that's like to compensate that. for, or like even if it's a dark light, then you can position them in, in the ways that will play to that difficult light. There's some light coming from behind the photographer because mm -hmm. there's a shadow of the girl on the wall and the shadow of the books and the thing so there's some strong light coming from somewhere i think it's artificial yeah it's artificial but that which doesn't bother me at all no um but there is light here i like where the boys are, are in the door frame um and the slightly non-engaged look of the sister and again i love this color palette yeah um, i'm i'm not exactly sure about the composition yeah. I think you could lose a bit from the left. Yeah. Yeah. I I do appreciate the table. Yeah. I really I think if, the table. You bring, if you bring it in slightly from the left corner. You don't want to lose the top left yeah. door frame. There's not much. Yeah. But from the but bottom I... the bottom left corner, you bring it in to lose this edge of the sofa and to get the skull closer. And then there's more balance on the yeah. left hand side. Can we also? Re I appreciate the straightness. Yeah. <laughs> Talked about that quite a lot. Yeah. Um, Maybe this has been straightened, and there wasn't much wiggle room. I don't mind the edge of the sofa because we've got the edge of the table. Actually, I I think I this has. I think what we can see is that the composition is incredibly intentional. Whereas sometimes we talk about, I'd bring it in, I'd move it this way, bring you know, lose this bit. I do think that this is very carefully composed at the edges i think it's carefully imposed but uh, composed definitely because you can see that they've thought about where the edges go yeah. to however i think that you lose the bottom left hand corner and that expands the frame because the sofa is then moving out of the frame and the table mm -hmm. is moving out of the frame and that mm -hmm. just makes everything bigger it takes you beyond the frame because you're going into the edges and you're giving edge tension to picture mm -hmm. Um, however, it's still an in for me because I really like it. I love the texture of all the, sc the skulls. Alice? Yes, for um, me. On originality alone, yes, for me. I'm, I'm I not, appreciate more than that I'm about not, it. I'm not a fan, though, so I'm, I'm going to say no, but it's still too thumbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flat top specialist. 
Um, so what I liked about this was obviously is that is that the younger sibling is amusing himself while the mm. older sibling haircut and all the details in the room of the haircutting salon place yeah. um so i think it's quite a nice observation of how kids when they're bored they find yeah. something to do mm -hmm. um i appreciate that too i'm not feeling it strongly yeah i don't think it's got anything quite that it's yeah, it's too much about that little point. There's nothing else happening. But I do think it's a nicely composed image. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to just move on. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I think I said. expression is. Um, again, yeah. like, I enjoy that it's slightly different take again on every day. Um, we don't, didn't see. I think she might be a nurse, like, a, you know, caring for someone, uh, maybe elderly. Um, and. The way it's composed with the with the painting in one corner, and she kind of almost looks a little bit like that, mm -hmm. um, like it's a religious painting or something. And then her with her loop <laughs> and the phone. I think you can just like zoom in on the phone. <laughs> We'll change the settings. I know, but she's obviously she doesn't know what to do. Yeah, or maybe her eyesight is so yeah, in maybe need of that anyway. I think I... It's, yeah, I think I like how it's been composed. Um, there's a couple of niggly things like the you know this this is not straight against the edge of the frame, so maybe just crop that a little bit. I I think you either need to include the full frame or you need to go into the edge of the into frame. It. I think in this case, just go slightly in. And then, yeah, like you said, expands it. Yeah, there's not much space behind or something. But I, I love the. I feel like she's just she's in the middle of something, and she was maybe cleaning or making the bed. Like yeah. you know, I love that the tea towels and it's tucked under her arm while she's yeah. like. Um, I really like it. I really, really like it. I, I think also her positioning in that space is beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's very obvious. It's so it's so clean. It doesn't really stand out, but. I, I really appreciate the shapes. Yeah. Her I, was say yes. I just like the moment of her face. Should yeah. we, would it be stronger if the magnifying glass was not over her face at all? I don't, it Maybe. doesn't, I think it's a, it's in a good position. It doesn't distract me. It's covering a bit of her face and her nose, but it, we can see her eyes still. I like that we can see her necklace. I think it's the, elements. the composition sort of balancing with the painting for me. That's what, that's why the composition is the way it is. Yes. Yeah. So I'm a yes, Emma. It's a no for me. Alice. Yes, feels. Feels. <laughs> <laughs> so I I liked this picture. I like the composition and the the sort of again that sort of parenthood moment of the dad chilling outside but sort of keeping an eye on the nonchalant dad parenting. Yeah, nonchalant dad sunbathing just checking that the kids are right actually the thing i really love is the the light through the curtains with all the plants yeah. beautiful really the yeah. texture of the curtains yeah you've got that that layered effect of the inside and the actual wall and then the outside of the mm. building and then further in in the distance as well um, i don't know it's something's not connecting for me i think i agree i love the light through the curtains and all the plants it almost for me would be better if the door was closed and we could see dad chilling outside and, and the child is sleeping inside mm. i like chairs chairs half i like the chairs, chairs halfway in and halfway i feel like it's it's showing the sense of space that there's there's not much not much space, no, I space and so they're making the most of the living space they've got sure um, it's, not hard, man. it's a hot day you know the, the yeah, kids yeah, are also yeah. naked because it's pretty, probably really really hot i'd like to see the aperture mm. i think i'd like to see the baby more clearly yeah the baby's not very clear is it no no it's not really like i think the focus is around the window and the uh, bed. I yeah i do think the exposure is very good i mean maybe it's a bit 
really connecting with it in the same way but I is think it like the exposure they they could have used a because it's quite bright outside i think you could have used a a narrower aperture to bring that focus yeah. it's because yeah. it's because it's not that different the focal plane of where the kid oh, is no, and oh. parent. Mm. um or is has is it a lens distortion on the edges where it's not as sharp maybe Mm -hmm. No, because if you look at the picture on the wall on the left, the wall looks sharp. The shelf, that's very, yeah. very sharp. So yeah, that's what I don't it understand. Is... It could be just the corner of the camera. The lens isn't great it's or something. Motion blur, is it? Mm. Could the motion blur the curtains a little bit if they're moving from the wind? Yeah, sofa doesn't look sharp. It is weird. Mm. And the the plant on the right, that's focused. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not quite understanding why the baby isn't. Or is it one of the, is it like a lens baby lens or something? I don't know, yeah. Well, I do still, I, I mean, there's there's a lot to like about this. Yeah. The way the light was seen, the way the moment was seen and captured, the the fact we get this this whole scene, the everyday I, 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 I do I, appreciate a lot about this photograph. I think in framing it, I would have gone a bit closer to remove the, right hand side so you're going up to the door and and really sort of reducing it so that the dad is really close to one side and the kid is close to the other and moving into that area where you've got like beautiful plants behind the window i think the left the right hand side is 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 not not as needed yeah i agree um any, any yeses for that yes i i'm gonna still say yes i do like it Oh, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> that was yes, nice. please. <laughs> okay. This, this is, is a parent twins. This is hitting on a lot of levels very quickly. Yes. It's, yeah, it's hitting on this graphic visual. Lovely level. shaping, lovely black and white, strong lines and light, lovely moment. If I have one small criticism, is I want to move very slightly to the right so that that um, what, ticket thing is just into the picture rather than just hovering on the edge. That's I want to get a ruler out and the thing in the middle. <laughs> I mean, like I have a ruler that lives like just. Yeah, so I, that needs to be I, in the middle for me. Um, it could be cropped a little bit. Oh no, you can't because then you're going to no. cut yourself. I don't think there's anything wrong. I think this composition is. Oh, it's good. It's perfect. imperfect. It's really, it's really great. It it's worked lovely. with what they had. So and it's a good choice in black and white. I really like the black and white. Yeah, I'm gonna say it, yes to it. You know, and the context of the writing on the wall where it's like suggesting the location, maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. And the writing on the plane, you know, you can see all that detail. It's nice. Yeah. Obviously, the moment the the parenting thing, yeah. how we relate to that, that this kid is is perhaps visually in a parenting position. She's got yeah, I do like that. Got two really love smaller that. siblings, twins, and I mean we don't have twins, but you, you know that we do appreciate that leveling up of the parenting challenge when you have twins, especially when the but twins intend on going in different directions. Yeah, it's potentially like being delegated to the kids. On the older siblings. Love that it? it's been delegated to the kids. I love the tension of it pulling in both directions. Yeah. And it looks like black, black and white on one side. And the fact that the kid on the left is twisted up like a little puppy. Yeah, yeah. The, in the, the and in stuff I well. would, I'd really like to see the settings because I, I'm, fe I'm feeling like okay, I can see quite a lot of grain. That's okay. very grain. Yeah, I, but I don't know what the aperture is, and I can't quite tell where the folk. I can tell the window. The letters are very sharp. Mm. Whether it's a bit of motion to so the kids, the the little kids are not as sharp as other parts of the image. Yeah. That's okay if if we're seeing that chaotic mm. movement. Um, I think also I want to appreciate this is clearly a parent traveling with with their children and because you can't take a photographer into the airport I don't think um like having the presence of mind to capture it while also traveling and potentially having suitcases or that so like difficulty level that's like next level actually. and can I also appreciate the choice this this person made if it's I don't know if it's a client 
if it's client work or personal work, we don't know. But if it's personal work, can we just take a moment to appreciate the photographer within that parent going, I'll just leave the twins with the eldest. I'm just going to get my camera out and just busy myself I mean, yeah, making right. pictures of this. She'll be fine. Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, Right, I'm going to say yes to it. Can we zoom in for a second on yeah. the kits? I just, I'm really curious. I can't really, because obviously the size of the images are web-sized, so, yeah. um, but they are, there's a, there's motion blur as well as graininess, so, and she's not, like, super sharp. Okay. So the, the puppiness of the kids, I just, and I, I like that there's a puppy toy. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Have diff slightly different ones as well. Yeah. Um, um, right cracking photo yes yeah. from all of us yes yeah. okay i love this i do too mm. and it just feels like every day even though it's no very simple like it's this is yeah this is life <laughs> and it's beautiful colors beautiful and, tone. and when, when you're shooting something like this with no people in you really do have the opportunity to nail the technicals and nail the composition I appreciate the composition in terms of where the clothes are in relation to the field and the sky, the amount of sky. I like that we've got this space at the beginning, at, at the bottom with the soil patches. Absolutely. Maybe the right hand side. Oh, and yeah, it's right hand side, I want a little bit of space to match the left hand side. Yeah, it's a little bit tight on the right. So my modern yeah. criticism. But I do. I, I I love the variety of clothes as well. So I'm starting to tell mm. stories to myself about who who lives here and. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just put it forward. Let's go next. We're almost. We're almost there. <laughs> um. I think oh, I said yes to this one. Um. Like I'm not super attached to it, but I wanted to highlight the sort of everydayness of having a newborn, where you're still wearing those hospital pants with pads. And you just I really appreciate seeing hospital pants. Yeah. Picture. I really appreciate yeah. um, I'm not sure yeah. about the position of the baby. I like the motion of like taking the um what are they called? Tights. Tights off. But the position of the baby I'm not so keen on. Mm. Um but I just, just wanted to highlight this is like this is life. This is what new I feel like the, the weakest part of this is actually the baby's that's position. what I'm saying. Like I'm not really enjoy it. I feel like you could have done a vertical of just the mum pulling the legs oh, and actually yeah, yeah. brought the the exposure right down so you really could see the little foot through the, the tights because mm. it's quite bright and you've got lovely light coming from the right from the left sorry yeah. you could really get lovely lights wrapping around the figure of the mum and see that little those little toes coming through the tights that would be lovely and I think that would be that's, much more interesting. that's where the picture is for me yeah, yeah, for sure, I agree. I agree. Okay, so we're just moving on, but I just wanted to highlight that. There's another washing picture. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're into, I, I love this picture, and I love the other washing line picture. We need a washing line competition. Oh, <laughs> next theme. <laughs> this um, reminds, this uh, put me in mind of one of your pictures, Emma. <laughs> really? We all know which one, the one with the two um, washing things in it. Oh, yeah, because it's got the um, washing things in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. and because of that one, I'm now thinking, what would it, what would it look like in black and white? I appreciate the warmth, the color tone yeah. is lovely. Now, I personally don't like sunbursts. I think it's I think yes. if that's representational. It's very well done to get it like that. Yeah, that's you've nailed the sunburst. But personally, I prefer it if I don't have the distraction of that. Um, yeah. But then again, like if they're shooting at a high f stop like the sunburst is just going to happen because they're trying to like you come down a bit you come color. down to avoid it but however i think the top part of the picture would be a bit bland or that that corner would be a bit bland just be white. yeah just be bring white. it down so so I, agree. Also... I don't love sunbursts but think it needs something there I don't know whether it could have been slightly further down and less of a sunburst less less burnt I think if it comes down to the top right of the roof is in the corner yes that then, would be better then there's more then because I really like the landscape I like the tones and lines of the landscape 
I love the the way that the mountains are disappearing into sort of a misty yeah. colour. That's really lovely. You bring it I in and still... down on the right, so it's closer to that to that right hand piece of washing. Then you don't have very much sky, and you bring the camera, you bring the angle down, so you don't have the sun. But I'm just seeing a picture that because all I'm looking at right now, I'm squinting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 I wanted to talk about the exposure yet though, because the exposure is really lovely because you've still got a little bit of blue in the sky. Mm. And there's lovely mountains receding, and it's a beautiful warm mm. colour. Mm. Yeah, that's, looking that's at the, the the fabric on the further away um thing, I the light and the textures and the colours and beautiful. the stillness. The, so the the mood of this is lovely. Mm. It's a dreamy mm. stillness. Feels very Mediterranean, doesn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's summer cool. evening, isn't it? It's like summer light, summer evening light. All I'm that washing fun. and the chaos of getting it all done and all the people who've got to wear everything, actually this moment of calm and still. I also mm. appreciate the inclusion, so if you go back to it, of the um, front stand to show, you know, the volume of washing. Yeah, how much washing there is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just adds that extra interest in the front. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to go next then. Okay. Just to clarify, so we're not putting that one. Yeah, we're not putting it. I like the photograph in the advert more than the <laughs> same. And so I appreciate the humour. I appreciate the humour and kind of the vacant expression on the child's face. Mm. That that said, I'm not sure whether she's been told to like sit like that or maybe if the face was invisible, it would be better if it was just legs and legs. I appreciate the two pink splodges on mm. her cardigan um, echoing the yellow egg splodges. And the legs. I appreciate the juxtaposition, but I don't think it's. I yeah. I, I don't think it's been executed perfectly. Yeah. It could be in a very small corner on a lift or something, which gives you not much to work with. But like, if you just like move, I don't know whether you need her face because it's more about the legs and the legs. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And if you move the camera to the right, and you've got space at the top with yellow to get the foot at the bottom in, because it's about you know the shadow of the the photographs foot and the white trainer in the bottom they need to be in the picture mm, yeah yeah um, but it's uh, a good observation nonetheless yeah. i'll just move on i like this i just think it's a really lovely picture <laughs> that mm. i'd have for its position of the horse's legs and the man's legs and i mean it's different like it's a different yeah. again interpretation every, day. every day that we don't see that much it's you know someone caring for the animals um, yeah someone who lives with horses and it does just feel like it's he's getting on with his everyday task you know he's, he's sort of in his world looking down yeah. mm. that said i like i think there is more interesting images to be made about relationship with the yeah. horses yeah this so i'm not really connecting with it i, I kind of want to zoom it to sort of go close take a close look at him and the the editing around him i don't think i can there's definitely some dodging and burning but yeah i'm seeing some toning artifacts think, yeah there's definitely artifacts here that was he was brought unless out. it's like bits of weather happening no i don't think so no. it's, it's definitely editing yeah um, so I'm I, like that. I, I do think it's an important thing to say we've seen we haven't seen that much of non-typical yeah every day we, there's a lot of mm -hmm. I mean, and it's we are a family like, like made for documentary the, the, uh, documentary family photography but it's lovely to see other representations of family in every day mm -hmm. um absolutely because yeah. family can be so many things as well and different age groups as well and relationships different, groups, different and relationships different. you know for some people their animals are their family absolutely um, you know whether it's a cat lady or someone who has a farm you know and, and you know works with horses so yeah but i'm gonna say no to this one mm -hmm. yeah 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 oh last one Oh, so this this was my put this through just because again it was one of those things where it was a lived experience for me where I remember my daughter doing this and she used to hide clips in her pockets when she was about four to take to school because she thought I wouldn't let her put her clips in and so then she put her clips in at school and she'd put like about fifty in her hair. Mm. 
And I remember so clearly picking her up one day from school when it had been school photos and she came out of the classroom, she had about 50 clips in her hair. Um, and I was like, oh, <laughs> this is what she looked like for the photograph. Um, um, and the teacher said, oh, no, 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 surely I wouldn't, I, I would have noticed anyway, she was like that in the photograph. And so I always chuckle when I see lots of clips in the hair. But I think, I think it's that, a good idea, but it's not so well executed. I don't think it's well executed. I think it's a close, it should be a much closer crop of the clips in the hair. And also it does look like the grown up actually put them in because they're like. Yeah, nice. also for me, it does look, it's in a rainbow pattern. I feel like it's, it's funny when the they're child in, has their own hair. They're in the right order, in the right place. I do, I do appreciate how the, the color of the clips echoes the rainbows in the dress dress though but it's a it's a no for me it's a no for me yeah right so yeah. let's just look at all the ones we sort of highlighted let me just look at them at the grid and then we'll start choosing our winners and runners up hey so i think we need to go down to to not the ones we have to just go to twos because we've got four okay. so you want to... i love this so, okay. eight. yeah that, i think that's that's what we're looking at this bunch okay. well, let um, me just see how many threes there are there are 22 so we said so we've got 22 threes 38 threes and twos and 44 threes twos and ones mm -hmm. yeah okay i think it's important to include the twos and okay so let's look at the ones first of all and see if there's anything that we think should should have got more. Yeah, so we only have this many ones. Oh, the lollipop girl. Oh, I feel like that could go up. You think so? I don't think so. I want to fight for the lollipop girl. You want to fight for the lollipop that's, girl? That's yeah. the one for me that would potentially go up in this slot. Okay, so shall I just do it three? Is and it just one? this this row? Not yep. this one. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> Um, the then, no, put put the lollipop girl into twos. Can you do that? Twos? Sorry. I can do twos. Yeah. And then put and then look at the twos. We'll put her into twos. Are we two two? I, I, I changed my mind and added her. I'm not. So what did you say? You changed your mind on it there? Oh, like we put her up to two because she changed my mind on lollipop girl. Yeah, you, know, not... you voted for and I've added her in. Cool. Yeah, I'm not going to fight for tooth as well. I I still like it, but I okay. I accept the I thing. Let's just yeah. look at the twos now. I'm just making them smaller a bit so we can see all of them. It's quite a lot of twos. Um, so I want to put this one up a little yeah. bit so we can talk about it. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah. So I just get it into threes, oh, and it's like threes is just the indication for us. These are the ones that we're gonna okay, start. Because I'm still not pushing. I'm yeah. I like a lot of these a lot. So I'm going to <laughs> yes. tell you which ones I like a lot. Uh, I could lose. I could lose the first one, two, three, four, five. I do like the kite person. I like the one with the cat. I like the one with the roundabout. I like the one with the window. I like both the swimming ones. I like the cake one, and I like the antlers one. <laughs> okay, but all of those. So shall are we just go twos and threes then? And yeah, like let's just talk. Let's put twos and threes. A lot together. of these that I, I still love. Okay, so what have we got? If we've got twos and threes. 23. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, just threes. 39. I think we should look at twos and threes together, but be mindful of how many stars they've got. Yeah. Um. In that case, let me just... Where is it? That was two stars, wasn't it? Okay. Um. So any ones that stand out to you and go, that's the winner. That's the, you know, the top. Well, should, we, should we maybe, rather than talk about this could be a winner for me. Should we talk about what, which ones you might want a top row? We can move them up yeah. to the top row. Just oh, what have I done with your faces? Sorry, <laughs> on my <laughs> screen you just like really weird. No, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Should we make them slightly bigger so we've got ten on a row? But then we won't see. I want to see all of them at the same time. Can you I'm see? I'm wondering if we me? make it one bit bigger if we will still see all of them. Oh yeah. No, okay, that's as big as they can go. Yeah. Well, it's point. still sort of cutting through that's a little. About, okay. We can uh, take it down again then, if you want. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the way we see them all. So for me, 
I want to say this one. I'm just gonna move stuff around. Yeah. Um, I wanna say this one. Uh, which ones? I wanna see this one potentially. The book. Uh, Spider Man. These guys here. These guys here. Um, what else? Uh, potentially this the other spider. Oh my god, we have two Spider Man. Is <laughs> it Spider Man man? Yeah. <laughs> and maybe so for me, the two in between the two in between the two Spider Men are just not interesting enough for me. They're, they're I fact, love. I don't two. think we should take out yet. No. In fact, should we... I want I want to remove my star from both of them. <laughs> should we just clear let's take it there's, in terms there's not for me at all? Let's they're take it in top ten. Emma, let's move each of us move ones we want to talk about up to the top, and then we'll squabble over taking them out. Should we do that? Yeah. Okay. Who wants to move anything up? I've moved all of all of mine are here up to the door, so including this girl. Up to the do so the top row. Yeah, except the last picture. Except the last picture. Okay. Yeah. So, who wants to move stuff next? Can I move um the airport puppy twins? Yeah. And the football dad. And the um the 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 black and white knee feet water. <laughs> what name can you that? This one? That one, yeah. We yeah. need to give them a name. <laughs> and the um the rock pool. The rock pool, yeah. And the dressing gown strangled bunny. <laughs> Where's Piano Girl? Piano Girl, I moved her here. Yeah. Um I'm going to rep Piano Boy, but I think I'm going to leave him there. Piano Boy? The hidden Piano Boy. This one. I, I'm i also wondering about the um, Autumn Leaf Car Girl. Oh. The violin Girl, please. Violin Girl. Piano Girl, Violin Girl. I might come back to Cake Feet. Okay. Okay, so let me see. So Emma. Um so up to violin girl, yeah. Yeah, up to violin girl. Yeah. I move some down instead because there's quite a lot of them. No, no, so, you tell us which ones that. first. Let's let's move the ones that you I, is everything that you want in here. Is there anything yeah, else I'm from? Trying to think if there is or not because there's a lot in the top that I don't like, but I, whether I would also include more from the bottom, I don't know. Well, like I personally love this one, so I don't want to move it down. Um, so but, is there anything that is not moved yet that you like? really want yeah, yeah yeah and i know what you want me to do i know what you want me to do i'm just i'm trying to decide whether the, there is or not okay who wanted to fight over this girl me yeah but you didn't move it um <laughs> So I'm trying to think of the theme as well here. Mm -hmm. Being the pain of this. <laughs> see, I, I feel like that given the theme, I'd quite like to see the, the mum eating the chocolate sprinkles moved up. Oh, yeah. Where is she? Oh, there. Right, yeah. um, I also 
still like that one with the going for a walk with the cat. Cat. I still like the washing line as well, actually. Can you move the washing line up? About this one. Which one? Yeah, that one I really like as well. The build, the compressed buildings. I'm looking at the naughty step boy again. I do like the naughty step boy. Mm -hmm. And I really like cake feet. Yeah, uh, I'm coming back. I keep coming back to cake. I know that photograph well, and I'm I'm conscious of conscious of that. Mm. Emma, did you say cake feet too? Or no? Yeah, I, I, I have the same thing as Alice. Um, I think we all do, so. It's um, like, just to acknowledge that, if it, 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 we, we have built up appreciation of something which is affecting our ability to have a clean read of it and a clean, fresh appreciation of it. So are we being objective or subjective? That's the question. Um, it's a cracking photograph. <laughs> um, so I'm just looking at things along the bottom. I do question the everydayness of it because it's a birthday party. That's like the bit that potentially is something we need to bear in mind. Well, it could. It, it might could, not be. It might not be a birthday party. It could be okay. everyday eating cake family. I'm sure. Mean, I don't know actually what it is. Um, I know the picture, but I don't know what it is. I think I, I like I'm just looking at the everydayness. Um and something that moves me more. Mm. So we need to bear that in mind. Um we need to remember that we're choosing first, second, and third place and also some runners up. Mm. So you know, there are obviously more pictures that, that we like than we can award. <laughs> So can I just move the, the sleeping boy under the piano up? Um, yeah. I like the everydayness of that scene and there's something about it that feels similar to the, the Spider-Man and I'm not sure which one I prefer. So between the for me, between the Spider-Man and Piano Boy, I think Spider-Man has a stronger composition. Like we talked about wonky lines in the piano picture and how it, it kind of lets the picture down. Whereas with the Spider-Man boy, um, it's very precise. How Not it's, to appreciate in that one. Yeah, how it's been composed. And I really, really like it. Shall uh, we, uh, for the next step, just take out a view all the things we haven't moved up? Yeah. So, so the, uh, I'm hesitating over, can I just mention there's one that I'm hesitating over that has got three stars and it's the the car girl with the, the girl. leaves. Um, I'm just there's... taking a look at that one. I don't think I want it moved up though. There's something now when I see it amongst the other pictures. Yeah. It's a beautiful portrait and there's no doubt about it. Yeah. I don't know whether I, having seen everything else, whether I would move it. Okay. Um. And the other one is the doll in the car, the plaster dolls. I'm sure. Yeah, oh, actually, let me look at that. that. I'd forgotten about the plasters. So I, I responded right. so strongly to that originally, but that blob on the bottom left is distracting. So, so I'm happy not to move that one up because of the composition. Okay, should we? Should we put? Should we put them? I don't want to lose the fact they. No, were can we? If we, if we, if we, can we put the top row down to the cake into red and just look at yep. red? Yeah. yeah. And then could we put, oh, undo that, what you just did? Mm -hmm. uh, go back to, can you put the other ones into yellow just so that we don't lose them yeah. somehow with the other? Oh, yeah. Good point. Um, These are so the wrong colours for my Colleen brain. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, let's make them bigger. There we go. I'll give them green, actually, and give them green. Yeah. And oh. let's just acknowledge, well, if you see your photo here, 1500 submissions well done yeah yeah 
if this is where it's going to get painful but take a minute you know be proud of yourself and also this is like we're not done yet but oh. yeah yeah So just we have to remember that our theme, you know, our theme is important as well as the execution of the picture. Um, so the criteria again is um, the everyday within the documentary family photography genre. Yeah. And it's also technical, not technical, sorry, it's, I could say this correctly, it's image quality mm. and it's originality. And it's our instincts as photographers and mentors. Mm -hmm. That's where the subjective bit comes from. It's, it is like, let's just acknowledge that it's going to be yeah, subjective. Yeah. We can be objective about, um, you know, uh, technicality, technical um, things about the photograph, the composition we can be objective about, but ultimately it does come back to feeling. Also, when it comes to the, meeting the theme of the everyday, there's a certain subjectivity in that so we could talk about how every day is a holiday you know there's at least three here which I think are potentially on holiday for mm -hmm. mentioned birthday um what else yeah yeah um how often do you take your cat for a walk I mean I would do <laughs> well some people do it every day <laughs> um okay is there any picture that should be in the top three for you? The ones that are in third and fourth position for me are my top two, I think. Third and fourth, that's your top two. Okay, let's move them up. Alice? Um, Poppy twins. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, they're there. Mm. I also really like the floating in the pool. Yeah. Rock pool. Really yeah. So that's Alice, your top three. Yeah. Oh, not. Okay. Like, so I've said would two. Be. Yeah. So far. Yeah. And then I also really like um, the blurry squish kiss. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, I like that one. I love this one. Yeah. I kind of want to move it, inch it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I would as well, actually. I would move it to there. Yeah. So are there any more for you, Antonina? I really like this. I'm not so keen on the rock pool. So I appreciate the, the clever composition. I appreciate the texture. You know, it's a beautiful image, but I don't think it's a top three for me. Mm -hmm. Um I really like the spider boy. And mm -hmm. let me just look at this one again. I really love this, but maybe it's not top three for me. But I think it. I, like it. I mean, I think it's lovely, but it's, it's in the runners up for me for sure. It's not award winning for me. It's just a photo of some kids quite still in the back. Mm -hmm. the for me, it's for I me. Mean, I like it to be the runner up. I do like it. Then we talked about it a lot, but it's not not at the top. I'm mm -hmm. with Emma on that. I like it and appreciate it, but it doesn't stand out. Okay. At this level for me anymore. No, I I it, I wouldn't be in a runners up position for really? me. Yeah, same for me. For me, it would be, but okay, let's stop. But I'm also going to say the one that's currently at the top left. Mm. I I am not. We're going to have fights about this. Yeah, that's a drink for sure because I'm not feeling I that one. I think this one needs to be up there. Yes, I think that one should be up yeah. there. Because I think that's a really great example of every day. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, I really love Serial Boy. Serial Boy was Serial oh Boy by default up there. But oh, I this one, yeah. keep him up there. Yeah. yeah. If anything, it's definitely a runner up if it would have not top three. Um I have slight as much as I absolutely adore the photo of the puppy kids, I'm really concerned about the quality of the image. Same. Can we look at it again? Mm. So we've asked for a certain resolution. If we if we zoom in on the different bits of the frame, go to the top left of the frame. I feel like the focus is not the kids. I feel like the focus is the window. That window is really sharp. sharp. That looks sharp, but the, kids... the leaves are really sharp. Yeah. And then the, the really image sharp. on whatever that is, that machine, the image on that machine, that's sharp. Mm. You zoom I, mean, I can't do any more. I can't like artificial. 
officially like do that but it's like beyond yeah. the actual we go to the bottom right because i think the kids face ah, on the bottom, sorry the kids face on the bottom right i think it's been brought up it's very very grainy the bottom right i just want to see that a bit more closely uh, i'm just trying wait a second i the button to like <laughs> do it one to one view view sorry now i now i've like done the thing with my fingers on the pad okay oh, it's doing something funny um zoom to 100 why why is it grayed out no go away so while you're doing <laughs> that i'll just talk about how i had yeah. a feeling oh, there that we go. the exposure had been raised on the kid on the bottom right a bit too much so sometimes if you underexpose in sheeting and then you ex you increase exposure in post if you're if there's grain, it kind of kills the image quality in that bit of the image. So I still can't quite see, but I feel that the grain on the face is a post exposure thing. Quite possibly, yeah. Where the puppy, the the puppy backpack face is fine because it's brighter. I still I respond to this so strongly. It's it's strong, it's funny, it's real. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, we can talk about. It. I mean, it's like, excuse me, <laughs> it's like a holiday scene, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we don't know. Yeah, but I mean, it's an airport. Everything. It's an airport, right? So that implies a holiday. Yeah. So not, I not doesn't have to be a holiday. You could be traveling to see family, like else. Been meeting grandparents at the airport. Yeah. that's ten minutes away from your house. Yeah, coming to visit you. Um, the everyday nurse is in the behavior. Mm. Me. And I think it's possible to see the everyday in a situation, like if it's a holiday or, you know, whatever else it may be. No, I see, I see what you're getting at. Um, it's still for me, like, I don't think it's a top three. Just purely on the, considering everything, considering like the circumstances of mm. the parent potentially taking this picture amongst the chaos of travel. Um, I think it's just or not it quite there. Um, I like the absence of adult in it in particular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the best kids' stories, the mm -hmm. adults, you know, all that diet them in the beginning to let the kids narrative free. And I, I like that it's parenting nurses in it, but there's no adult. So, Alice, you said you don't want this to be top. Uh, Emma, would you be like, okay, moving it a bit down at some um, point? Hmm? I just think it's a much more original and interesting image than the one that's above it. Okay, how about this? Remember, we had that niggle with like the frame in as well. Yeah. But yeah, I just think it's. How about this one though? Because this is like the epitome of everyday life with a newborn for me. Yeah, and I, really, I, as well. I really like that picture. I think it's very nicely composed yeah would we go like this with it can we no. look at that one again actually no I, I wouldn't put it to the top but i do definitely like it a lot in terms of its everydayness i i like it more and more the more i see it mm -hmm. i'm appreciating the color like um yeah the color of her lips and the top and yeah. the there's, there's so much the, the, the hand holding the baby yeah the hand holding That's the baby is gorgeous are there any that we we want to take out of this view yeah now? maybe so okay i think we need to like focus that. on yeah taking anything so we are now looking at the collection that will ultimately become runners up and the winners right yeah, yeah. so we need to start being um decisive <laughs> so we have yeah. 23 in this view any ones that we kind of want to take out of consideration i would take out the back seat kids but we would take out the back seat kids and the one next to it in the bedroom this one yeah. I, 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 I think it's a little i think there's a lot about it i like but it's a bit it's like a bit technically, i think technically it's um not quite there i think there's you know i i appreciate and looking at this you can see it's hard to have more than one person in the frame because there's not many yeah. it's always easier to get 
one yeah. person or two people, yeah. multiple people. I mean, that said, a lot of the stuff that we chose is like one or two people. So yeah. just I, I, I think the cake picture is much stronger because the expressions on every person in that frame mm. in the moment, whereas they feel a bit meh in the other one. Like I, I don't, don't think what I don't knowledge about this one is that it's the only one that I think is a whole family unit. And exactly. I've just been working with people on like portfolio building and the importance of having a good whole family unit. Sure, even if it's exactly, there might be another sibling no one knows about, but representation of the family unit. Oh no, we've got it in the um we've got it in the top down pool shot, haven't we? C shot. Yeah, the top down pool shot. I I love that one. Yeah. So I'm actually not so keen on this one, for example. I'm Sorry. not keen on this one at all. I think this is really clever, though, the way they've incorporated all of the different family members. And... No, no, I don't doubt it. It's just that I don't connect with Sorry, it. which one is clever? Really... They, this this... Like, yeah. I, I, I can appreciate the care the composite the, that's been taken in composing this. It's just that I'm not connecting with it at all. That's a really strong one for me. Yeah, me too. Like, I would actually prefer this one over that one. Weird. Okay. I would take out Spider-Man Dog. So Spider-Man Dog, can we just get to that? I, I, looking at it small, I feel like it should be a vertical on, on Spider-Man and the dog. I would prefer that. The thing, the thing that's distracting me is the uh, brightness on the face of the girl. Mm. Yeah. I've never, I didn't ever respond to it very strongly i appreciate i appreciate it and i particularly appreciate the lighting but yeah, i'm happy to take it out of the uh, okay. of are you happy emma Does yeah i'm sense? happy to take that and i'm also happy I, I i think the car one i'm happy to take the car one out meeting to yellow so i'm just um, going to take a beat about the car one let me just look at oh sorry of course yeah it. We might get to the point where <clears throat> we're doing overruling, but we're not there yet yeah. on numbers, are we? Um, I would potentially take out the kid in the the one to the left where you are now, the kid in the um potential the hotel. This one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just because at, at this point it's yeah, not. Yeah. What's wrong with it? It's about it's not a feet, it's not coming. I would actually take out the washing line because like just looking at the whole selection, it just doesn't yeah. fine. Yeah. And I think one thing we want to we want to be really clear about as well is we're not curating an exhibition, we're judging singles. So I'm really glad to see something like the washing line, but I don't it's the sort of image we might keep in for balance, but it yeah. just isn't shouting as strongly. Um mm -mm 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 does yeah, I think keep... I would probably take out the hotel room and and the car seat for, for me. Those two. You're like... hating me on that car seat. No, it's not <laughs> that. It's, it's I'm very... joking. I, I think it's lovely, but it's it's not that interesting for me compared to the other photos. I think it's a really lovely sibling moment. Equally, I really like this show photo with the rain on the windows and things. I am actually like. As much as I love this one, I would probably keep this one in the with the one that with the okay. building. Okay, I'm seeing it again. I like it more. Yes, I like it. I, I'm glad we looked at it larger. Mm. I, I love this family picture, by the way. I think it's very very lovely. But I just think looking at everything else, it's a much easier photo, and it's not that interesting. So, which one are we talking about now? Car seat one. The car seat. Car seat. Yeah. Is that gone now? It's out now. It's out. Right. Okay. Out. Um, I'm not sure about the running dad. Which one? This one? Yeah. yeah, I'm not so keen on this one. I was very quiet about it. And I appreciate elements of it, but I'm I appreciate it. it looks very bright here. I mean, it's lovely, like for a family to have this one. Yeah. It's really lovely. But, and a um, bit like what we were saying, where you've got lots of members of the family in the same thing, it 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 is bothering me that he's so close to the top of the frame. Um and the exposure's bright, bright, bright. Yeah. So let's just look at it again for a sec. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> I that think is... that if you look at the skin tone, it's there's white. There's a lot of white in it. The bright bits are bright white paint and white clothes. I don't think it's actually brightness is not bothering me. Right. I think the head, the, this, um... Yeah, it's that top bit. I just I just look at the the top millimeter. And also like I 
it's not that balanced like I would like for something to be yeah. here maybe if I, the ball was here how much better would it be like well, a big... slight angle look at the ball on that so can we just look at it again oh sorry Wayne don't get rid of this picture yet okay right look at the ball on that vertical um path line yeah down the slab line and this how centered it is so for me it's balanced because it's centered with actually coming in from one side so i like that negative space on the left because it's giving me that dramatic space and the the flags coming in i um and maybe if there was another sibling sitting on the floor or some just something for balance yeah. <clears throat> or a bit of a tree or something it's more that there's the the busyness in the top right corner with the flags and the hair touching mm. the edge I can't I can't get and there's also it's, like a broom touching the edge in that top right corner so it's so so busy with things that aren't actually important mm. that I can't just get drawn to that that you think it would have been like a vertical place. actually maybe so I was wondering that or no. whether you don't need the heads of the the people that are or maybe it's them. just that yeah I think also don't so let's get let's appreciate for the photographer that this adult is moving uh, yeah 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 it's a moving image yeah and they haven't cropped the head and the hair off it's just it's just too close for you Emma but it isn't cropped they no. haven't missed it no. I'd also like another thing I personally look at when I look at the images is the universality of it and some feel more universal than others as in relationship, the feeling that involved invokes in me. It doesn't like need to look any certain way. I think it's about more about feeling. And this one just doesn't do it for me. It's mm -hmm. a great action shot for this family, that's, you know, but I don't think it should. So I, I definitely <clears throat> wouldn't fight for it as a top three, but I would I would be happy for it to be a runner up. If okay. if it gets to the point where we need to kick things out, um, mm. then Okay. I don't know if I've got any more fight for it in me. Should right. we move it to the end for now? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Um, anything else we want to kick out before we really focus on what our because we only need to like, move around the top three really. We've got rest. twenty. Yeah, I mean, there was still need to kick some out. I'm not so keen on this one. Which one? The the rock pool. Just looking at them. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll take a beat on that one. I'm not sure yet. Some it's interesting looking at it like this. It's funny because the ones that actually are really sort of strong graphically, when I'm looking at them like this, I don't get such an emotional feeling towards them. Because they feel a bit more perfect and I'm emotionally less connected to them. Right, so we ran out of time uh, and had to reconvene um, again <laughs> uh, and also um, look at the images with fresh eyes. So we're going to continue now uh, where we left off um, just a second ago, your time, <laughs> the ones who are watching. <laughs> Right, uh, where's the screen? There we go. So this is where we left off right last time. Let me just move you. Can we look at the, um, the ones, uh, can we look at the yellow set? Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how to move your faces, our faces out of the way. There we go. Um, Just the yellow or all of them combined? No, can I just look at the yellows just on their own? I just wanna see oh. if there's, because I think there's some in here that I, I'd like to move. I'd like to pull some back in. As well. oh, yeah, um, me too. <laughs> How about could we um look at okay. full screen for a second, or the ones yeah. we, thought we might pull back in? Look at full okay, screen. Let me just start from the back. So this, this, I want this one back in, please. I would really like this one back. Emma, can we tag these as red that we want to pull back? No, I'll just tag them as green. So we yeah, like okay. it's all one set. Uh, what number is that green? What number is green? Eight. I think it's eight. Um, That'd be a good photography eight. Yeah, it's eight. So let's pull that one in. 
I think we should acknowledge that anything we're looking at at this stage has risen to the top from a very large pile. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the edge on the left is, I, I think it's really cute, the edge on the left and the overlap of the, my, uh, the, the magnifying glass on the nose is just... This uh, doesn't bother me uh, as much as this. They, they are, I like it as a representation of every day, though it's a bit different. But I think, yeah, let's move on. Okay. Alice, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I, I still really like this. Mm. But I'm not, I'm not very keen on this, to be honest. I, not, I really appreciate it. I'm not feeling it for this. Yeah. I'm not, I, it's for this top, for this theme. I'm not sure. It doesn't quite fit every day. Yeah. For I agree. I do really like this one. Let me actually remove the data because we don't need that. Yeah. I'm still not really feeling this. I appreciate a lot about it and I'm happy for it to go through to be a winner up if you two both do, but I'm yeah. not. I kind of like, I really connect with this bit here, this first mm. child, but not the rest of it. Yeah, I think that's, I, I like the colour and I, I, I like that child. I like the sym symmetry, yeah, the steps. Not the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, exactly. let's move on. I like this one as well. Me too. So both of you want to take it up? I think I'd like to move it up. I'd like I want to see it amongst the other ones. Yes. Okay. Like this one. So as we said, there's so much about this that's executed extremely well mm -hmm. and it's incredibly difficult to do that. We will get so when I feel nitpicky about it in that context I, I feel in terms of a picture with several people in I prefer it to the family photo that we've got in well I actually disagree I prefer the family photo because it's a whole family because we don't have a any pick other pictures and that's not a reason in itself to put not it a reason in itself but it's also a representation of every day and we all know that to photograph a client, which I assume it's a client because it's a whole family, um, it's harder than photograph your own kids or your kids and your partner. Not it's necessarily. Harder. I would. I wouldn't agree with that. Actually, I don't think it's harder or easier. I think circumstantially, it's easier to have access for sure. But um, I'm, what I, I mean is, it's hard. It's easier with your personal work because you have access all the okay, time yeah. and the, the sort of the success rate then is higher just because you have so many more chances yeah whereas yeah. you were the client for like four hours and that's it mm -hmm. you know I'm not sure it's a particularly good example it might be the only example we've got but I don't mm -hmm. think it's a good example so but and I think this is a stronger picture of multiple people and I think the, the cake one as well is a stronger picture of multiple mm -hmm. people. okay so you both um, agree this one needs to go up um, the, top, the top right, the, the, the top right corner oh, cropping is yeah, is really, my big. It's a big. That's my, it's a big issue for me. That yeah. it almost would have been better with that, or like even just cropping that, or like composing it so it looks like it's an adult figure sort of overlooking them. I don't know. I think I'm, it's. I think we need to acknowledge that the the more ambitious a photograph is, the more is. there is for us to yeah. criticize. And so we can have a greater set of niggles with a better photo. <laughs> there can be a simpler photo where we have nothing to niggle about, but which is the better one? It's, it's yeah, important. So it's one, one is easier to get than the other, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think I think there's niggles a... and then there's like, but also there are photos where there are niggles, but you feel it and then mm -hmm. it doesn't matter that there are niggles. <laughs> Right. No, I'm not. I'm not feeling. I don't get loads of feels, Miss. And I would like to say on the niggle, the the top, the the right hand side figure is the one who's not moving. So that's the one you can get right. That's, yeah, that's the true. frame. Yeah. Yeah. So shall we? Move on? Yeah. Let's let's move yeah. on. That. Yeah, because that that top that top right figure that should be your anchor, and then you wait for the other things to happen and come into place. Yes. Yeah. Um, this one I I do love the the humor of it, isn't the, it? The humor of this and the 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 back to frontness of what she's doing. 
where she should be and should be looking and is looking. Um, and I, I do appreciate how they've composed something quite interesting out of lots of teeny weeny weeny little things mm -hmm. that, that make my eye dance around. Um, I still love everything about this photograph that we said um, earlier on, and I would, this is one I would probably have on the wall, but the, the thing that we talked about that I still feel um, less is positive it, about is the edit. Now, how much is taste, and how much is someone thinking, I must boost this, I must boost that to make it look? Because I think it would have probably even looked better than, you know, without a contrast, but one thing, you probably can't see it because I'm the one sharing the screen. But I can't get over all the sensor dust in the middle. Oh, okay, okay, I can't do that. Okay. But did you screen? Did you clean your screen? Because I no, I haven't cleaned my screen again. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's not your screens. It's you need definitely... to move it around. Yeah, we've yeah. we've put one out already for with oh, the that. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's a whole bunch here, and then there's a big splodge over here. Okay, yeah. and that's just the you know if you're entering awards, I think you have to be yeah. careful yeah. just for that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call this a very strong finalist. I mean, there's no category of. It's finest or it's not, but I, I would like to acknowledge it's a very kind of, strong finalist. Yeah, just please, please, yeah, know that we really, really like this. Yeah. Um, that really a lesson for everyone is don't forget to check your sensor Check your clean, files. Clean, Look at them 100%. Clean, <laughs> and clean your screens to make sure you can see the sensor dust as well. Um, <laughs> and I just crazy. another note for when it's very strong sun, the contrast is all already so strong. You're, you, you've got harsh shadows and harsh edges to your shadows. So your contrast can come and- um, It doesn't need to come up. It really. needs to go down rather than up. Yeah, exactly. Right, let's move on. <sighs> so I prefer this as a family You person. do? The other well, because it's a whole family, yes. Um, I prefer it in terms of a whole family photograph. Okay, let's bring Alice. What do you think? But the top bit still bugs yeah. me as well. I'm that. I'm happy to move on from this one. Yeah, same. I don't feel confident. I don't feel as confident as I should or would like to feel to move okay. it on. I don't feel I get... confident that if you get that it was properly intentional. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also the top right again. It's all the top rights. Is, is bothering me too much but I do love the feel of this picture I really like the feel of it yeah I think, and I think the photographer sorry Antina go ahead no 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 go ahead I think the photographer choosing this frame I I'm 100% behind them going whether yes. it was intentional or not this is a frame that has worked and yes deliver it print it etc but I what I was going to say good. is that you know we have the other one with the two siblings I assume in the same kind of technique and that one because it doesn't have any distraction elements i'm staying with it for longer i have more feels as opposed to this one yeah and because i think because the the sharp but not quite sharp bit is in the middle it's the bit that mm. it's just, you know, that's and drawn through i keep the, looking at the text rather than the people i should be looking at the people so it's okay okay love this still and i would like to put this through I, mean, I love it for a colour palette. I love yeah, it for the composition. I like it. It's the, the boy's face and hands I don't love, but I do love the colour palette and I think it's a really nice composition. I it's like the like well, very put it in the... Um... thing that I want to say about this, though, is that mm. we, we were talking about the other picture where it's incredibly difficult to get right. Whereas it's this dead easy. Dead easy to get right, and that face and hand are not a good moment. I like the face and hand. I do see moment in the face and hand. I appreciate that. And let's talk about the easiness. Once you've used your photographic skill in terms of your creative voice to see this, then it's easy. Although I think I still think exposure with the highlight and the reflection in the picture, there are there are definitely technical things to get right. But the heart, the the talent in this is seeing it that composition. So I think yes, it's easy once you've already you're already up here with I can see a photograph here. Mm. Is this easy for you, Emma? But this, is not, this is easy for you, Emma, but it's not easy for everybody. That's <laughs> what I want to acknowledge. Yeah. yeah, I don't like. I like it. I don't have such a problem with the face and the hand. I think it's sort of the teenage angsty, you know, because everyone looks different when they relax or maybe like deep in thought or thinking about something difficult. Potentially, 
um i don't have a huge problem with it I, i'd like to put it up and like see at the i just say know. something about this yeah. because it is basically an environmental portrait mm. it's about this person and obviously the photographer has noticed that it's actually a really lovely color palette and makes a really nice environmental portrait whether they consciously know it's an environmental portrait or not i don't know but it is if it's an environmental portrait you can say something yeah, it becomes that becomes you can direct to a point mm. yeah and in this photograph the position of his head and the way he's pushing his head forward so his chin's caught up is just not an attractive position and it doesn't look relaxed to me it looks awkward and you could actually direct them to change their head position slightly to look in a slightly different position and this would be a much better photograph and that's okay. where it falls down for me and you should be doing that i have two things to say to that a not like not every portrait needs to be a directed portrait it can be a found portrait I know for yeah, a fact with my is, can I can I just finish? Can I just say one thing though? This is this would be a found portrait, and a lot of environmental portraits are found portraits, but once you get to that found portrait point, and this is a very stationary um image, you can say something and it can take one word. Can I finish? Um, I know for a fact that for example, with my child, if I say something, it's not gonna be a picture anymore. So I need to not say something because he will act for the camera. There's like no way. So not everyone can direct their own children, for example. Um, and secondly, I think it doesn't need to be relaxed necessarily. As I said, like it could be a teenager, they're not relaxed, <laughs> not all of them are. Um, so I don't think that's necessarily wrong. Um, just it, you don't like it, that's fine. Um, I think we are talking about instincts, our own instincts and preferences yeah. at this point, and everything we've said is valid. Um, I've just noticed I think the photographer's reflection is partially in the um, picture. Yes, in the picture. And we've talked about this before. Again, it's that's okay if you're aware of it. I, I'm not sure. It, it's only small. And I don't think it is an it, issue. I think it's hidden enough in this particular. Yeah. I think it's all merges with the landscape in a way. Yeah, so really I'm happy to put this through to the runner up that's section. Not... Very happy to. Are yeah, you... I, would, I would too, yeah. Let's just see. Let's see what we end up with. Okay, well, but this one. But this one I prefer a lot over the one before because I mm -hmm. think there's a real tenderness and a real emotion in this picture. Uh, so if the other one's up, which I don't like, I would put this one in. We're bartering now, look. <laughs> so this this one I didn't, I think I was the one who had least yeah. response to this. The, the subject on the right, I am really, I am feeling the face and the hand. I, I love the little bit of separation there, the moment, the tenderness, the touch of that. The figure on the left in the back, I am i don't fully understand what she's doing and I'm not. She's done preparing hair. Actually, actually now I'm seeing, I'm seeing the hand thing. Yeah. Both. both of them have got beautiful yeah. hands. If you if you're comparing it to the picture before, you've got a gorgeous color palette again, and there's real emotion mm. in the girl on the right. There's something incredibly engaging about the face. Yeah. Also yeah. got an actual everyday activity and a connection between the two because there's a there's something going on that they're going to be doing together. So mm -hmm. again, within the everyday theme, I think this is a stronger photo. I think mm -hmm. it is beautiful, and I would like to move this one up. I do. I really do love the light in it. Yeah, yeah I would. I would I'm move it up to run as well. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to move it up. Yeah. Okay. I really like this. Is kind of picture that I like. Um, you know, it's funny aspects of parenting relationships within play. I'm I just think... dad's face is kind of bothering me. Hmm. I also the thing I think about this one though is I think it's a great photo to take it, especially like if you're on a client shoot it's a, a, probably an angle that a normal person wouldn't you know that you're taking photos or wouldn't mm -hmm. think of taking um there's a, a lovely everydayness to it and a feeling you know a, a slight humor to it but I, ha I have seen this before yes so originality is one of our four yeah. judging criteria um it's nicely composed. There's a little chair leg that I think should have been edited out, like as in the crop brought. Oh, you don't mean clone, just to clarify. You mean composed out. 
composed out or just slightly cropped bring in slightly with the crop afterwards um because it's it's fractional but i just feel like i've seen this photo before okay so with originality we might see the same type of thing a few times maybe there's a picture that's the best version of it it elevates that, that type of thing um i mean the light in here is is lovely I don't have a strong opinion about this photo. I, I think the dad's face is a little bit distracting me because I think he's yeah. aware that his photograph is being taken. I that's that that's because I yeah, that's my feeling. And it's oh. not like it's a bad thing that they're aware. Like I want to just clarify. Obviously, people are usually aware, mm. but you don't want to see them being like doing it for the camera, smiling for the camera. It it prevents me being drawn in fully yeah. to it because as a the mo moment. Basically the moment implies that it's like the dad is tired and sleeping and the daughter is doing something silly with his hands. Yeah. Whereas his face I... doesn't tell me that and that's where it's clashing. Can I just say in terms of moment though, it's really beautifully timed because the brush of the, the little girl is really super cute where yeah. one hand's on the table and the other hand's just about to put the nail varnish on and you could got the separation of the brush to mm. the finger and that's mm -hmm. actually really lovely i think she looks like she's got nail varnish on as well i know i just noticed that as well <laughs> yeah um yeah. i i'm happy to skip that i i want to acknowledge that it's a that there's lovely a lot photo. of that's really yeah. good it's got this far but yeah okay okay another I still really like this but I I do see the comment that we that you made earlier that it looks a bit like she's standing there the same feeling as the last one standing mm -hmm. there for the photo just something slightly off right yeah I think this is an instinct so again we're judging it on instinct as well sometimes you can have an instinct that this photo speaks to me I love it but you can also have an instinct that there's just something a little bit that's stopping you from being convinced I think it's like there's this um I don't know if it's true or not but the people who separate the chickens into male and female the only way to train is to the chicks I mean because you can't tell like um the only way to train is if you put them in a one pen and then you're told it's, you're right or you're wrong and over time that experience you just have that instinct you know from experience <laughs> so it's, it's, I know it's weird but but so I know um <laughs> But it's like once you've taken so many photographs and you've seen so many photographs, you develop this instinct about how the photograph was taken. Mm -hmm. And you can't quite explain why you feel that way, but you're usually right. Yeah. I really like this, but I'm happy to move on from it. Emma? I, th I think I actually prefer the, it's just kind of similar to the one we were discussing with the boy. And I actually prefer the boy picture. You mean the Spider Man boy? No, no, the one in the room with the bed and the colour palette. Oh, yeah. The light was nicer than that. I have to yeah. say, it's like, I don't know. I'm not so keen on Like, I, I, I again, I appreciate it. I liked it, but I'm not. I, I feel like it's been put there. Okay, let's, should we move on? Just yeah. Just yeah. 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 This one you both liked, I think. I really, you? really like this still. I'm, I, I, I would like to see this go back Yeah. Emma? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to actually. Do everything you say about it. I do. I do think that the top. I I don't know whether the colour's been pushed too much in the top, but I think her expression is gorgeous. The there is, is a just slight right disconnect top. for me between the lovely um depth uh, and the contrast in the car and over contrasty um tree. Um, but it is a very good portrait, nevertheless. Yeah. I'd like to see this go back. Yeah, let's let's so take it out. Just I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to leave this one here, although I, I like so much about it. We've already talked about the little composition. And... Yeah, I think there's. I, I think we can. I, I would move on from this one. I do like it, but it's a bit more of an um, obvious picture. Right. Lollipop. Okay, like roll, lollipop. Let's I'll let you. I'll let you do fight over it. <laughs> Did you, are, you, are you an out on this, Antonina? I'm not. Like I don't think I have a strong enough argument either way. I do find the people on the um, top left-hand side distracting, and I do find the colour weird. These you are the me? things that I'll say. Can you go in a little bit? I please? find the colour weird, and, and that's the thing I find most distracting, actually. 
because the people are out of focus so see i'm just i'm not even cropping i just zoomed in and like removed that top person how much yeah, yeah, yeah. Instantly, right? yeah, i think it's better like that i i re i like the composition exactly as it is it's just the color the the the, set, the green it's the green isn't it it's mm. it's almost um been desaturated completely i think I, I wonder if it's like a film press set or something that they used um without like thinking how it actually affects the image can we go out again please yeah. Okay, I think we have, so we're going to have differences of opinions, there's different responses to things. When it comes to niggles and things that we think are like, hurting the image, we I think we need to be quite strict about things like that. Now, how much of that is personal taste in the photographer, which we should respect? Um, but we, you know, we've worked with a lot of people on their editing, haven't we? And taking, weaning people off presets and finding your own style and... And I think also representing reality as it really is. Like, yes, you yes. can um, yes. edit it slightly, maybe softer if you want, like, um, yeah. say you say you actually are shooting on film, like an old camera, you can definitely, like, if the colour comes out this way, even though I, I have no experience in the darkroom, but in the darkroom you can adjust some things too. Um, that's fair enough. But if you're altering it too much, in the context of documentary photography, I think. Like you wouldn't see a photojournalist go and do that. Okay, if you want to move on from this, I'll get over it, but <laughs> take it off the screen because I really love it. Yeah, I absolutely love it as well. It is the- You love it, okay. Yeah, I love it, I love it. I, it's, the green is really okay. bothering me, but I still Can love- Can you get over the green, basically? I, I would I would get over the green just for me personally. Yeah. The green is not messing with my love for it, but objectively awarding it when other things haven't got awards because of technical editing. Well, so, the two things that we've excluded were to do with sensor dust, even though we're like there's other things that um like yeah. the the when we talk about the green ones, we're gonna talk we're gonna get really nitpicky about technical things i think the reason why it's tricky is because we really love the moment yeah. it's such a strong moment and actually the light is cool as well um i love the composition i love the bits yeah, the com yeah I, there's so much i love about yeah. it um but it's you know loving a picture and then saying you know it's a winning image like can you mm, that's a good point separate the two like you can love yeah. it still. which is which is why I can separate it to say that we we can leave it behind, but it's painful to leave it behind. I would leave it. <laughs> like if it were up to me, I would leave it just because we do want to represent reality. Yeah, um, I, th I think that balances it out then. Yeah. I'm happy. I think, I think this should go in. I think the composition is. Is it? Is that yellow thing? Yeah, me? it's that. That's like um. Because that's ten percent. Is that more like fifteen percent of the, the image? But equally, if this thing was there, it was there. <laughs> like, what can you do about it? Well, you go a bit higher. You get the little doll, a little bit more of the little doll. Um, then you. Uh, I can't do this on Zoom properly. I know. Um, yeah. But then you lose like the feet and. Who's the legs and the hand? I. I. I... No, like tilt it. Oh, tilt like, it. Shoot it. Like from here, from the left, you mean? I'm not, I don't want to put this through if we're not putting Lollipop Girl through. Okay. <laughs> oh, but are they both great moments that should go through? Let's move on then. Okay. I'm not feeling this now, I'm seeing Yeah, it. yeah, same. I if anything, I... actually, the other washing line picture was feeling more, um, but. I don't think. I think. If we were curating an exhibition, yeah. it would be different, but yeah. I think judging on singles, I'm not. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm happy to leave this because of what we said before. I appreciate lots about it, but. Mm. Really enjoyed the photo. Yeah. But, um, okay. Moving on, yep. Yeah. Antonina. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What can I tell you? I love it. I, I know it's it's very very simple frame. Um, I personally, I like simple, straightforward, um, 
minimalistic almost frames. I like it. You know, there's there's a place for really complex images where there's a lot for you to take in. You stay with it for a long time. Like you find like that piano boy that we talked about before, where it's like your eye keeps traveling and finding little Easter eggs. But there's a place for really simple frames that are well executed, um, quiet. You know, they're quiet moments as well in family life. And yeah, I, actually, I, I mean, I, coming back to it now, it is a very lovely mood. The editing is beautiful here, like the toning. And we looked at other car images and we talked how, you know, this, the car is a distraction where here the car is a frame that you almost don't notice. And look at the placement of his head here. It's like almost perfectly in this window. It doesn't merge with the black of the roof of the car. The light is, is beautiful here. I love it. I'd like it for it to be a runner up. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy. I'm Okay, let's look at the greens now. Okay, so um, we just um, look at the grid first and then we'll go one by one. So I think here, unless we want to exclude something, um, we can just focus on the top three that we need to place. Okay, we're going to have a first place, second place, third place, and then everything else will be a runner up. We'll runner unless up. we exclude something. Because we debated a lot about all of them already. Yes. Okay. So we will already... anything we want to exclude, let's maybe just have a, one final look. Anything? Could we please just look at everything full screen, but not start talking for ages okay. about them? Because okay. I think what one thing we, from the back again. we just said we said before we recorded again was that sometimes pictures don't have as much. Yeah, so I'll do like five seconds each, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I just want to remind that our criteria is image quality, originality, representation of the everyday within the documentary family genre, and our own instincts as photographers and mentors. Can I nominate first place? Mm -hmm. I think that's this is the one. That's what I'm thinking as well. Just based. You know, it's an everyday, so beautifully captured. It's a very universal, you know, composition. I don't think we had any niggles with it, did we? I don't think we did. I think we all loved it. We have anything. Should we just mm -hmm. look at it again a bit bigger? I don't think it would be my first choice. I'm sorry. I, I really, really love it, but it, it's just... Uh... I think of of basically all of them. This one represents everydayness to me so well. This ticks a lot of boxes for me. It, it, ticks, boxes. it ticks the genre box really well, it's and the everyday family, within that it's everyday um, messiness. Also, family. Yeah, like this is the start of family life. Whether it's the first baby or not, you know, first being a newborn, start of family life, and there's this 
the storytelling in it the, obviously the mum is doing self-care she's feeding herself while she's feeding the baby that layer but then the fact that what she's eating is chocolate sprinkles mm. a chocolate sprinkle sandwich that has that level of humor the color palette um and the compositionally we talked about how there's repeating circles of the baby's head the plate yeah. the bun you know the circle of chocolate and how things to kind of look at and enjoy and also that the fact that it's anonymous essentially so it makes it every mom this is every mom okay should we just okay. Emma, what would you know for the first place it's just that it it actually out of all the photos it almost feels like the most straightforward and I I don't get mood or feeling from it in the same way as I get from other ones that actually choke me up inside I get an appreciate there's things I really like but it doesn't move me in the same as other photos hmm. There's definitely two ways to look at it. There's, you know, the straightforwardness of it does answer the theme so well. Um, and execution is beautiful, as we talked about in, at length. Um, but also that there is this thing about feeling. Um, that said, we can feel attracted to an image. Um, but should, was... that, should that be the deciding factor? With the feeling element, had, if, she, if she was eating like a buttered whatever scone or you know roll i would still appreciate the photo in all the ways we've talked about but the fact it's chocolate sprinkled that the humor that, of it. that yeah. personal box to me that's something that i respond to it's funny um so it, that's why it goes in with me um can i just really quickly mention the poppy twins i love 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 that picture but i accept there's a technical issue with it so i'm not going to push for that one but i just want to mention it again in this bit of conversation <laughs> And can I talk about number four? So I want to talk about originality with number four. Well, sorry, I, I mean the um the blurry squish kiss. One. Yeah, I understood. I understood yeah. Number four. Um, okay, if we had seen this like five years ago, I think it would be, it would really jump out so much more because we weren't seeing pictures like this then. I think we see a lot of um, intentional blur in pictures now and the originality doesn't have as much impact. We see we see panning with kids moving, we see intentional, intentional blur with moving the camera, with letting the kids blur across. And if you can get an expression while you're while you're capturing that movement, that's really strong. I do want to acknowledge that this isn't this doesn't seem new, but it's really clever to get the two expressions and the moment of that connect physical connection with that emotional impact while showing the movement. It doesn't make it original all over again but I think it's a really strong version of something that we're probably a bit blase about seeing that us three are probably a bit blase about seeing yeah possibly um I do appreciate like we talked about it um before how it's well executed in a way that you get all the feels with no distraction yeah. because sometimes um, a technique can take over the image and all you see is the technique and yeah. what you aim for is the feeling mm -hmm. And this one, I think, executed this really well. You don't, obviously, you see the technique, but you don't like keep seeing it. <laughs> you know, you don't keep wondering what shutter speed it is. Or like, there's one of my favorites. My ground. Yeah, it's really cleverly like focused in on that element um, that is important. Because, say, if it was a wider shot, it would not have had the same impact at all. Well, it increases the intimacy by just involving that. Absolutely. But, um, it's, it's, not every moment suits motion blur, but the intensity of this moment and that sort of yeah. simply pushing, pulling relationship. And, and just, I, I want to just talk about the way that you move around it as well with the boy, I think it's a boy looking at the girl, her face pointing in the other di direction. And then, the hand circles, going, don't you? and then the hand going up, it makes you go round and round. Yeah, yeah. The hair this, this gives me a much stronger feeling, for example, than the first type photograph. Mm -hmm. that we're yep. on. Okay, so we all love this one, don't we? Yep. So I just move in that a little bit. I'd look at piano, that one you just want at the moment, the piano. This one. Yeah. The piano girl. I wouldn't put this as one, but I I really, really love it. 
it's an instinct we've talked about it already composition mm, yeah strong, but um it, I, it's a runner-up for me i don't think it's a, yeah. I'm, I'm happy for it to be a runner-up but i just want to see it again um i really like it and can we just sorry the one to the right of it this is one that i think doesn't work small i think this one has to be seen yes because the people are small you it yeah. gets lost small and you don't, it, it's, it relies so much on little details that you don't see when it's small. I wonder if, even if like the computer screen is not big enough for it, <laughs> I wonder if it needs to be big to be like properly appreciated. You want to just zoom in a minute and just move a little bit around it? Um, I mean, the detail in this is... It's deep. great, I love this photo. I just, I think it gets lost in a grid. Yeah. I think my and I said like I can appreciate all the compositional care that went into this and the cleverness um I don't get the feels and we talked about the feels not having to be the deciding factor I think maybe what I am struggling with is this empty thing here and I realize completely that for this image there was no other way to take it unless there was a way to kind of tilt it slightly I don't know but I think I'm being taken out of the action by this empty square here, or triangle rather. We, we can I'm see trying the... to I'm trying to justify my lack of feels, <laughs> basically. We can see the texture in the water. We spoke about that last time. Yeah, I know, but it just that. it's a personal thing. But obviously, yeah. you know, if you yeah. too feel really strongly about it, I think there is potentially something they could have done about that because it is their foot that's meaning that you have to have that much space, and it is mm. the. the but do we need that other foot? Because I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um Who's so you put your foot in as you're taking it, you know. Is that two is, is these are the pair, right? This is the pair. Yeah, I think so. That's what I'm reading it as. And what's this then? Towel, maybe? I don't know. Okay. I don't know, something. Or a rock. It could be a rock. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because hmm. at, at first glance for me, it looked like these are two feet. And then there's that's another person, but now looking at it closely, these are these are the matching pair of feet. Just no, they are just because they're the right and left foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like at first glance, yeah. Um, okay, so you thought that was a knee. Yeah, because yeah, so. no, yeah, yeah. But no, you're right. This, this is the this is these are the feet, which actually finally makes it less clever for me because I originally was reading it without looking at the big toes. <laughs> that mm. this was between the feet of the person, between the legs of the person who's taken a picture. You know what I mean? I yes. Know. I don't know how to... I, I think I really like graphic, like structural um, images. Mm. And I, 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 I respond to this really strongly. Um, I really like it. Is it first, second, third place though for you? Um, no. Emma? No. No, it's not first, second, okay. third. So we can, I think we should just focus on trying to get to the first, second, third and everyone else. I have no problems keeping everyone else a runner up here. I don't have any picture that I want to exclude particularly. I don't have any that I want to exclude either. Um, I don't want the picture that's in first place to be first place. Do you want to exclude any of that? I don't want to exclude any. Okay, so we agree then oh. that everything here is going to get, so three of these are going to be one, two, and three, and the rest all runners up. We don't need to. Yeah, so we don't need to discuss any of that. I think we just need to decide the order, basically. So let's, so shout, if, I, I just want to, can I talk about um Strangled Bunny dressing gown? I, I've seen it. Bunny. <laughs> yeah, we talked about how it's, it's, sometimes you lose that impact because you've seen something before. Are you? I pre we've already talked about this, but I, I really, really like this picture. I think it's really strong. I it, My instincts are that I, yeah. I I particularly like this one. I wouldn't have this as one, it's, maybe two, but it would be definitely a potential three for me, definitely. It's interesting because, like, I, I mean, it's been, it's done the rounds, this picture, so it's not it's not giving a new impact to us. That's that, I think, new and shiny, oh, and we're like new I'm, try, I'm trying to think... Uh, of how I felt when I first saw it, and I absolutely loved this picture. Mm -hmm. 
and I can understand why it's done the rounds and why it's been entered into lots of things and done well. Um, but I think because I've seen it so much, I'm not getting that wow that I would have done before. So I need to exclude that. I need to separate that. And like you said, to Alice, so maybe, maybe it'd be further, maybe it would come into a, a top three. I there's so been... much amazingness about it. It's it's a I'd such it. a moment. I'd love it in a photo book. I appreciate so much about it. I, I, I really like the one that's in the fourth place. That possibly would go to number one for me. Okay. Should we look at that one bigger? This gives me a mood and a a real emotional response. There's some, it's got the graphic elements and the beautiful composition and edit but it also makes me almost well up inside the nostalgia in there is let's just get really like business like is there anything wrong with it any niggles no. i don't think there can be any niggles in one two and three so no. I, there's no niggles for me no niggles you're right actually alice there can't be any niggles in one two or three yeah. yeah let's keep that yeah. in as well um do we want to see the settings? I mean, I don't think I need to, but it's. I really like this too. Good choices as well with the settings, I think. Yeah, I think we should see the settings when we're considering the top. Okay. But if you haven't exported with a metadata and we can't see it, that's fine. We yeah. didn't ask for settings. It just helps us appreciate choices. Being like choices and how intentional things were. And this, this is so beautifully seen. This also has an artfulness, which is what I want to see. And sometimes I don't get that in pictures enough. I think people sometimes photograph too obviously. And this has a real artfulness that is a way that I think where their voice and emotion has been added into something really beautifully. Yeah. And they've seen the frame perfectly. Yeah. Um, I love it. I, you know, I really enjoy this picture. I love the light. I love the nostalgic feel of it. I love the, you know, the editing is very subtle. It's it's the light, it's not a preset. Um it could be like a postcard literally or a book cover easily. Um there is that anonymity to it again. We, we, like interestingly, a lot of our like first choices, bar this one, but even this one, because it's like blurry, mm. it's all of like every sibling, basically. A lot of them are universal because they're anonymous. Let's acknowledge that that it's easier to have emotional reach. It, it's potentially easier to have emotional reach when you in, when you introduce anonymity into composition. Yeah. It doesn't mean that is the rule. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely you can yeah. absolutely there are so many amazing yeah. pictures out there that you can see the person you can it's a portrait or whatever it is and you still mm -hmm. have the same feeling to it it's just in this selection that's what yeah. it ended up with um can we look at the um the bottom left naughty step, naughty step. i don't think i want it the one two three but i just I really feels, like feels, feels. Yeah, there feels, feels, but I don't think it's one, one, two, three. No. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to be there. Yeah. So um, we're kind of like these are the four that we decide in between. I mean, I I absolutely adore number five, but we were talking about niggles, and you guys are there are niggles, niggle that I can overlook, but I don't think you two can. And I'm also not feeling what you're feeling, so. Yeah, I think I we can boy. accept I that it's a beautiful boy. image. It's an it's original, um, but it's yeah, it's the originality that I'm looking for because that, that's what I feel like. Mm -hmm. Some of these I feel I've seen before. We will literally have as well. Yeah, we <laughs> some literally have, but have we seen it in another photo before? And mm -hmm. some of these things I've seen before. Um, I also still apps. There's there's two others that I love, and I don't think either of you two do. <laughs> 
Um, and that's why there's three of us, like, so we can discuss. Otherwise, it'll be like we need to have different awards. To be awards completely, for. utterly honest, my top four would be four, five, 16, and 22. Sorry, can you just, four, the numbers are really four, small. So, four, yeah. five, 16. 16 is cat on a wall. 22. 22. Yeah, um, no. <laughs> Can we look at cat on a walk again? Because oh. I'm so easily pleased with cat photos, but this isn't. It's a beautiful image. Why don't I like right, this? But I'm not. Why isn't this coming. my favorite? Sorry, Alice, go ahead. Sorry, I was just wondering. Like this should be my favorite because there's. But it's because it's, it's a cat. I'm know? trying. I'm working really hard to put things like that to the back of my mind. Um. I remember when we were going from, from through the pictures for the first time and I saw a cat, I was, I was like, Alice was going to say yes, but you didn't immediately. I think the conversation is strong, but the, I don't think it's as clean mm. as of light. I don't think it's one, two, three. I not, no, I don't think so, but I, I really like it. Mm. So where, where I'm going with those those four and probably three as well. Three, four, five, sixteen, and twenty-two is they feel like I've I've not seen there's something so utterly beautiful about them to me that I, and I've not seen them before. Um, other pictures here feel like they're easier wins or a bit more obvious. Um, and that's that's kind of what I feel about one and two the two that we've got in one and two at the mm. moment they're a bit too obvious for me and I think we need to push this genre Alice how do you feel about this one um shadows um I really like that one a lot do you would you want it to be in one, two, three, or one? Um, you know what? If I'm happy with the top four, there are other ones I really love, but I'm happy with those four. Okay. Um. Two. So. Yeah, number two. I didn't think. Wow, I've never seen this before. Definitely want to acknowledge that. But the every day within the genre, we're going to see the same subject and moment and scene. We, we're going to see things we've seen before. The, the humour then... takes it to another, to, adds that el extra element of story to me, for me. But shouldn't we be asking of people to do to see things in a way that we haven't seen before? Isn't that what we want? We've asked for originality. Um. Again. Oh my watch is talking to me. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Did you hear it? Um, <laughs> I hey, sorry. No, I my thought hasn't formed yet. Go ahead, Alice. Okay, so if we said I'm I get I'm getting very like data driven about this, but if we said right, our criteria, which is the best in terms of quality, what's the most well executed of a potentially difficult scene, we'd pick one thing. What's the best representation of the everyday? We pick something else. Which is the most original? We pick something else. Which is your just your personal favourite? We pick something else. So I think the top three has to perhaps represent three of those four. Or no, none of none of those four things can be left out of the top three. The top three has to include something that's original. Um, but it, the I think it's fine for the top one to be a really brilliant example of what the genre does because it's still it's still incredibly inspiring okay so if it were up to me it would be this potentially one two three i could be happy with that if one and two switched if one and two switch that that, that combination of three i would be happy with but i feel like i've seen one and three before and two feels more different. Okay, Alice. Well, I, I, want, I want a top four now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we already have lots of runners up more than I know, we would I know, do, uh, I know. but just we couldn't have 
in it. Um, I think I think I've already said what the thing with three is. I think years ago three would have been one. Yeah, yeah. Is that fair? I think you're right. I think so, but it, yeah. I, I mean, like, it, it, but there's it, a reason why well, we asked for you know images as well from the last two years. We want to limit yeah. that. Um, you know, we don't want the same pictures again and again and again, essentially. Um, but I'm happy with this one. I, th I think it's a really strong execution of this concept, and I think it deserves a three for sure. Yeah. I'm so, just looking at, I keep going to look like a serial boy, which I love as well. Yeah, I think it's, it's a good thing that my eye is going to lots of the runners up like fondly and thinking, mm. have I stopped talking about it and thinking about it? But there isn't anything I want to pull into the top three. So, can you, Alice, can you live with the current order of top three? And how about the one that we've got in fourth place? Does that does that go into the top three instead of one of the others or not? Can no, we full screen from one me. to four in order, please? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, like one at a time, but oh, that's, one at a time. that's good as well. Thank you. It's just straight. Mm -hmm. so. Can we just like scroll down a little bit? This side. You want to look at the others as well? Yeah, just go. Okay. I'm back up to the top, please. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So this image, I just want to come back to it. It's a strong image, but for me, um, it's not the top. I love it. I don't know it, um, but it's just not top three. I think these three are stronger. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think yeah. also just on a June book, it's a joint decision and um I think if even if we maybe would I think I think I am happy with this order actually. Mm. I don't think we all have to be hundred percent happy with the order no. as long as we're happy. Well we we are enough. free for a reason as I keep saying. <laughs> Emma, what are you what are you thinking? Yeah. About? Um I think I'm happy with it. Okay, let me just mark. Okay, I'm happy. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I love the top one. So yeah, I I love that. One. I love that. It gives us all the feels. So okay, gonna... so I'm happy that these these three are all technically like really strong. Well, technically, they're good as well. Actually, that's a really good point. They're all, yeah, they're they're all, all they're really technically strong. very strong. So in terms of the co like the, the technical composition in two is just brilliant. Yeah. Light in one, the motion and the, the edit of three as well to really bring out what was intentional about the, mm. the moment of strong thing. in a couple of yeah, there's there's some good and I love that they're all different as well. Like they all yeah. speak to slightly different yeah. ways of talking about the everyday. Yeah. You know, one's more literal, one's more dreamy, one's more feely, you know. Um, <laughs> Yeah. There we go, dreamy. The the the, the, the three dwarfs. The yeah. dwarfs. Feely, <laughs> dreamy, feely, feely, dreamy, and uh, what was the other one? Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. We are just tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but I I feel this is really good representation of the theme. Yes. The genre, and of the skill action of the photographers yes and the runners up as well and the um, up we just look at the runners up as a separate yeah so these are all our runners up and everything that's green here is a runner up yeah and we've been really nitpicky oh we have been um, how many do we have we ended up with 23 runners up 
yeah sorry there was too many good photos we yeah we couldn't and the west would be here for another five hours i think <laughs> and thank you for watching all of this if you have watched all of it if you have watched <laughs> the end and we if didn't you can stick to the end then thank you as well yeah yeah, yeah. We didn't necessarily in intend it to be this long, but we wanted to do this work on talking like deeply about as many pictures as possible. Um, yeah, and so you kind of understand the thinking process that goes into, um, you know, deciding which images are awarded and which images are good and why, because it's easy sometimes to look at the select, like it's easy to kind of go, I like this one next. But I think but to, to explain to why. And to, to show that, Obviously, everybody has a different response to different images. Mm. And that actually sometimes it becomes a consensus mm -hmm. rather than your personal favourite. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes just listening to somebody else championing something that they really like, like listening to each other is, has been really important. Yeah. Um, should we just full screen the winner while we just wrap up? Oh, yeah. Good idea. Yeah, so that's... Well, our... actually, I want to full screen all three of them. Yeah, yeah that's fine. And then what we haven't revealed yet are our preliminary first round judges. There's a judge's choice. Yeah. So well, in the next so screen, that. you'll see them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they are. No, um, we're, we're, that we've, we're excited to see them as well. Yeah. I can't wait to okay. see them. We've judged this without knowing that. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And we'll, um, we'll see you later. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.